and welcome to our next Let's Play here on the SC2K channel with Castlevania for the NES. This is Rob Ford with DeadFan93 and we guy 10003. Huzzah! 1003. Three and nine, of course. And a classic, the, the game that started the series, Casablanca. <laughs> With Humphrey Bogart as Simon Belmont. <laughs> Costa Blanca with Blanca. You play as Blanca from Street Fighter, and he goes up against Dracula in Castlevania. Yeah. yeah. And this game is hard, but it is awesome. So just like in regular Metroid, unless there's the ECW mode on here, I'm going to get my butt kicked and uh, only get part of maybe a stage or, or whatever stage it is. The, the part where you're in the underground cave sewer or something, that's I think as far as I got in this game. Yeah, there's no, <laughs> there's no, there's no other modes, it's just press start and play the game hardcore. Yeah, well Unless I could... Unless you are the lead hacks are. I could use Game Genie, but, nah. Why would you, why would you use Game Genie? Come on. To, be, to beat the game. This game is, this game you can, this is one of those games that you can play, like, over and over and beat instead of, like, all I'm saying is, like, this isn't a game that you have to use Game Genie in order to beat. This game is easy to Or you can be, like, Wii Guy and new save states like a cheating shut bastard. Shut the fuck- shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. That was because, you know, nah, that, that was nah. in the beginning, okay? I've learned now. No more save states because I am not a cheeseburger. Nothing's gonna what? eat- nothing's gonna eat me. Well, there's a turkey. I don't think- think It's a pork chop. I don't man. think anybody would eat you, Wii Guy. That's a pork. That's not a pork chop. ABG was even saying that's a freaking pork chop. That's a freaking turkey. He said pork chop. It's a pork. Totally place. convenient though. Yeah. It looks more like a turkey. So, I mean, and plus, we just had Thanksgiving, so it's a turkey. No, whatever. Fine. Good point. Maybe, right. still, maybe it doesn't it just, matter. It's health. Deal with it. But yeah. it doesn't look like pork chop. While we arguing about pork chops in the video game, that's weird. Anyway, I got nothing else to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Filler commentary for the world. Huzzah! For the world? No, fuck the world. Hey, for the world. That's what FTW Feed the world! No, Feed the world pork chops from walls. Classic music, of course. That sounds like Every song is awesome. Oh, yeah. It is composed by the, by the great whoever did this. By the great, uh... The great. Uh, do Konami Kukikika Club or whatever. No, it's ah, a... it's a Phantom Bat! It's Kinyo Yamashita. <laughs> Shita, anyway. Okay, get closer to me so I can use... You should have oh. found the axe. The axe, um, special thing. Because I don't oh, use it, you just fling it at the bat. Yes, use the old Axiom Ron. It was holy use waters. the holy water to kill the vampire. Oh, was... The old Axiom. I was trying to use the holy water right here, but I go up them stairs and I hit up and B. Yep, that's a no. And I forgot to unlock the I think Dracula's calling. Dracula's Charlie. calling you. Charlie calling. Hey, mate! Yeah, I thought I was supposed to be in this commentary, mate! Well, you disappeared, mate, so... <laughs> <laughs> Should've moved your ass faster, mate. Yeah. Oh, now you have to get the orb. He's calling from Australia. Cause he's Australian. I can't speak Australian. Cause when I do, I sound British. I speak American. I speak Wee Guy and The only language I know. I only know Wee Guy and Ease. Best language ever. Wee Guy and Yeah, and Wee Guy and Ease. In the island of Wee Guy, where we use safe states to be Castlevania. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. I was actually the first time playing it, actually, which is, yeah, disappointing, but, you know. I know now. I don't need safe states. Oh, oh man! Alright, stage two, or technically, or technically stage four. Yeah, every time you cross yeah, the screen, whatever. it's like stage. Do the slow moving screen progression. And I love the music. I love the music in this stage. Um, especially the uh, remix rock version that I think the Konami Code or some video game music band made. I forgot who, but it's awesome. Yeah. My favorite is the next, like, level, which is called Wicked Garden by Wicked Child. <laughs> nice bro! <Ow. laughs> what was it called? Oh, yeah, Wicked Child Upper Yard. Whatever. I have the Wicked Child, that's the name of the yeah, third stage. Yeah, I'm looking at I'm looking at the soundtrack right now. 
Because I have. You're supposed to be looking at this video, commentate, pay I attention. I, I, I am. How can you do both? Half of my computer screen. I, 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 this is on one side, and the, and the, and like the YouTube video is on the other. It's right? this magical thing called Windows. Yeah. Oh, you, you have one. You have that two, two screen computer system. No, I just, I can make the screen smaller. Like, how can you do that? How can you multitask? I don't get it. I can, cause I am a master, man. <laughs> hey, you know what? We're going through this door right here. And it's gonna say stage 05, right? Let's see. You owe me five bucks. Because it's on stage five. <laughs> I'll give you five. This is interesting. This is interesting. Catholic people fighting things from Greek mythology. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh, I hate these things. Who cares about logic? Ah, <laughs> logic is yeah. for whips. Logic is for oh. pajamas. Yeah, logic is for puh, puh, pigs. And lo lame. Logic is for pussycats. Pussycat dolls suck. Josie and the pussycats. Ronnie and the pussycats. <laughs> Pussy galore. Okay, that's enough about. Uh, Octopus. That's enough about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! No, 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 no. Ah! <laughs> you got to jump. <laughs> that was awesome. You guys distracted me talking about vaginas. Just like that Wait, kid. I, from, yeah, maybe you should have made a safe state for him. Just, just like that kid <laughs> from Pittsburgh Pop talking about vaginas all the time. You, you know what, dead fit? <laughs> Sorry, Jeff, I didn't do it. Blow that up your inconvenient truth, we guy. No, it's the convenient truth, actually. <laughs> oh, wait, shit, that was off screen. That was off uh, recording, wasn't it? Sorry, guys, you don't know what the hell we're talking about. Uh, yeah. <laughs> inside joke. I want an outside joke. Yeah, but you know what? There. Point <laughs> for inside joke. 300 Leave points. Him alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> Leave him alone. Uh, okay, let me make a safe safe point then. Step in, one, be two. Freaking yeah, fuck, fuck it's joke. um... Un... Ah, uh, uh, damn it. Well, you that know what, I was proud of the safe 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 in the it. first place, dead man, so shut up, I just... You walk across it. Yeah, whatever. Points for reference. Okay. Yep, thank you. Uh, Points I for had reference. an epic one right there, but I just forgot how the, how the hell it went. I failed. Almost yeah. as much as we guy Castlevania using safe. I, I I shut the fuck up, okay? And, you know. Oh! Nice. Game over. First, of, things, first of many. I guess. In the first video, yeah, game over. Because a stupid Medusa heads. Yeah. I hate these. I hate those things. I want to kill them. Hey, you hear me, Medusa heads? If I see you in public, I want to kill you. Yeah, like there's really gonna be floating heads. Just. You know, flowing around. <laughs> well, one of gamer reviewed uh, Zombie Nation as floating head. And oh yeah, samurai heads floating. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a that is a fucking weird. Get the freaking candles, oh. man! And just oh yeah, I'm too busy jumping some backwards, Ron. Again. Yeah, what was that? Oh, me? He's too busy jumping back. Yeah. Oh okay. Jesus, jumping all over the place. I didn't even know you could jump backwards. Hey, <laughs> that's a point for reference. ABGN um, said, you know, like, that's weird how in real life I whip a candle, some items will come out of it. Maybe oh, I shit! <laughs> oh, yeah. Dead fan? Yeah, I'm doing Castlevania well, again. There's not going to be any safe states. It's, it's going to be hardcore Wii Guy, because Wii Guy's hardcore from now on. Here's a man! Like, that's hold. the third time I did it, so three strikes. Do that, Mr. Three man. I am, I am, I, yeah, Mr. Man Man. And the bun. You can do it and wrong. don't worry, every time I every time I watch one of your videos, I'll be playing I'm a Macho Man. Macho <laughs> no Man. No, I'm a Macho Man. Now, like, this man. is the official it's the official theme of Wee Guy. The official Ooh, theme of Wee Guy. Oh shut up, that's not my official theme is um that song. <laughs> that yeah, that song. That song, <laughs> that song. That's, that's that's by Metallica. Song. I'm a Metallica man. That song from Michael Bolton. <laughs> Michael Bolton. <laughs> Michael Bolton. God. Bolton. A ball in. Are ball you ball in? Oh, no, no. Come on, don't die this time. No. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you lucky <laughs> bastard. Yeah, you know what? Congratulations, you have completed a simple jump. <laughs> yes. But the jump is simple, so freaking Medusa has to make it hard. 
That, get it hard? You said hard. That's sick, Ronnie. <laughs> ah, I didn't mean to do that. Come on, stay on the platform, you idiots. At least he didn't die. Be grateful for that, man. Be thankful. Yeah, but you know what? Hooray for stiff jumping mechanics. <laughs> Awkward I'm dead fan, I'm gonna hum to the music. Yeah, yeah, he'll hump the music, alright. I said hum. Don't feel my stick! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said hump the music. My bad. Hum! Uh, and we're, out of time. we're out of time, see you guys in part two. Take care. See ya. Bye bye. And welcome to Castlevania part two. This is Ron Moore, along with Jman46241, We Got 1003, and Charlie from Strictly Sega. Hello! Sega! Hi! Sega! Sega! No, this Hi, is- Hi, Wee Guy! Hi, Charlie! Nintendo! So, have we got more Medusa heads in this episode? Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, that was, like, my favorite part of the last episode. Those things get my freaking nerves. Yep. Nothing like seeing Ronnie getting pwned. <laughs> <laughs> and we guy has been muffled. I have been so muffled. <laughs> not, not, not muffled. Not not muffled, muzzled. He's I've got muzzled. Um, <laughs> I am strictly a Nintendo. The shit the strict competitor to strictly Sega. Oh, Nintendo! Here we go. Flying heads. Oh they're gone. Here's the mobile stuff. Get the boss, Medusa. That's Mother Medusa. Beetlejuice. Mother Brain, <laughs> Mother Medusa. Mother Jokes. Don't I look got... at her, you turn to stone! Oh, that was easy. Yeah, well, I'm using the freeze power, that's why. Yeah, he used the uh, FCEU one. And time cover. <laughs> Thanks, Skip. God, it takes forever on this game. Yeah. Yep. That's because I have a lot of heart. It's the fastest game, but it's a good I game. I have a heart for you. <laughs> Don't get that joke that I just even So did an angry video game nerd just do this whole thing? Like, every single one of these games? Not every single one. Yeah, there are many others, like the too, Game Boy's uh, But yeah, he, uh, he touched on... Uh, Ooh, he touched on the new. If not all the good ones. He touched on you, Jay, man, didn't he? Oh, uh, that's classified information, there, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> and these hunchbacks and Notre Dame's on here again, my nerves too. Yeah, the song's awesome. Or not sure, Dom's. Uh -oh. with sun doesn't yeah, watch, out. <laughs> watch out for the platforms. The, hu the hunchback with Notre Dame 441. Yeah. He's angry. Wow, the great capitalist Oh, yeah. Now, Ed, for those you got out for you, oh, he gave up. For those of you don't know, um, this game was one of my first Let's Plays on the Wrong War channel. <laughs> it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, either the first Let's Player or definitely one of the first. The hell was that? Yeah. Money just sprouted from the ground. I didn't know you throw money. Yeah, you kneel down. Money and... Yeah, you kneel down. Like his third as bosoms. Get on your knees. Yeah. The door! Slow door. Slow door opening. Do, do, do. We gotta start singing to the song because we can't fill in. I saw a 10 year old kid with a t shirt on yesterday that said, Get down your knees and give me a head. <laughs> I know, kid has. Like, he doesn't even know what that means. I'll so give you a sure Medusa head. How about that? Does that count? He's 10 years old. What's he got with a t-shirt like that for? He's probably talking on a cell phone and flipping off people. And... Oh, that'd be me. <laughs> so fast these days. I always flip off people. Not really. We guy 10 09. We guy 10 We guy turned 10 in 2009. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no, no, you, sh you don't know. No, that's not. That's not. That's not, that's not funny. That's not good. We got four to four on. 
Just stop me. <laughs> it's not working. Just stop it. No one, no one gets stop it. Stop it. No one gets it. Get in my sensitive spots. Oh. You're die, Ronnie. Stop it. Come on. Yeah, you know. So back to the game. You're uh, a character called what? Simon. Yes. I'm in yes. normal. And you're you got a whip. Yeah. At the Nemer. And you're chasing after Dracula. Yes. Oh, no, Is there anything yes. else that we need to know about this story? Uh, oh. Yes, uh, it might not be uh, helpful, but you lucky uh, after this they made that cartoon uh, Captain in the Game Master, and they turned Simon <laughs> Belmont into somebody completely different. Yeah, the Game Master. Yeah. Is this a Konami game? Yes. Oh, yes. Does it work with the Konami code? No, <laughs> no. I think so. And how come the time stop, the freeze power don't work right here? That's lame. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't work, you dummy. Yeah, I don't think it works against uh, some I of the could, bosses. I could I think. Do that virgin. <laughs> Sixteen-year-old virgin. That's sad. No. Uh. Oh. 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 <laughs> that's more like a shame. Should have used the time stop against that comment. Okay, yeah, we got hung up. He got mad. Uh. Yeah, we need, no, we need no, the no. beat button. Oh, no, I'm still here. I'm just trying to enjoy the video and think of what they're saying. See, now you got me thinking about 16-year-old versions. Shut up. And for a 30-year-old man, that's that's an extensive thought, you know. Yeah. I'll be thinking about that for the next six hours, I think, now. Just think about 16-bit. I hang out, I hang around with a bunch of 30-year-olds. Yeah, you do, don't you? What's that say about you? Have you got to more like the boy, what does it say about us? Yeah, I think that says more about us than... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's yeah. I do, I spent most of the day with a five-year-old today. No, you should have gone to pork chop. It won't let me. Did you just die again? Yep. <laughs> you know, I love Let's Plays when you watch the same thing over and over again. It's almost as frustrating as playing the game itself. It's frustrating. It's fun straighting. <laughs> oh man. That looks like Ronnie's on point this time. He's... This is why Ronnie doesn't have me on the let's the plays anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> because uh yeah. And uh here we go. Again the third third time. I got four shot this time. Come on! Ah! Oh! 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 Here it is! Oh! Uh, he's gonna get it this time. Get it up! Oh! Here it is! Oh! Yeah, you got it this time. You gotta have it. Got it's on the street. Yeah. Woo! He's beat uh -huh. up. The mummy's got home. Good job, good job. You know what we need? We need cheesy 80s music. It goes so well with this game. Yeah, we have a cheesy 80s game. Ah! Oh. oh, will that break his knees and his legs in real life? Yeah. Phew! Ah! Ah! splash -o. Yes. splash -o reno yeah, it didn't seem like there was much of a choice there. It's either you jump at the wrong time and get hit by the bat, or jump over the bat, fall in the water. Yeah. But now you have time stuff. Oh. Oh. Boo. Oh. Oh. And you start from the level you just finished. Yep. Oh, nice. Watch out for the bats. The bats could drive you bat. <laughs> Okay, oh, oh, what the devil? This is the farce I got in this game ever. This stage. I went through the danger zone. This is Castlevania, not Top Gun. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah, skip. Top Gun! If you have a multi fire joystick and your reflexes are good, you have no trouble with Top Gun. You can lane the plane. Be sure to make a map. Fast reflexes help too. 
Watch out for candles. Don't let the wax drip on you. <laughs> There we go. That, that background kind of reminds me of Ninja Gaiden a little bit. Reminds me of Cast Mega 3. I got, oh, you know oh. what? I hate these things. You know what, wee guy? You're very quiet. Have you gone to sleep? He took his Ritalin. He got pulled by his parents. He got, yeah, I think he did because he's, he's, he's off the call. Yeah, same thing. Oh, he hung up, did he? Caught him on a school night. Oh yeah. no! School. Overrated. Mommy's going to get you in trouble, darling! Oh, 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 yeah, I got past the bot, the mini oh, bot. Oh, oh. End of the video! End of the video! Alright, that's it, guys. We'll see you in part three. Take care. Peace. And welcome to Castlevania part three. This is Ron Moore, along with Jeff from Strictly Sega America. Hey. Charlie from Strictly Sega, Sega Australia. And Graham from Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello, Graham. Hello. This game's called Castlevania, Graham. I am digging the Castle music. Castle? It's on the NES. Boom. Mum has, yeah. Your mum likes NES, doesn't she? It's better. It'd be better on the Genesis. Much better. Well, of course, that's 16-bit. No, anything would be better on the Genesis. Okay. <laughs> Super Metroid would not be better on Genesis. Yes, it would. No, fanboy. Anyway, um... fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up, Charlie. I'm fighting idiot monster here. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, got him. Yeah. That was easy. That was close. The bosses are really easy. Well, if you know if you know the weakness, right at first, they, they can be hard, but... I just made them look easy. Frankenstein, that's the first time really ever beaten them. But I thought I saw, oh, yeah, easy. I, I saw I saw on YouTube someone use the holy water. I said, Ah, that's how you beat him so quickly. You go, girl. You go, girl. You know what? Here stays thirteen. Uh, freaking hunchbacks and Notre Dames. You know what, Jeff? You know what, Graham? <laughs> that, that, that that's nasty. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Master Hand. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Graham's, Graham's excited to watch this game. Why? Why is Sa Simon Belmont only in one color? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, he's racist. He's only in one color. No, he's got a weakish, tannish looking. So this is stage thirteen or stage five. I think. <laughs> And this game is hard. <laughs> Stay on top of it, Graham. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, back to the actual gameplay. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Whip it! good. Oh God. Charlie, you've corrupted your child. Oh, God. Oh, God. So there PG you go. It's a PG show, you can't say ass too many times, bro. I think it's kind of watch Yeah. This is a weird glitch or whatever's going on here. Yeah, you can say that again. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh come on. Oh. Yeah, boom. Monster, eh? Yep. Monster. Ronnie's gonna die. Ronnie's gonna die. He's gonna die. Ronnie's gonna die. He's not gonna be able to kill Dracula. Dracula wins. <laughs> oh, stay tuned. Later on today, we've got a podcast coming out. Don't be ready. Yes, we do. Over Depending on, on when this video... .com. Depending on when this video... And podcast is up from when people watch this video. We, we don't. We usually do the the video will be up now because you're watching it, and oh. the podcast. Well, we'll probably have that up either today or tomorrow. Yeah, maybe depending on your time zone or whenever I upload these videos. Oh, I jumped backwards. You see that? Yeah, it's cool. Whoa. 
it's very hard to make sound. What game are we going to do after this game, Ronnie? That's the big question, or should we wait for the surprise? As far as my next let's play on here, I know what it is, but I'm not going to spoil anybody. Oh, we want to know! We want to know! Okay. Nope. You have to wait. <gasps> but I will tell you, it is a Sega Genesis game. Yes. Yes. And it's a freaking good one, too. Yes. But let's go ahead and talk about this game. Oh, sorry, we're going back to this game, yeah. Oh. Is that as I try not to die in stage 15. Stage 15? How many stages are there? I don't know. I mean, it, it, up there it says stage 15, but it it really feels like, you know, stage 5. Great. I think it's level 5, level 5, stage 15 is what it Man, is. this music is really catchy. I can dance. It's a ninja. Let's do a dance yeah, for Jeff. Let's do a dance for I am. Come on. On your Jeff. Oh no! Uh -oh. oh no! Uh oh! This is hard. Uh oh! I got uh -oh. I got to deal with the knights. I got to deal with the knights and the Medusa heads. Are you kidding me? Oh, I remember watching this. Have you, uh, Ron? Have you seen that new show on that guy the glasses? Until we win, you would really like that. Uh, pwned. Well, I tell you what, I don't like is me getting pwned. No, but it's really good. He plays. Damn. This guy plays impossible <laughs> things until he wins. Even he even beat Bayou Billy without cheat codes. Um, what a sad I man. Him. I I know Bayou Billy takes you. It takes you years to beat it without cheat codes. I gotta say, when that game first came out, that that, that was a huge hit in Australia. That game. Oh, in the states too. Was it? Yeah. Well, yeah, because it's based off. It's based off of Crocodile Dundee. Yeah, well, it was. I thought it was a Crocodile Dundee kind of tie-in game, you know? Well, I was... It Deuce the Heads absolutely owned you in part one, too, didn't they? Oh, uh, they're pooning me now. They're pooning you. Pooning! Uh, and that's not fair. You got axes... You got axes and, and uh... Medusa Heads coming after me at the same time. That's not fair. I love your fire. Oh, you're so oh. fair! I love your Is that fair? I love your whip how it can deflect fireballs. Which perfect yes, which not totally fair. makes sense, you know, not illogical at all. <laughs> well I don't know, in real life that could probably happen. <laughs> Have you ever tried to put a whip a uh, candle light out with a whip? It's pretty much impossible, unless you're super good at it. ABGN did it. ABGN has called, uh, you know, it's called Photoshop and, you know, uh, Sony Vegas. Adobe After Effects, I mean, just oh, learn yeah, After today. Effects, yeah. Uh, I, I, he really, oh, what? He really did hit the candle with the whip. Yeah, but it was, it was After Effects, dude. No, oh, those are real candles he had in the room with him. I don't think he knocked out a candle. Oh, uh, last lie. Uh-oh. You're thinking, I don't, you're we're thinking, gonna get past uh, this, this, this section, Ronnie. I'm having my doubts. Let's play Castlevania. Let's play Ron die five for watch her. I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's, it, watch, ruin let's, the joke. let's watch Ronnie die. Again yeah. and again. We we should make a show called that. Watch Ron die. Watch Ronnie your, die. It's all all of oh. your death like, you know, from every show, every let's play you've done, just the deaths just throw them all into one video. Well there won't be any Metroid videos there, will there? No. Yeah, whisper. Oh. Go away, wow. Is it just me or can anyone else understand what he's saying? Because I'm I'm pretty clueless. I didn't understand a word. Uh okay. Well at least at least I'm not alone in this. Anyway, sorry about that. Moving on. Oh, we're getting a bit further. I need gone! Oh, goodbye, Ryan. Right. Oh, right. Bye, and, and this is the last part of the last play. Uh I am going to stop right here, and in part four, we will do a Let's Discuss. That's discussion. Bye. So, see you guys then. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And welcome to the Let's Discuss Castlevania for the NES. This is Ron Moore, joined by Jeff from Strictly Sega America. Why am I here again? <laughs> I think he drugged me. Ugh.
I'm trying to uh, convert Jeff to Nintendoism. You, you and, can't do that. So my first console was the Genesis. You I, can't I, erase the memory. I'm trying to. My first console was Atari. I think. Uh, have you played Atari today? And um, but yeah. So that's it for this let's play. As you know, from part three, I died and gave up because I've <laughs> never good this game. Never. Hey, hey, everyone. Ronnie sucks at Castlevania. Well, I, wow, that's a shocker. I don't think no one knew that, Jeff. Um, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a Saturn and a copy of Dracula X and see how far you get. Uh, I don't know. I've seen uh, AVG and play that game. I don't think I want to touch it. It's um, pretty crazy. Well, was it Dracula X or Drac? Oh, I forgot what. Oh it, no, it's not the 3D Castlevania. It's the RP. It's the first RPG Castlevania. Huh? Is that the one with? I think the one with Keanu Reeves. Is that it? Dracula. That's. Oh, no, that's Bram Stoker's Dracula for the sake of CD. Oh, okay, that's what I was thinking of. Never mind. <laughs> oh, that ridiculous-looking Dracula. Oh, God. <laughs> Bram Stoker's Dracula. But anyway, Castlevania II Simon's Quest was the first Castlevania game ever, uh, I'm about to say ever made, that I ever played. And I played that one first, and then the second one was the first Castlevania. I guess, um, I think when I was a kid, I remember... Someone having the first Castlevania, I said, "Oh man, you know, I didn't. I never played the first one. Let's go back and play this." And I played it, and I loved it. Uh, or, or the fact Ronnie just doesn't know Jack Squad about anything. You know that 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 too. You know, oh, hey, let's play. Ooh, I'm playing Castlevania too. This has to be the first one. What, what's this, Castlevania? What? Wait, I never said Castlevania two. I never said I thought. I, I know, I know. You played it first. I was just trying to make a joke. You ruined my joke. That okay. I'm out of here. Well, anyway, um, <laughs> we'll do it live. <laughs> Um, and so Castlevania, the first one, uh, real hard. I, what you saw in the Let's Play was the farthest that I actually got. Um, and But when I was a kid, I think the farthest I got was maybe level 3 or 4 to where I'd even get to Frankenstein. But um, Castlevania for the NES, definitely an awesome game. It's the one that started the series, of course, and, you know, came out in 1987, and Castlevania is one of the most well-known and greatest video game franchises of all time. I mean, it spawned a lot of great games. Uh, Simon's Quest, Dracula's Curse. Um, I never played Super Castlevania, but I heard it was... Wait, excellent. wait, wait ho hold on five seconds. Did you say Simon's Quest was a good Castlevania? Yes, I'm not, I don't care what AVGN says or anything. No, 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 I don't care what AVGN says either. But that game was retarded. I, I sat there and played that as a kid because my mom had an NES, and that was terrible. I don't care. What was Sorry. terrible about it? The whole uh, night turning turning into night, I hated that aspect of the game. Well, when I was, when I was a kid, uh, I, don't, I didn't care about that. It just made me, like, just like uh, Going on said, it, it kind of added a sense of urgency to the game. Oh. I, I guess I guess it wasn't bad. It was just so tedious because you had to go into town to get items. You had to talk to people. You know, it doesn't. It didn't feel like the Castlevania you just played. Was yeah, of, yeah, it has a lot of flaws. But if you haven't seen it, go back and watch Goemon's video response to ABGN's Castlevania review. Wait, wait. Who named himself after a loop on the third character? Oh, wait. You don't even watch anime, damn it. I don't know. Okay. You know anyway, I don't care if he named himself Turd. His is awesome. <laughs> do, do you want to know my, my name? I changed my name to. Uh, my new name is Turd Ferguson. <laughs> Turd. <laughs> wait, uh, wait a minute. We got a call from Masterhand. That's sick, guys. I don't want to hear about feces. <laughs> anyway... Yeah, Castlevania for the NES, the soundtrack. we got to talk about the soundtrack. That soundtrack is just pure ECW. I mean, pure ECW sauce. And I've heard remixes of the soundtrack from video game music band. Awesome. But this game has an awesome soundtrack. And, I mean, this game is just, uh, just pretty much awesome. I have to give this game, I have to say, maybe a 9 out of 10. I eight and a half out of ten. Just because I a don't. No, yeah, pretty much. I don't like that Square Nintendo controller because after a couple hours, it starts to end it into your hands. And, but I forgot you don't play on a real ooh Nintendo controller. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> you know what? You know you could buy a USB version of it for like ten bucks. I mean, I know you. I know you know it's ten dollars. Ten dollars is still ten dollars, but. I'm thinking about buying... They have a Sega Saturn USB controllers. I'm thinking about buying one. But anyway, uh, about about an 8.5. 8, 8.5 out of 10 for me. Yeah. 
It's still a good game. It's, it's a great game. I mean, it's a classic. Oh yeah. All right. So that's it, guys. Um, that was short. <laughs> yeah, we will see you in the next LP. Uh, no spoilers, but I'll say that it would be a classic. Well, duh, all the games I'm review. You always do classic. Either old, no, Dirty Harry was not a classic. Um, Dirty Harry was a classic. The movie was, but not the game. Um, I'll tell, I'll tell you, it's a great Sega Genesis game. That's all I'm telling you. It's a great Sega Genesis game. Um, and so there you go. Uh, that LP will hopefully maybe come this week, if not next week. Uh, this, you know, the holiday season and you know uh, Christmas week, whatever. Plus, I work ten jobs, so yeah. Hang oh, on. Ron. Try to get out as soon as possible. We got part parts two, three. Yeah, parts two and three of the podcast coming up soon. Uh, if you haven't checked out part one, check it out right now. Um, and might- if you don't, if you don't, you're a communist, and we, you're gonna we're gonna move you to Siberia. You're gonna have to live in Siberia where there's no internet. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, that made no sense. <laughs> I know. This, <laughs> our videos on this channel don't make no sense. Our, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> talk about feces and stuff. I can't believe we have so many viewers <laughs> actually watching this stuff. I can't believe we haven't been suspended. Oh, I know. I know. We, we should be outlawed. Uh, if Master Hand was on this video, he would have said, I noticed you guys have 69 subscribers. That's nasty. 69. <laughs> 69. <laughs> All right, guys. We're out of here. For Jeff, I'm Ron Moore. God bless. And take care. Bye. And welcome to part two of Shinobi 3. This is Ron Moore, along with The Unknown, Archangel Zero, and J-Man. Howdy, y'all. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And the ball's getting ready to drop here to Central Time Zone as we're recording this. And this is round three, Body Weapon. So you fight swamp, you fighting swamp things over here. This is like disco stage or something. I like the lights flashing on and off. I like the swamp things and the disco lights. <laughs> Shinobi's partying at the club. <laughs> yep. What's that song, Angel? Find me in the tub. Or what was that woman's name? Uh, fifty. Uh, fifty cents. <laughs> you can find me in the tub. <laughs> no, it's, remember the parody of it, Miss uh, Peaches. Uh, I think it was uh, was it eat that chicken or something like that. <laughs> Hey, is that a swamp thing? <laughs> Bunch of turkey cranes over here. Turkey brains coming out of the glass. It's a leftover turkey from Thanksgiving that didn't make it. I think it's a... I think it's crank from Ninja Turtles. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, this stage has awesome music. Hey, this level is weird. It's just like, like a maze. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of hard and weird. Yeah, it, it's a stage. <laughs> I think this. I think the stage is a boss. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. I think they need a ninja in the the, the aliens movie. Yeah. What? <laughs> Watch out for the conveyor belts. Yeah, and the green slime. Oh yeah. I, I like that power processing. You mean blast processing? There you go. I think uh, Sonic will come on anytime now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was shocking. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get the shock of my life. Is this Ninja Gaiden? <laughs> Ninja Gaiden for the Sega Genesis. Lols. Oh, right in the slime. Oh, I got the extra art. Now I got two special ninja arts now. 
Here's the mini boss of round three. A bunch of brains. Again. They look like semen. <laughs> I call them cranes. Ouch. Man, I'm getting pwned right here. Yeah, they're kicking your ass. A bunch of crane babies. <laughs> babies kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, watch out for this part. Oh no. This thing's scary. You gotta it, once once it gets you in its crosshairs, you cannot escape its beam of death or whatever shoots at you. It's like Tremors the movie. <laughs> yeah. It's like Super Metroid kind of. Reminds me of uh, that game. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is ugly. That's the unknown true form right there. <laughs> true that. It's not pretty. <laughs> Where were we at? I mean, in in uh, I don't know, in hell or what? <laughs> I think it was on Sega Genesis. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Never do a review after drinking wild turkey <laughs> or, uh, or eating one. Oh, here we go. Oh man, oh, I look like after after drinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chat for the way. <laughs> I look ugly. <laughs> that guy looks like a deformed tumor. <laughs> oh. That guy needs a hug or something. <laughs> that guy has to pay for sex. <laughs> that guy will never lose his virginity. Never. That's an awesome boss, though. I think he's an X-Men. Man, I'm about to yeah. die here. Gotta watch out. Oh, okay. There he is. They should play that blue song right here. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What <laughs> okay, anyway, that was a failed joke. Um, I think that was Mother, that was Mother Brain's brother, I think. Brother Brain. Yeah, Brother Brain. Round four, destruction. Oh, oh surf, yeah. surf ninjas. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, Tony Hawk. <laughs> uh, ride the wave. Tony Hawk. Awesome music. <laughs> I've never seen a ninja on a skateboard. <laughs> it's not a skateboard, it's a uh, something. Surfboard. Yeah, it's a surfboard. Surfboard with wheels. Ah, <laughs> Jet ski. Surf's up! <laughs> Okay. Oh, what? That's a sucker shot. What do you think about the stage, J-Man? Cowabunga! <laughs> oh, wait, this is the first... Yeah, this reminds me of Turtles in Time right here, kind of the sewer level. Yeah, it does. I forgot. This is the fir your first time... Well, you never played this game, actually, so this is the first time seeing everything. Yes. It's my first time. You, you're losing your Shinobi 3 virginity. Yep. I like how they not tried to do anything in the background. <laughs> I like I like the blast processing. <laughs> Just some Transformer bosses now. They're, uh, they're actually Decepticons. I like the, the seaweed in the background. <laughs>
I think that's an American ninja. <laughs> that's a, uh, that's Joe, the American ninja. <laughs> Here's the second half of round four. I think that's one of the Double Dragon Brothers. Yeah, it's Bimmy Lee. <laughs> uh, yeah, Bimmy Lee. I actually like it how they have to fight for the girl at the end. Oh, what a Chinese star from behind. Man, that was a sucker Chinese star. Oh, watch out. Yeah, there you go. Some karate moves. You have to go to school to learn that. <laughs> ninja school. <laughs> what was that, J-Man? You must complete ninja school. Oh, uh, yeah. How to do that. It's not really his ninja suit. That's like his pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> That yeah, Birdman? That's Birdman. Oh, the bat. He's the bat. <laughs> now this is kind of a maze right here. I think like when they're on the ceiling on the pipes like that, it reminds me of Exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> the heck are those things on the pipe? Uh, the Exorcist, the movie part one. <laughs> Those things remind me of the old ladies on The Exorcist. <laughs> I think this is the Ukraine. They have all kinds of industrial shit over there. I think there's acid rain over there. <laughs> oh. He's a ninja, but he can't swim. Oh. Well, that's all right. Uh, we'll see you guys in part three. Any last words, J-Man? You got pwned. Yeah, I sure did. All right, see y'all guys in part three. Take care. Later. Later. God bless. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back to part three of Shinobi 3. This is Ron Moore along with Jeff Strictly Sega America. Hey, guys. Yes, we're finally playing our Genesis game. Wow, Ron. Yep, last time we did this was part two on New Year's Eve. Well, not me and you, but me, Angel, and the Unknown. You know, my only real problem with Shinobi 3 is, like, all the bombs you see everywhere. Someone just lays around a lot of random bombs. Yeah, I think, uh, Fat Man from Metal Gear Solid 2 is in this game somewhere. Oh, God, I forgot about him. <laughs> Ouch! Ooh. Ooh. Well, I'm steamed. <laughs> e silly puns. <laughs> Watch out for the steam. The steam could steam you. Why not? It could steamroll you. Oh man! Steam. I remember playing this. I spent hours playing this game as a kid. One time, I, I just played the game all freaking day. It's... Yeah, believe it or not, um, I first played this game. I rented it at a Kroger grocery store. Wow, I didn't know Kroger rented. Yeah, that was in Douglasville, Georgia in 1994. Uh, yeah, uh, what? And I rented that. They Castlevania Bloodlines from that same store, too. And <laughs> Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkatron. And I have that game. Tasmania, that sorry game. Um, Alright, here we go. Another extra power-up. Yeah. Right. Getting close to the boss here. Love the music in the stage. Love it. Oh, yeah. It's, a lot of this music in the whole game is really good. Oh, yeah. They did a really good job. I don't know how, but damn, they did a good job. And here's the boss of stage round right. three. I think I'm in round three. I forgot. Um, oh, we are. All right, some Transformers wannabes here. <laughs> a Contra boss wannabe. That seemed relatively easy. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, no! This, uh, fake robot from Terminator 3. Ow. Pretty fun boss battle. Getting kind of pwned here, though. Get your ass kicked, yeah, man. Ouch, ouch. Oh, yeah? Take this. Oh, no, fire! 
Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was that? Uh, like my white laugh is like, eh, it's like my lazy laugh. What the? <laughs> I don't remember laughing like that, but okay. sometimes you do. It's probably uh, one of those laughs you don't realize you have. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Just not until someone points it out. I don't laugh like that. Shut up. Oh wait, I do. <laughs> we know what you laugh like. <laughs> That's how you laugh, Ron Roller. Okay, I would know that if I'd laugh like that. <laughs> no, you wouldn't, because you're a silly nanny. There you go, you just went... <laughs> okay, yeah, thank, thank you for pointing out my faults. I'm sad now. You have faults. <laughs> loser? I have uh... <laughs> Whoever has faults is a loser. Um... Well, you know what? 16 mega... 16 bits is more than 8 bits, so... There. There, Ron Roller. Anyway, we beat the round three boss. Yay! Ooh, dead guy and Shinobi. Wait, how does Shinobi know how to surf? He's a ninja. He's a surf ninja. Oh, uh, no, don't ever say that word again. Huh. That's two words. Thank you. There's two more words. Electric Demon. <laughs> Sounds like a heavy metal song. Yeah. Electric Demon. Death and destruction. Roar. This stage looks awesome. Yes, yeah, so let, let's just instead of jumping over the mines, let's just bluntly run on them because we're crazy. And Gunstar Hero 21 was watching the low budget review of this game, and he was saying, "You need to start using more of your dash moves. Use your dash move more often." So, okay, so in this stage, you use it a lot. Okay. This is fun stuff exploding. Yeah, there's a lot of random crap. And where's Smokey the Bear at, for crying out loud? I know, the force is on fire. I, I love how these people are like, oh, everything's burning and everything's going to hell. But, you know, we're going to try and kill this guy anyway. Yeah. But let's not care about our own lives. Ooh, seriously, who uses a mortar to take down a ninja? I'm going to take him down with this mortar. And more of this awesome music from round two. Oh, yeah. It's been a long time since I've played this game. Am I seeing blood when you get hit? Yep. Totally awesome. I forgot about that. Holy crap. Not that much blood, so this game is rated G. Yeah. I think it's rated G. Probably. I gotta go back and check for sure. I know Castlevania Bloodlines is rated G. Yeah. What ever happened to the Shinobi series? I don't know. They got... Now, when they brought it back on PS2 a few years ago, did they? Uh, I think that was... Ninja Rock died and right in the... Oh, no, they brought that one back, too. But they also brought Ninja... I mean, uh, Shinobi on PS2, I believe, years ago. I hope they did, because this is a game that could have been good on a new console, I think. Yeah, and they should make another one, especially on PS3, uh, 360. If you can stick around and kill people, yeah, that'd be perfect for a new yeah. console system. That'd be awesome. I know, God. What are they thinking? Come on, Sega. Sega's thinking of Sonic. Unfortunately, well, they got, you know, the Total War series, which I freaking love right now. Other than that, oh yeah, I guess I'll try Bayonetta maybe, but, I don't know. They're, they're thinking of Toe Jam and Earl. Oh, wish I'll come to see a sequel to Toe Jam and Earl. <laughs> Here's the mini boss. Mini boss, mini boo. I, I forgot about him. He's fast. Another Transformer. Ow. Out, he has an energy cannon rifle. He looks like a boss from East Watt. Oh yeah. I love even though he has his futuristic armor and cannons, you can kill him with a shuriken. Yeah. It is awesome. Yeah, well Joe Musashi got to like that. Oh yeah. Home. He's turning red! Oh, he's dead. Alright, here's the second part of round four. Inside uh, a robot factory, I guess. <laughs> a robot factory. Reminds me a little bit of Megman X2 at the beginning. Oh no, the bridge blew! And that did absolutely nothing! <laughs> oh, Shinobi's, or Joe Musashi's burning some bridges in this game. Yeah, oh no! 
Let's hope they don't make the Terminators here. Oh, uh, yeah. You're screwed if they do. <laughs> yeah. This part right here, this part of the song, it makes me think of a party full of rich people. Yeah. <laughs> for ooh, that was close. Ooh, I thought you fell down there for a minute. Or in the, I just kept on holding up to hang on to something. Uh, but me, Angel, and the unknown was pointing out in the low budget review of this game how, you know, the the music reminds me of rich parties and eating Ritz and yeah, eating Ritz, the white cheese or uh, Swiss cheese and, and guacamole or whatever the caviar, or whatever they. You know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, this stage right here is pretty awesome. It is a pretty good stage. Oh. <laughs> I'm just guys like, I don't care, I will shoot you with my machine gun even though I'm not aiming at you, ha ha ha. Yeah, and then I blew up that bomb and then the bridge gave way under him and he fell in the lava. Ooh! Oh. Ouch. <laughs> I've been shot! And I'm about to die. Yeah, I wonder who composed the music in this game. I wonder if it's Yuzo Kazora or whatever the person is. Yeah, whatever that music composer's name was for Streets of Rage. You blah blah blah. Yuzo Kashiro. Hong Chong Ching Chong. Yuzo Acoustic. I, I don't know. Um, Yeah, this stage is kind of like a puzzle. Crazy puzzles. Yeah, we're playing some Ninja Fire, Fire and Ice here. <laughs> no, not Fire and Ice. <laughs> <laughs> that game brings back like, so many nightmares. <laughs> it's pretty cool if you like puzzle games, though. Yeah, but it's long as hell. I mean, it never ends. Well, I just got shot. And believe it or not, you can't jump over bullets. <laughs> no, you know, even though it says that in the Ninja Handbook, you, you apparently can't. Yeah. Damn Ninja Handbook, it lied. I'm gonna go kill that Ask a Ninja Ninja, he lied to me. Oh, yeah. There's actually a show, I think, on the internet called Ask a Black Guy. <laughs> yeah, I think I've heard of it, because you got Ask a Ninja, Ask a Black Guy. And I think it was another one. Yeah, from uh, In His Image on YouTube, Omar K. Mills hosts Ask a Black Guy, his radio show, I think. <laughs> and that guy's pretty cool because he's a Cowboys fan. Okay. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course he is. Hey. Unlike, you know, J-Man, who's a Colts fan. Yeah. We're making J-Man mad right now. <laughs> and with that said, we're out of time. We'll see you guys in part four. God bless and take care. Welcome back to part quattro of Shinobi 3, Return of the Ninja Rookie for the Sega Genesis. Oh yeah! Which is not as good as Super Nintendo. This is Ron Moore, along with... Oh, well, that was lame. I went to the wrong direction and I died. This is Ron Moore, along with, uh... Stringer Sega America's Jeff. You know Genesis does. You know it. Just long, you keep denying it. We're gonna keep living like this. Whoa, look at that. Oh, whoa. Yeah. oh, 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 oh. Genesis does your mother. Whoa! Oh, oh man! Why did you use your power? Oh. I, hit, I hit the wrong button, just like in Street Fighter Age One. <laughs> but um, we are also here with J-Man and Bear, just in case you didn't know. Hiya! yeah. What's happening? That was lame. <laughs> and well, let, let's, let me tell you what's not lame: this game. And that the, rhymes. The music. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the rich party music right here. I'll have the caviar. <laughs> yes, Ebenezer. I believe that I have. <laughs> exactly. So lame in it, on, on a toothpick. If you don't like Ebenezer. Sonic, you can at least buy a Genesis for this game. Ebenezer. <laughs> Ebenezer. Okay, no no Scrooge, come on now. Yeah, we're Scrooge. And I'm if you don't Scrooge. And if you don't like <laughs> Sonic, you can get Sonic Unleashed and use it as a coaster. There you go. Or a frisbee. Or a frisbee that looks better. Hey, uh, 
I always wondered in this game, though, even as a kid, why are there so many bombs, like, in random boxes? It's like, let's put boxes here, but let's put a bomb in the box. Why? Because terrorists don't like you. <laughs> they don't <laughs> like you. <them>, just... <laughs> terrorists just... apparently aren't that smart. Because this game is the bomb. The bomb diggity. <laughs> you know what, Bear? You know what? Moving right now. Uh, as Jeff would say, you know what, Ryan? This game would look better on this. I mean, a chance. Wait, well, it is on the Genesis. Never well, mind. Once, one, like... <laughs> once, one, once again, Ronnie, me fanboy. Fanboy. Whatever I say, you should just ignore. Because me fanboy. I wonder, I wonder if this game would look better on this and yes. Probably would. It, it would the sound be better and the color. That's about it, probably. Well, the, the, music, in, the music in this game is awesome. I mean, I'm wondering if it would sound even more awesome. On the SNES yeah, with the yeah, Sony sound chip. Yeah, yeah. I don't, it could be better, but then again, it might not be. You're right. Yeah, but then <laughs> again, if we did that, there would be no more blast processing. So. Oh yeah, you yeah. gotta have your blast processing. And then there'd be no uh, no children of the future. No blast blast processing. Blast? This game is a blast. This game is a blast. <laughs> blast from the frost. Oh, Shinobi, where would we be without you? We wouldn't, we certainly wouldn't be playing Shinobi if it weren't <laughs> for Shinobi. <laughs> exactly. Just Ninja Gaiden. Which is nothing wrong with that. Meekly badass bad game. game. Uh, hey, Ninja Gaiden on the Genesis, what would that be like? It's hard as hell. Yeah, probably. They have, yeah, well, I know they may have. They put uh, originals on, uh, on there, but they were different. They were a little different. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hey, you know that. what? Shinobi versus Ninja Gaiden. Well, from what I've heard, the new Ninja Gaiden games are better than the, the new Shinobi game that came out for PS2. I played yeah. the new Ninja Gaiden games, and they're good, except at the beginning, it's the, like, I don't know, the first couple stages, they're really actually hard to navigate, but the rest of it's a pretty good game. I don't like the camera. <laughs> yeah, that, but the game is still overall okay. I haven't played the Shinobi, so I can't debate on that. Yes. Is it a Castlevania camera? Castlevania 64 camera? Pretty much. <laughs> oh, man. I am so glad I didn't own a 64 back in the day. I wouldn't want that game. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's still a pretty good game, but yeah, there's just there's some obvious problems with it. It's, it's not a bad game, I don't think. Uh, While well, you guys were playing that, I was busy playing Symphony of the Night, so, you know. Oh, yeah. great things about that yeah, game. You know, I mean, everybody talks about that. That's a given. Yeah, I mean, that's a great game. <laughs> it's not as good as Simon Quest. So shut oh, up. Oh, it's on. I, I said Simon <laughs> Quest. You now possess this a great game. <laughs> not as good as Deadly Towers, that's for sure. <laughs> Deadly Towers. <laughs> Deadly. Deadly here's Tours. The boss. Here's the boss. An invisible thing that makes you something and oh there we go oh god it's that thing from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers it's Mechagonzilla yeah the the uh, Megazord yeah or whatever it's called Megasword the green guy's thing <laughs> yeah I don't the know the green guy <laughs> hey, I don't know I'm, I'm not six anymore <laughs> what do you want <laughs> you forgot about the, the, the white guy <laughs> the black guy <laughs> the red guy now that's racist. How can we forget about the black guy? Uh, um, the black guy in the black Power Ranger outfit and the Chinese girl in the yellow Power Ranger outfit. So did wonderful. You, did you say black power? <laughs> yes, I, I'm a member of the Black Panthers. Well, you so know, I, I thought when I was a kid, I thought about that. The black guy's wearing the black Ranger suit. Now, I never thought about the yellow uh, Ranger, the Asian girl wearing the yellow Ranger suit. I never thought about that till you just said it just now. Yeah. How come there's no white Ranger? I don't know. There was for a while, wasn't there? There was some guy who was in white. I yeah, think so. He's, yeah. he's got all the good lines. He was in the movie or something, and they. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think they switched the the black and the yellow ranger. Yeah, they they did after That's the first season. Ever, yeah. Yeah. After the what? first season, they did that. There's another black ranger, Ranger Trevette, uh. and another white ranger, Cordell Walker. Alright, seriously, Ronnie, you gotta step up, Ronnie, you gotta step up your A-game on this, come on. 
beat his ass. <laughs> yeah, I we are playing Shinobi, not Power Rangers. Rangers that way. <laughs> yeah, right. Star, Star Soldier played Power Rangers on YouTube a while back. Uh, let me guess for the Turbo Graphic 16. Uh, I don't remember actually. I think he'll reply to this and tell us. <laughs> and they tell us have a, a Sega CD <laughs> game. I think they made one of them for the Sega CD. If I'm not mistaken. Terrible. They did. <laughs> and it was like the the full motion video thing. Yes. Oh man, that was not good. ECW power. Oh no. Apparently, being ECW controls fire. <laughs> Yeah. We, well, you know, know. You, you know what, J-Man? I've got Power Rangers on the 3DO, and it's awesome. That's Power Rangers so don't wear ties. <laughs> oh, so funny. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm half awake. It's it's 3.30 in the morning. Come on. Oh, yeah, give him credit. He is still awake. Somehow. Yeah. I don't have anything to do tomorrow except go hiking. Anyway, enough about me. Oh, ah, come on. Step up your A-game. This is what, Jeff? Uh, it's like a Smash TV boss. Come on. You destroy the head and it keeps going. Like Sean Connery said, if, if you want it, you gotta fuck the prom queen. Come on, you're gonna fuck the prom queen. <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm even saying that now. Wow. Uh, well, the, the, those guys will never lose their virginity, so that won't happen. Uh, Sean okay. Connery? <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what movie he's like. You gotta... You want to fuck the prom queen, or I don't, I don't even know what it is now. <laughs> it, was, it was The Rock. Oh, yeah, it was The Rock. Thank you. And yeah, Nicholas Cage I, goes, uh, what's the name? Was the prom queen? Whatever girl okay. he was engaged to the movie. But anyway. I, I think if you forcibly fuck the prom queen, I think that uh, that counts as statutory rape. It's not statutory rape if she consents to it. If she nods her head, that's good enough. After after you slipped her the Mickey. <laughs> oh yes, of course, of course. Because as we all know, that's the only way Jeff can get. Never mind. <laughs> oh, Whoa, bear! You went a little too far there. Woo! Bring I it. think that's how you get women, bear. Yeah, but they don't remember anything because I killed them. <laughs> wow, well, that, that is. I don't know if that's sad or pathetic or both. ST2K, high moral standards. Yeah. <laughs> Each and every one of us. What actually happened was we, we brought in Bear because we were our ratings were going down on this channel. And so yes, we, we have the now we're all super I, moral and they we can, have to make it edgy. The show must now we'll get the we'll get the viewers back. Then I bring in the uh, the rape and murdering crowd. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Shout out make... shout out to uh, Florida State Penitentiary. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta make this show edgy, come on. Edginess. Prom Queen. Fuck. Prom Queen. The... Okay, oh, hopefully I can... Yeah, hopefully I can maintain my concentration here and not get hit. Hopefully you can win before this part ends! Kill him! Yes! You the dog now, man! <laughs> You're the man now, dog. You got it backwards. I know. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later. Woo! <laughs> We still got time before the YouTube time limit, so uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, part five. Hey, YouTube time limit, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Part five will we'll come whenever, you. whenever it comes. But then it's sick, Ronnie. Oh, okay. When come, come, part it comes. Five. come, come. It, it'll right. come on the Sega CD version. Okay. You come on right. Sega CD? What? Run out of YouTube time. <laughs> we're we're not YouTube time. All right. See y'all later. See ya. Later. And welcome to part 5 of Shinobi Thress. Return the Ninja Master, Draw Mower, along with J-Man 46241, and Weak Eye 409. 309. Yeah, I know you did that on purpose. And we are in round 6, Traps. It's, it's a, a trap! trap. <laughs> it's a trap! <laughs> I gotta use my high jump art right here. <laughs> Cause you're gonna need it right here. The art of Air Jordan. Yeah. yeah. Ah, oh, come on, move! I go Shinobi. Oh, what? Oh, no. What? Oh. Fail. I got pwned. Stop throwing shiny stars at me, I'm dead! <laughs> ninja stars, don't throw ninja stars. Shiny stars? No one calls them ninja stars. I do. Well, you, you're different. Simon, Simon Ninja. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. 
you'll, you'll never lose your ninja virginity. Yeah. I did last week. Right. <laughs> this level's freaking hard. And it's going back to the stage one music here now. Which, by the way, is awesome because this game's music is awesome. Much better than the music in Target Renegade. Shut up, Ronnie. You don't know anything <laughs> about the NES gloriness. <laughs> NES gear sex. NES gear sex. More like horror. Did I upload it? Of course I have it. Anyway. Now what happened? Well, uh, that's why I'm just... That's why I'm just... Target's No. <laughs> How about that, huh? Combine and forces. The and when the moon gets off the screen here, that's when we're getting close to the end. Oh yeah, this doesn't make sense. This is like the biggest gap ever. Ouch! Whatever Watch out for gap ever. Yes. <laughs> Indian gate or whatever. Watch out for the Michael Keatons. Where? I'm Batman. <laughs> Man, that Snickers commercial, the guy got hit. Like I'm Batman. I'm Ninja. <laughs> Okay, the moon's gone. We should, it should be the next level. Hurry! Get close, get close to it. Yes, extra life! Huzzah. Awesome. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be the end. Now, see, this is kind of a strange concept because it looks like you're falling, but, I don't know, like the rocks are falling slower than I don't know, the rest of the screen? Yeah, it's weird. Oh. Yeah. This makes no sense. David, Kratos get the physics right. And here's the mini boss of round six, Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> Sharon! Where's the bat? You know, since he bites a bat, I like whatever. Uh, it was a... It was a mutated bat, and it takes girl wings. And it takes a bite, bite out of Batman. Oh, so I was gonna kill Batman. Hey, Wingman, how about that for Mega Man Robot Master? Isn't that already, isn't that already one Wingman? Probably is. Buffalo Storm, Wingman. Storm Eagle or Buffalo Buffalo Blizz, Blizzard Buffalo from X3. That was kind of dumb, but it's your best buddy in the bar. It's your Wingman. <laughs> Buffalo oh, yeah. Wild Wings Man. It has that make sense. <laughs> I don't know. Play, place in between the rocks, you're, you're like not. Is there like a this is a platform you can't see? Oh, uh, it's the, the screen capture thing that I did. I didn't capture the whole screen. Oh, okay. Because I don't, I didn't want the the, the numbers, the emulator numbers, to be in the video. <laughs> oh, oh, you, don't you know how to turn that off? No, I don't. Neither do I. So I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. If anybody knows how to do that in Fusion, let me know. Yeah. All right. Oh man, the real hard part of this stage. Ouch. Whoa. Watch out for the spears. Watch out for the spikes. Running into them. <laughs> yeah. Awesome music. There we go. Oh, is this like a maze again? Yes. Oh, it's oh. even worse. It's a trap. Again. It's a tarp. Ouch. They go in the door! <laughs> Idiot! I guess I'll stand here again. <laughs> Get off the spikes! What's wrong with you? Ouch! Ow! Oh! Oh! This Damn, I'm getting pwned like no. the Dallas Cowboys here. Oh. Okay. I don't think you should be considered a ninja anymore. <laughs> Where did you earn your degree? TSTC Waco. Oh, Shinobi, huh? Oh, yeah. Shinobi, the guy you're controlling. Oh. I can't get, I can't control no man. Each man controls his own. <laughs> I can't control no man. Quoted quoted by Quan Chang Kang. <laughs> Quan Chang Kang. <laughs> Just making stuff up now. Yeah. Oh, the other way you see. Oh. Man, I'm no good, but this level is hard, but I'm still no good either. Welcome to the new Let's Fail. <laughs> yeah, really. No, just let's almost fail. More like it. It's not entirely okay. bad. There you go. Oh, let's one up. It. You should get a one up for that. <laughs> yeah. C -c -c Combo breaker. 
combo breaker cut out. <laughs> <laughs> Threw off my combo. Oh no. <laughs> See if, uh -oh. I, if I spin in midair, then hit the shiny star button, it'll hit the crates and then I'll fall down and can't land on oh, no. One more life for oh. uh pump. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm dead in midair. You got San Diego Charger. <laughs> yeah. Dallas Cowboy dirt. <laughs> the boy hurt. Nice Ouch. Goal. That blew up my face. Ah, oh, what? So much for your ninja skills. Yeah, really. Ow! I told this is Shinobi returned to Ninja Rookie. Yeah, welcome to Let's Criticize Ron on how he's doing on Shinobi. There he is. Yeah. yeah. It should be in the series, Let's Criticize. Potential, potential Red Shoe Prey video. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, just missing the uh, unregistered hypercam. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, and the uh, arrow, the cursor. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can see what you're pointing at. Finally, a different part of this level. Yeah, eat your heart out, Chun Li and Vega. Oh man. Ah, that that bond. Jump. <laughs> and you know what? So can I. <gasps> oh my god, really? It said, really? Right answer. Yeah. Yeah. I ask you a question, you answer. Answer this. Ouch. Oh, wait. Answer this. Oh, okay. Is, are we playing Jeopardy? Is that like, what yes. is the sound you make? You get hit. Well, there we go. Oh, god. Take that, Adam West. Oh, ow. Yeah. Chinese Adam West. Oh, Bruce Wayne, Bruce Willis, whatever Batman's name is. Bruce Willis. <laughs> yeah, yeah Bruce like, Wayne. I'm gonna think for the first thing and what his name is. Bruce Wayne. Oh, come on. It? It? Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised Bruce Willis hasn't been a Batman. <laughs> oh, yeah. I figured sure had the I rock. do it after uh, Val Kilmer. The rock, The Rock. George Clooney. Hulk. They should have had Hulk Hogan do it. Oh god. I'm Hulk Man. <laughs> and I am ECW Man. He was never an ECW. He was in WCW. Oh. I'm Train Man. <laughs> Charge Man now, entering J Man's property. <laughs> I, don't hear, I don't see a train in this level. Why is there a train noise? It's, yeah. it's previews for the next level. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a preview. Brought to you by the J-Man Corporation. Oh, 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 watch out. I wish you had your own corporation. Let's do this again. Yeah. Just me, we'll be going, like, through the same places over and over again. <laughs> so that was a freaking maze. Oh my god, like, I forgot. <laughs> That's sarcasm, my friend. You need yeah, to uh, save states. No. Only, uh, only, uh, vaginas use save states. <laughs> yeah, we're with the J Man. Uh, I, um, I saw you at one time, you used them. Don't lie. So? <laughs> um, so hey, it was me! What you, okay, it was me! What do you want? <laughs> the gaming M12 bird, whatever his name is, says you can't, yeah, you know, don't use save states. Your vagina do. You. I don't. I deleted all videos. <laughs> Are you serious? No, I think I was trying to draw attention off of himself. I'm not. Like, yeah. Got this. Somebody else. I didn't. No, I didn't. Do it. Wasn't me. Just go back to bail, okay? And welcome to this Super Mario World part right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This whole place has been kind of like uh, Super Mario World, a little bit of maze and whatnot. Yeah. Is there really a maze? Oh yes. Oh. Just like Willy Maze. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't get it. Uh, He's a lazy baseball player. Ah, uh, still going. Finally, yes. Oh, cool. But we have to end. And we will see the rest of that boss battle in part six. You guys take care. Peace out. See ya. All right. Uh, whenever you're Ronnie, whenever you're, <laughs> whenever you're Ronnie, ready. All right, here we go. And welcome. To let's play Shinobi 3 part 6 underscore 0001. Oh, wait, that's just on our end. This is Ron Moore. 6, <laughs>
<laughs> this is Ron Moore along with J-Man, and I'm fighting the boss of round six. Wow. It's like, and, like a big uh, Shang Tsung. Yeah, I'm fighting uh, the Great Buddha's dad here, I think. It's like uh, Kabuki Quantum Fighter. Yeah. This boss is hard. Kinda get pwned right here. Ouch! Use your sword! Why didn't you use your sword? Yeah, why are you using those uh, arrowheads? Reminds me of ben bench warmers. Don't chop at it! It's not a sword! You're not a sword! <laughs> Ouch. I'm about to get pwned here. Oh! oh. Uh, you got whipped. Yep. Round two. Fight! Oh, oh, oh. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh. She looks like, or no, oh, I think it's a guy with a wig or something. I don't know, but it looks like that old woman from Double Dragon Three that got killed. <laughs> when she tried to, uh, she thought she knew what she was doing with the sacred stones, and she got killed. I have oh, not got... played that far in that game. Ouch. Ooh. Watch out for the spikes. Yep. Ah. Oh. <laughs> there should be like some Benny Hinn music playing right now. Yeah, really. With all the doors opening up. Another airplane flying over J-Man's yeah. house. Unfortunately. Yeah. They just did that right before we hit record and I was doing it again. Grr! Yep. Every time that happens, we lose the subscriber. No, uh. <laughs> well, see, uh, the city is it's great on transportation, definitely planes and trains, but it's horrible on electricity. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been without power uh, like three times tonight for a total of about an hour and a half. That's not ECW. But you can always count on the planes and trains. Oh, yep. <laughs> Uh-oh, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Now it gets even harder. Dun, 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 dun. Well, at least there's only one now. Oh. Yeah. Watch out for the fans. <laughs> Ow. The spears. And the rose petals. Yeah. Ouch. That's oh, it. Not looking good. Uh oh. Uh, 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 uh oh. Uh oh. No, no, no. Oh. Uh oh. Now. Over. Jump on top of me like that. Game over. Yeah, but um, it lets me start at the boss battle again. Well, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yep. Maybe on normal difficulty, but on hard, you probably have to start over. Yeah, level one. <laughs> yeah. Here we go again, round three. And you gotta kinda guess here. What the heck, he or she's gonna show up. Maybe there's some kind of pattern. Probably is, but I don't know, it might be random. Maybe there's a pattern on easy mode, I don't know, this is normal right here. Who knows? Oh, come on! Yeah, he didn't appear at all. Oh, you have to hit him with one, and then you have to yeah. hit the right one. Yeah. Gotcha. With his mega claw. Yeah. Here we go. Round three dash two. Dun dun dun. The little flower petals. <laughs> oh, look at the pink flowers. That was nice right there. Yep. Oh, uh, see, now you got it. You got the, uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think he's gone now. Yeah. Change your colors. Yep, he's gone. I didn't have to use my fire special, either. Round clear. You got pwned a wig wearing, a uh, woman from Double Dragon 3? 
Darn. Round seven, the final confrontation. It'd be embarrassing if Shinobi fell off the mountain right there, trying to look all hard. <laughs> ah, oh, oh. Yeah. Ah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, right here, I need to use my high jump art to make this part much easier. As we're on an airship or something, I guess we're playing Mario 3. <laughs> Awesome graphics and music for the stage. Chapter of Steam. Some critics uh, said that this game is good, just too short. Eh, I guess so. Maybe could use one more level. I don't know. It is, yeah, it is actually a little short for like a 16-bit. Yeah. Back in my day, in 8-bit, we had 20 levels, actually 52 <laughs> levels. There is actually 52 on Genesis, by the way. Yeah, I heard oh. that. But that was not ECW. Plane. Uh. It matches It matches the mood of the level. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I was going to say, like, we're on a plane, kind of. There's no snakes on this plane. Hey, yeah. Uh. Hey, you stole that from Green's commentary in Mega Man Part 7. Mega Man 3 Part 7. <laughs> Well, I'm going to lie and say that I stole it from uh, Samuel Jackson. Yeah, you stole it from yourself. Oh, <laughs> you stole it from yourself. Yeah, or that. <laughs> Either way. It's not robbery if you steal it from yourself. Exactly. Because that's just yourself. five tenths of the law. Yep. That part right there kind of reminds me of Sonic 2 when you fight in one of the robotic battles. That laser. It's on, on the on the air, wing fortress zone level. Yeah, you gotta destroy the parts of it before. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. It's been. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. Go back to my low budget view of Sonic Two, and I guess remember, remember that way. That was just uh, low budget commentary on both of our parts. Yeah. <laughs> now we're playing a little bit of Super C here. Oh, please don't remind me of that game. <laughs> oh, these things are freaking hard to hit. Hey, what's the spray gun? What's the spray right. shark? Exactly. <laughs> In your heart. Dang it, freaking automatic update appearing on my window here. Please restart now, or later. Later, you idiot, I'm commentating over here. Ah, oh, man, hit it! There you go. Yeah, finally. There'll be more. Yeah. And you can't see Shinobi's feet because of the... Of what I captured with Camp Studio. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like he's standing on the, the YouTube timeline. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Ugh. Watch out for the gun. Oh, push it, push it. Yeah. <laughs> Inside joke right there, people. Push it, push it. Oh, ouch. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm getting that, here. Ow, ow. Uh, that was your uh, old uh, district manager? Yeah. That truck piece. Current one, kind of. Yeah, I don't know what he is. That has to be the most annoying thing to hear at work. Yeah. Come on, clean that table. Push it, push it. Now I can understand, like, come on, guys, push to the limit. We're on a 30 minute wait. No, push it, push it. All right, salt and pepper shows up out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you got roller skates on during the skating ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, more art artillery. Yeah. Well, it, it's a big Mega Buster right there. Charging up, I guess. Yeah, it's the Mega Man 4 arm cannon. Yeah. I got one more hit, I'm dead. Continue point. Save states. 
Oh no, not the steam. Well, watch out. Oh. 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 Uh, oh. oh. No health. Oh no. Uh, These guys again. Oh no no no. No no. And there's no way. No way. Oh yeah. Oh watch out. Depends on the low budget view I got hit right there and died. Ah, oh, a little bit more <laughs> life now. Oh no. You're doing like some corn shack shit right now. Yeah. And then watch out for this part. Don't get hit or you die. You want to take team. three steps forward and then two steps back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and boom! Busted that door like Jason Voorhees. And that's the end of part six. We'll see you in part seven where hopefully I can beat the game. Hopefully. God, God bless and take care. See ya. Welcome back to part seven of Shinobi 3. This is Ron Moore along with J-Man and Jeff. Hello. What's happening? And this is the final part of the final stage. Actually, the final part is with the boss battle, but this is the, uh, you know what I mean. Um, yeah. Ow! That was shocking. <laughs> Silly puns. Ow! Watch out for the shock. <laughs> or you'll get the shock of your life. <laughs> oh, man. You got, I mean, you got master wall jumps right here. Uh, I, I love wall jumping. You're gonna have to be good at him in this game, especially for this part. Yeah. The same music from uh, level three, body weapon. Before you fight that monster Metroid boss. Uh, they Ow! Should have came up with a new song. I don't know if you're gonna make it, Ron. Oh. oh. And this part is hard. I forgot how hard this was. Whew. And I fell in the electricity right there, but you can't see it because of screen capture. Try not to capture the emulator numbers. Also, you know the problem is with emulators, uh, it captures more than what was supposed to be captured on a TV. Oh. Like, yeah, like uh, the emulator is like 20% bigger than what was on the TV, so it looks weird for some games. Where's my capture card, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got it, but I need to buy me a new DVD recorder first. Oh, okay. You're more really welcome to have it when I get one, probably next month, maybe late next month. If it'll work on my computer. It'll, it's a USB thing. It'll work for it'll work for Windows. Uh, what was it? Windows 2000 up. So I don't think it'll have much of a problem. Oh, cool. Yes, the USB with some AV and S video cables. Ow. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Dear. Well, hopefully you got enough life to get out of it. Ow. Seriously, you you are screwed. You're like gonna lose half your life trying to get through that. I'm gonna have to play Half Life if I lose half my life on this. Oh, never mind. That's a lame pun. I try to make. Oh. <laughs> Okay, what else is over here? Nothing? Oh, okay. No Shinobi. And now I gotta wait a long time for this elevator to show up right here. So frustrating. <laughs> wow. I mean, is this really necessary, Sega? Are you trying to teach us patience? I, I forgot how long it actually is. Well, other than that, this is what you guys were missing out while you guys were playing your Nintendo consoles. Uh, yeah, missing out on waiting for it a bit for 10 hours. <laughs> Genesis does patience. When Nintendo wanted to rip that off and make it better action, <laughs> or whoever, whatever company made that game. <laughs> I just got that. Oh. A lot of shocking elements in this level. The music is badass in this. Yeah, it's oh pretty God. good. I mean, the, the music in this game is almost as good as Street of Rage 2. Yeah. I enjoy it all, man. The entire Street of Rage collection, they always have good songs. And that part, not part three. Oh! oh. You're supposed to jump, you idiot! You like jump, punch, Shinobi. Bro. How stupid are you? You well, fail. I got two more continues as we listen to this awesome Game Over music. Game Over, yeah! Alright, to start round 7 again, but this time, it's not going to make me, just like in the previous level, I have to start all the way over. I start, Actually, sorry. I'm going to start in the same part right here. There you go. Uh, Actually, that game over, yeah, thing, uh, I have that on my cell phone for whenever I get a text. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's pretty bad. What about when you end a call? Call over, yeah! <laughs> I should come up with something like that, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah! He's jump on the wall. The I know. It's like you gotta jump on the wall down there, and then I don't time it right. Man, come on. Where, where, where's you know Skip Rogers and Billy Mitchell when you need them? Ow! Yeah, really. Make him mad. And watch out for the uh, electric stuff. It can give you the shock of your life. Ow! <laughs> oh! Oh! Man! Oh! No. Oh! I don't know if you're gonna make it. Oh. That that hole probably did you a favor. Shinobi! <laughs> Put me on my misery. <laughs> Come on. Oh! Uh. I mean, no, I just I, I just thought of this. Like, if you're playing through this game and the uh, end boss is waiting for you, just standing there, like, going around and watch. Like, where is this guy? Come on, seriously. He's getting home by these electrical strips, or whatever they're called. <laughs> oh. Yeah, exactly. The, the boss is like, it's been an hour. Seriously, where is this ninja dude? He's <laughs> yeah. to fight me. He's like, you know what, if you get to the end, you win. I'm done waiting. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm going home, guys. Yeah, really. Alright, come on. Oh, oh. The timing is hard right here. Alright, really? Yeah, it looks like it right there, yeah, if you don't get right near the top. One, two, ooh, ah! Oh, now the one on top, ah! Oh. One, two, ooh, ah! Oh. Can't, I can't believe you got past one without getting shocked. And I'm yeah, Really? That's a shocker. <laughs> Isn't there a player with last name Shocky? Yeah, I think so. so. Uh, oh. he's Shocky. Who's Shocky? Jeremy. Oh. He's a, yeah, he's a tight end. Is he the shock master? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, forget. Ah, oh, forget the. Let's try to cheat. Platform. Oh. Uh oh. Just grab this. Grab the ceiling, you idiot. Oh wait, I forgot. Uh, I gotta. Oh man, I just screwed myself. Um. You're dead. Yep. Come on. One unit. Ow. Okay, should I be still be getting an executed right there? You should be like charred yeah. to a crisp. Yep. I know, I'm just like laying there. I guess like, oh, he's dead. Just leave him alone. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. a bug zapper. Yeah. Hey. Oh, there it is. You gotta just like get over there as fast as you can then. It's, it's Shinobi. It's all about speed. Yeah. You must have the correct timing. Yep. Daniel Sun. Yes. Daniel Sun? Who's Daniel Sun? <laughs> Daniel Sun. I know a guy named Danielson. Like, Shut up. I'm uh, Mr. Miyaga, bitch. Mr. Miyagi. Daniels, baby mama. Daniels. <laughs> yeah, I knew a guy named... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I knew a guy named Danielson. Daniel son put together. And S-O-N. Danielson. You mean his last name was Danielson? No, his first name. That sounds like a really weird first name. But they call him Daniel. So. <laughs> that would make sense. No. Uh, oh, watch out. There's something down there I don't want to get right now. Go, Shinobi! Da, 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 I don't know. Alright, the farthest I got... The farthest I got in a long time. Jump! Alright. Jump! Jump! Ninja, jump! Oh, no, not this part. Kasumi Ninja! For the Atari Gen. I, I don't know why. I was thinking of that commercial. I don't know if you guys ever seen it for Kasumi Ninja. Atari uh, for It's really weird. Duh, duh, duh. Hmm. Ooh, action dunk! Jump, jump, jump! Ow! Uh -huh. Man, come on! You gotta be careful right here. Oh, this part is tricky. Ooh. Oh, man. What? Tricky dicky. The heck? Woo! I gotta get back. I gotta play this game again. It's been yeah. a long time. Oh! Oh, oh that's cheap. Gosh. Oh, man. That's pretty that whole thing, but, but that whole thing just blew up in my face. <laughs> I know I've used that pun 20 times, but I had to right there. That was a perfect time, because it really did blow up right in my face. You gotta start over again? Oh, man. That no. would be, that'd make me angry. That was just the part where I was at. I mean, uh, oh. this, uh, like, this, is not the, this is not the first part of the level. The first part of this level was like outside the airship or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. This is the second part, but I, I got started with the beginning of this part, yeah, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to give me a minute. I haven't played this game since, like, 1997. Ouch. Yeah, this game is ECW. It, it is. 
I've got it laying around here somewhere. I need to. I think that's when ECW was in its prime in '97. Yeah. When, when you mean when wrestling was still real to an extent? Yeah, it's still real to me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me different. <laughs> Thank what you done to your bodies. <laughs> You know, I kind of miss Hulk Hogan. I don't like his movies, but I miss him. He's back. Oh, he is? Uh, he, he's not really wrestling, I don't think, but he's he's around. It was cool when, actually, you know, they got the crap beat out of him, like, you know, bloody faces, chairs. Now the blood's fake, and it sucks. And ECW, and ECW, it was real to me, dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saying what needed to be said! <laughs> I should, I, should, I should put the link to that video in the description box. For those of you who don't know what the heck we're talking about. Some overpassionate fan. Oh, yeah, a wrestling fan. I hate wrestling fanboys. Sega, I want to thank you for what you did with Shinobi. <laughs> no, seriously. Wrestling fanboys are worse than Sonic fanboys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everyone, everyone, a lot of people ask me, it's like, so, are you a Sega fanboy or a Sonic fanboy? Uh, no, Sega fanboy, there's a difference. Yeah. Sonic fanboys are creepy and draw Sonic pornography. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, Toby was telling us about it. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! oh, oh, oh. oh. I think there was an extra special weapon down there. I'm not sure. Mm, the weapon of death. And that is it. We'll see you guys in part eight. Hopefully, hopefully I can beat this game by then. Yeah. Hopefully. God bless. Yeah. Take care. Peace. And welcome to Shinobi 3 Part 8, the conclusion. <gasps> are, are you actually going to beat this level? Are you going to beat Elevator Actions? Well, let's see. <laughs> elevator <laughs> Action for the Sega Genesis. <laughs> this is game ever. And for those of you who don't know, this is Ron Moore along with WeGuy309, JMan46241, and some guy named Jeff. <laughs> hey, 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 you know what, Ronnie? Eat what? Me. Eat me. Eat me. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna eat. Okay. Eat anyway. My sword. Anyway. No. All right. Let's see if I can get past these. Uh, what are those chunky. things? I don't know. There's stuff. Who it's designed hard. this place? Seriously, this is like. I'm gonna go find. Game. I'm gonna go find the engineer and just like. like <laughs> It's like, why did, what, electric, you know, fencing all over the place on the ceiling? Why? It's called, it's called variety. Variety. Yeah. Verizon Wireless. Verizon, got, hey, I have Verizon. You got variety. pwned, AT&T. Exactly, your service sucks. Hey, I have AT&T. Without oh, them, okay. I'm going to be commentating right now. It, yeah, it's those, uh, those things that Shinobi's uh, jumping on right now, those are AT&T's bars. <laughs> and they're dropping down. Yeah, there you go. Well, Ron Moore, it sucks in the Midwest. I don't know how it is in the South, but if you live in the Midwest, they can't keep a lot of rules. Well, you know what? When you live in Texas, Time Warner Cable blows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have Time Warner Cable. I have Dish Network. Boom. Yeah, well, well, I got Comcast. No. I've got to have them in Texas where everyone's a millionaire. Hey, yeah, is it like the Super Tramp song? Is everyone in Texas a millionaire? Uh, no. Uh, Ow! Everyone's a... It was everyone in Texas. Well, no, I, I mean, according to... Sorry, go ahead, Ron. I was gonna say, as you can see, I didn't fall for that bomb trap that time. Well, I just realized this is the furthest you made it. Holy crap. Wow. Well, that you die, die at the end of the video. If you die video, now... Right? If you die now, I'm gonna smack you. No, he made it. He's gonna die at the That's end of the video. That's why you said that. I have a prediction. That's my prediction. Oh man, you ever feel like the walls are closing in on you? Yeah. No, no, no. All the no. same. All the right, Shinobi. See, the, can Mario do this? No, he cannot. Batman can do it. Yeah, he can if you program. Ow! If you program oh, oh, too. Oh, oh. 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 Jump, this, jump. This, oh, oh, this oh. Is, oh, that was close. Good he job. So much action. Oh, yeah, he can. Do. Oh, no, did you see that? that. I, yeah, I trust that. that. Oh, his wall closing in. Oh, oh there we go. Eat it. ECW. That's hacks. It's ECW hacks. Good job. Good job. All right, now here's you the final battle. Defeat me. Oh, this looks intense. Whoa. We're in the world of Tron. Part <laughs> of. 
Use your special arms, Ronnie. You're going oh, to dodge perfect. that. I only got one. I don't know how you dodge it. I, I, I've beaten this game, but I, I think it was on easy. And I've beaten this game. I've beaten this game on a hard before, but with the invincibility cheat. Game genie. No, it's just invincibility code. Game genie. Invincibility code. <laughs> I, I, uh, uh oh. oh. He's turning my final. You see my true form now. I have the power. He looks the same. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now I have the power. <laughs> Uh, the power of fire. Okay, did that do anything? Um, yeah, he just crossed his arms did. like, whatever. That wasn't interesting. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, watch out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh yeah. Okay, the way he fights. The way he fights, I feel like I'm. Oh. Oh. Yes. The, the, way, exactly. the, way, the way he fights, I feel like I'm fighting a, an opponent from uh, Street Fighter 2010. I think you are. Yeah, that's a good game. Yes, if you're, you know, mentally, uh, well, not, um, I'm not gonna or go there. Or beat your No. If you're like me. Oh, me too. There you go. That, that's what I was looking for. Thank you. All right. You just right, don't understand I... the game. I understand. I understand it sucks. No, yeah. you don't understand shit. This way's yeah, well, yeah, well, right. understand this. Understand this. I'm trying to beat him here. Uh, who's that? Who's that in the background? Looks like, uh, the, the Power Rangers boss, whatever his name was. Yeah. Sword on. <laughs> Whoa, you actually know the name. Oh. Alpha, the group, the group of teenagers with attitude. No, it's oh, Bulk. God. <laughs> it's, it's Bulk from uh, Power Rangers. Oh, not Bulk and Scully. Ah. Scully? That sounds like X Files. Scully. Is that X Files? <laughs> Agent Mulder. <laughs> yeah. Use your name. You're an X Files virgin. <laughs> You will never meet the cigarette smoking man. This is impossible. This is impossible. You can't defeat him. I predict you can't beat him. Yeah, I predict you shut up. <laughs> I believe that prediction is going to come true. Oh, just, he, oh. he just I did the dragon punch on me. He's I got like the, the Saget uh, arms cross thing going on. I predict we guy need to get ass kicking. Oh, Saget. Oh, oh. Boy, no, Bob on, Saget. Saget. Not Bob they, Saget. They have to pick on. <laughs> Pick on someone else for once, Jeb. Pick on someone your own size. Hey, you know what? After all, after what I did for you, I believe I deserve a little bit of picking on. <laughs> no, you, you just deserve to just sit there like a good boy. <laughs> for what you've done for me. <laughs> so respect, you. Your, respect your elders, wee guy. We're all your elders here. <laughs> you just, you're like my, yeah, internet elders. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Internet elders. I've never heard that before. He made that up. Oh, he's gonna die. I predict death. I'm done. I need jujitsu. Use it now. Now, Ron Muller. Go Super Saiyan. There can be only uh -oh. one. It's over 9,000. I don't know what that was. No, no one else got the Dragon Ball Z reference. Thanks, guys. Well, <laughs> I got no one, want, no one always... watched Dragon Ball Z when they were kids. Gosh. It's only 100 points. <laughs> Skin uh, Doctor says, make a map. Death, 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 and death. Oh, no, I'm... Oh. Blowing up! Oh. See? Told you. Ron fails and can't beat the game. Man. Because he shows too much. Game over, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it was meant to happen. But hey, I made it's so much better. I made a valiant effort, though. I almost yeah. beat the game. Absolutely, so. you did. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. Um, I could have cheated and used ECW mode, but I didn't. And there really is a invincibility code in this game, so. I decided to be a man this time, and try uh, to beat I will it. Get, I will give it to you, Ron. It's been a long time since I beat this game, like since I was 11, maybe. So yeah, you did a uh, good job. The that's the farthest ever gotten on normal, right there. Well, that's almost beat. That's just, when I think when when the boss does that attack right there that killed me, I think that's the final step in the battle. Uh, so yeah. I, I, so I was real close to beating him. Yeah, I think you were really, really close. Yeah, definitely. Well, I think yeah. that's what makes a game good is you know challenge. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. An impossible See, challenge. Now, 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 Ron, did it hurt to play a Sega Genesis game? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, this is not the first Genesis game I've done this channel. You have a short memory. I know, memory. I know. I have a very short yeah. memory because you have so many freaking playthroughs. Streets of Rage 2? Yes. yes. Rage of Right, right. Yes, so, uh, yes. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Ron, but you do have a lot of playthroughs to go through. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I give this game a 9 out of 10. 
this game is freaking awesome. I mean, music, awesome. graphics, the controls, the gameplay, and uh, I don't know much of the story. Just gotta say, I think he has to save his his uh, bride to be from the evil Neo Zed. Yeah, I don't know the story. <laughs> Frankly, I don't know the story either, dude. It's just a fun game. Yeah, sure. um, that's all that counts. Bride from the evil Neo Geo. <laughs> yeah. From the evil the ne- Neo. Uh, Damn, what's his name from the Matrix? Neo. Oh, oh Neo. Yeah, Neo. Neo. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, this game is awesome. I first played it in '94, um, and this game came out in '93, so I, I bought it when it's fairly new. Um, one of the greatest games I've ever played for the Sega Genesis, and the soundtrack um, is awesome. So yeah, that's my overall rating: nine out of ten. What about you guys? Uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a nine out of ten as well. Uh, now, my experience from this game. This playthrough has been the first time that I've ever seen this game. I played Shinobi back in the day. Um, I heard people talking about Shinobi 3, and I was like, what? There was a Shinobi 3? I've never even heard of Shinobi 2. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this is just being a part of these uh, videos and whatnot has, has been my experience. And it looks like a really awesome game, and I give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, very challenging. Uh, it's a lot of variety going on, and that makes for a great game. Awesome sauce. <laughs> there you go. Jeff? I, I know it sounds weird, but I'm going to have to give it a 9 out of 10 also. It's not perfect, but it is one of the closest things to perfect you're going to see on the Genesis. It's, I mean, just as a memory as a kid, I, I know, Ron, you're playing it with a, you know, a PC controller, but if you try it with a Genesis controller, it just feels right. Something about it, you know. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, we got what you think. Well, you know, my rule is I, I can only rate if I played it, which I haven't. This is the first time I've seen it. But I can definitely say that it looks great and that soundtrack is awesome indeed. Looks like a great game, but so far, it's an NMA, not available score. All right, well, there you go. That is it for this Let's Play on the S2K channel. Uh, so next, le- the next Let's Play will be coming maybe in a few days or so. And it is going to be a Genesis game. All right, there you go. Just Action 52, there. get ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know how expensive that is on the Genesis? I mean, my God. All right. All right, guys, that is it. We're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. And this is the J-Man. And I'm Jeff, I think. We got 309. <laughs> All right, God bless, and y'all take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And welcome Sega. to my next... <laughs> I was supposed to do that. Let's start over. No, I'm just kidding. Um... Here is my next Let's Play on the S2K channel, the classic Castlevania Bloodlines for the Sega Genesis. This is Ron Moore along with J-Man46241, Strictly Sega America's Jeff, and Wee Guy 409 are you, doing, are, you, are you doing all these Genesis games for me or something? No, you I, actually you, you requested Bloodlines to be next, but it was Shinobi instead, so I said, you know what, I'll do Bloodlines next. That is an awesome game anyway. Uh-huh. I, don't, I don't see Lines of Blood. Well, we're, we're really just doing it for the lulls. Yeah, and for the hot chick in there. It's Castlevania, yeah. blood, it's Castlevania blood lulls. I'd bone her any day of the week. Wait, did I just say that out loud? No, you didn't. <laughs> and wow, that, in this game right here, you play as Annie Bogard and some other guy. John Wayne looking guy. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah that's the guy from America. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's from Texas, by the way, John Morse. You gotta that's have him in Texas. Because everyone's yep. a millionaire. All my exes live in Texas. Walker, Texas Ranger. Actually, my ex lives in California. Oh, uh, choosing a female, of course. Oh. Oh. Traveling Whoa. through Europe. World Stage one. Europe. And Strick and Sega Europe should be in this video. Um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He lives in Denmark. I don't know. He can give us Legos. I mean, <laughs> his castle's made of Legos. <laughs> Alright, there's Andy Bogart getting ready. Wait, the axe yeah. turned into a spear. That's pretty badass, actually. Yeah, it's called the Lacard Spear. Named hey. after Lacard. Hey, Castlevania Genesis music. Oh, yeah, and this is another Genesis game that has awesome music. We talk about Streets of Rage, Shinobi 3, Castlevania Bloodlines definitely has awesome music as well. Oh, yeah. And awesome blood graphics. Yeah, Nintendo. I don't see any blood from you. More come at you. <clears throat> and where's my extra jump, Nintendo? I didn't get my extra jump. We're Dang also it. joined by Strictly Nintendo. Yes. 
Uh, am I supposed to? What am I supposed to do first? Do, do, do you, do you enjoy even? being family friendly? You know, and like really, really gay. No. Uh, just because we're doing a Sega uh, video, don't mean you can bash Nintendo, okay? Yeah, that, that almost gives me the right to bash Nintendo. I'll, ta I'll take this video down right now. No. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Okay, Master Hand. Yeah. So you're taking it down. <laughs> so you're taking the video down. And it's just being recorded. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> you know, he's the one that's rating this one-star videos because of wh how you make fun of him, Jeff. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys make fun of him every day too. I mean, I don't. Yeah, thanks a lot. I don't. I just mind my own business. Now wait a minute, uh, strictly Nintendo. Uh, I think you've been accused of calling Eric Lacard Jean-Luc Picard. Who the hell is Eric Lacard? This guy I'm playing with. Or, oh, uh, that sound right. Um, <laughs> that girl I'm playing with. <laughs> I just died because of that comment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Strictly Nintendo, it is not Jean-Luc Picard. You know what your next playthrough play should be? Picard. Uh, it should be Dracula X with the Sega Saturn. No. Uh, no, it's Dracula X with the Super Nintendo. What is this, Co Conan for the NES? What's that thing spawning out of midair for? Conan. Conan O'Brien for the NES, whatever it's called. <laughs> you it's killed my father and took his sword! No! Conan the Barbarian. James Earl Jones is around here now. James Earl Jones, greatest voice actor ever. I'm Rick James, bitch. Wait, that had nothing to do with anything. Yep. <laughs> oh, it because, that was only because uh, Orson Welles died. <laughs> Orson Welles, yeah, he ate his fat ass to death. Corbin <laughs> Burnson? No. Okay, anyway. Here's the first mini boss of level one, this hellhound. The howl's so loud that the windows shatter. You know, it seems like with his legs being his smaller than his actual front, it seems like he couldn't move it that well. Watch out for the sharks. Sky shark. Or fuck. Sky shark. I said shard. This is a you re shard. Oh, uh, sky, uh, sky shards. <laughs> That's this is uh. This, your, so your, your mom's a sky shark. This is oh. Castlevania three mixed with uh, Symphony of the Night. Yep. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I or maybe a little bit of part one, because this right here is the ruins of Dracula's castle from the first level in Castlevania 1. Bitches. See, after this, you, there should have been more Castlevania games for the Genesis. I mean, look at this. I mean, yeah, really, I don't know why they stopped. Yeah, I know, they made one game for it. Like, it isn't it Castlevania... Uh, damn it, I was going to do something about... <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> failed. <laughs> pwn, pwn, pwn. Nintendo does what Genesis doesn't do for Castlevania. Does that make sense? Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, the next game, uh, Symphony of the Night or Dracula X, came out for the Saturn first, not the PlayStation. It didn't even come out for the 64, so. And, uh, what kind of, what kind of games, what kind of games, uh, Castlevania games you get for the 64? Oh, oh uh, let's yeah. Let's look back on that. You get Castlevania Symphony of the Day. Yeah, we, we, day. Well, we got Symphony of the Night, which is Dracula X in Japanese, but. Yeah, we got oh. Harmony of the Day. No. <laughs> So, so they, what, what are, they, they, they made a okay. Well, one game was was not that good, and the other one uh, they were two 3D games that were terrible. Well, okay, uh, <laughs> yeah, the the, the magical uh, nitro thing was uh, not that good. But no, no. It was the game was awesome until you had to mix the, the magical nitro with the uh, with the other thing. Watch watch the unbiased review from K Wing. He reviews both those games for 64. Very good review. I'll check him out. Yeah, seriously, check it out and see if you agree with him what he said. I mean, he, he says the games aren't that bad like a lot of people say they are, and I, I agree with that. You're going to not, die. Yeah, so, uh, how about you're going to shut up? Um, oh. <laughs> you, already, you already used that joke. You failed. See, and see, so, sorry, Strictly Nintendo. No one likes you here. Yeah, Strictly Butthurt. Yeah. I am, I, oh, oh, I, am, oh, I am Strictly Hard. Wait. <laughs> Wait, whoa! That's what she said. What? That's not right. You know, That's we got who's gonna make up. <laughs> Strictly master. We got where's makeup. What? There, that might be another channel that we gotta make. Make that, make that. <laughs> oh, man. He's already got like 45 channels. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make Strictly some that master hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much better than the original master hand. Oh my god, have you seen the Strictly master hand channel? Oh boy. We will soon. Dracula's old Here's the boss of stage one. A boss that's real similar, in my opinion, to the first boss in Castlevania 3. 
Reminds me of, of that boss yeah. of Super Castlevania 4. The one in the same armor looking. Sadly, I still have not played that game. It, <gasps> Holy fucking it, balls. It's much like the, the first boss of Castlevania 3, um, but there, there is not a turkey um, in the first platform. You always gotta have your turkeys. I mean, if you don't, you're screwed. Yeah. Oh my god, you're gonna die. You're all, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 you're a hooker. Oh, oh, oh no. How does like, that make sense? The spear is it, it went inside of me, but I'm in oh, never mind. <laughs> It went I'm inside thinking. of you. <laughs> I wanna be yes. inside of you! Wait, yeah. Okay, that, that's not a real song, I just made that up. <laughs> uh yeah. It sounded like a, a wrestling entrance. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. I just died in your arms tonight. Must have been something you said. Round I like, two. I like cheese pizza. Here we go. Hot pockets. Yeah, pepperoni pizza is good. Yeah, you're, you're gonna get him this time. Come yeah. on, buddy. This guy's not hard. I'm, I just suck. But this guy really ain't that hard. Come on. <laughs> come on, Ron. You wanna fuck the prom queen? And come on. Yeah. If you think right. about it. Think Carla about was this. the prom queen. Uh, Did you even realize what you just said, Ron? What? Um, I'll just wait till you review through this video. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, you know, it's it's the uh, little uh, thing Sean Connery said from... Uh, uh, I, know, I know, Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, I was, I was making and, sure and you knew what I said. There you go, the... uh, Ronnie beat him. Now there, there should be like a little annotation, like saying, uh, You got Prom Queen. <laughs> you got an achievement. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. That is it, guys. See you guys in part two. See ya. Later. That's pretty good. Sega. And welcome to part two of Castlevania Bloodlines. This is Ron Moore, along with J-Man46241 and Bayer13. Hey, yo. What's happening, y'all? <laughs> Casablanca Bloodlines. Stage two. Start. Atlantis. Yeah. The Atlantis Shrine in Greece. Where's John Travolta at? No, um, the epic uh, mirror reflection. Yeah, look at the look at the visuals in this stage, the graphics, the water reflecting off everything. That's pretty awesome. It's very nice how it does it all without slowdown. Yeah. If and I love was here, he would say Genesis does. Yeah, you can't do this in the Ten now. <laughs> but let's not. <laughs> no. Yeah. That's why he's not in this call, in this recording. We've had enough of him. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> not really, he just fell asleep again. <laughs> yeah. Um, and this, I love this melancholy music, or however you describe it. I'll say that word. Melancholy. Melancholy. Music. Close enough. <laughs> awesome music. And yeah, this stage, uh, water levels. Not really a big fan of water levels in the games. Uh, I was never like a fan of like ver of uh, yeah vertical scrolling. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, you know, really the the general rule in pretty much any Castlevania game is stay away from the water. Yeah. Uh, is there? Uh, I don't think there's any Castlevania game where you 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 can swim. Uh, not that I know of. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I, think, the rule I think actually, yeah. Um, water is instant death. Except yeah. for waterfalls. Yeah. No, you Don't. can like, kind of swim in like um, some of the DS ones, and uh, uh, I think it's Symphony of the Night, too. Oh, okay. Like you can actually go in the water and not die. Yeah, but you have to collect a relic first. It's not instant death, but it, it takes away your... It takes away your life slowly. And here's the mini boss. Some guy trying to drown drown you. Oh, this is one of the mini bosses. Yeah. Here's the second sporty. one coming up. There's the second one coming up. And I was gonna say uh, about waterfalls. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Okay, I guess nobody got that joke. Um. Yeah, TLC song. Okay. Well, laugh like it's really funny, even though it's not. I can't. Your singing was too embarrassing. <laughs> And uh, that's the end. The second mini boss is the third one. Easy mini bosses, but cool. <laughs> I like the noise, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Even though I don't like you with something his axe thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh yeah, harder. <laughs> right. Even I'm a bit disgusted at that. <laughs> don't comment. Watch out for the water. Oh no, here we go. Medusa heads. It's yeah, freaking Jeff. pretty easy with that power up, like. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really not a Castlevania game without the floating Medusa heads. Yeah, I hate these freaking Jeff heads. <laughs> <laughs> you know. He's coming out. Yeah, they're you coming out. You know what? <laughs> you know what, Ronnie? Chances does. Oh, not me in the water. <laughs> Their afros is not as big as mine. Oh, uh, got me. Yeah, that, that's that's why I said Jeff here. The afros. <laughs> like has the afro with the snakes. Watch out for the snakes. <laughs> Watch out for a snake. <laughs> I like the little details in this game, um, like the Medusa head, when it comes out of the water, it splashes. Uh, not much, but I think it's awesome. I'm a I'm real uh, pet peeve about details in video games. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in interesting fair. Uh, <laughs> no need to hiccup about things that are going on. Yeah, and that's my commentary. It's just a minor hiccup. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, these things are in pretty much every Castlevania game as well. Yes. And those two are. Oh. Well. Oh. <laughs> these uninspired enemies right here. Pwned. <laughs> Ooh, turn around. There you go. Go. <laughs> Don't turn around. Uh oh. Uh, uh. Don't turn around. Saying that Ace of Base. Thing. No. <laughs> the Dirt from a song. That's the name of the song. Ace of Base. Um. No. I said uh, Ace of Base. You go. No, that's the name of the song. No, the name of the song is Dirt from a song. Dirk. It's German or something. Oh. Dirk Weeks. <laughs> Jerk Nowitzki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, <Farm> picky. <laughs> you actually get in the water, but it'll slowly kill you. It'll, it'll, it'll do that hit where you go, mm, boom, we keep knock you back. It's weird. Where, uh, what's his face acts like a spaz? <laughs> Who? I don't remember his name. <laughs> you know, that dude. The, uh, the character. Eric Lacard. Uh, and him. <laughs> and here's the boss of stage two. Some rock monster. Guy made out of crap. <laughs> From the never ending story. And here's how you fight rock monster. <laughs> Watch out for the rocks. When they fall on you, they could hurt your head. And you gotta like, you know, cut it down. Chop it down a little bit, whatever. He got hit in his eyeball. This boss needs to be chopped to screw. <laughs> chop and screw you. <laughs> he keeps rubbing his eye. Oh my eye. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. My iPad! <laughs> iPad. Now for um, those heavy days. <laughs> no one got it. No. Okay, Bear's Unst been ejected from the call. Oh, no. <laughs> what is that thing you always collect at the end of every level in Castlevania? Some ball that drops in your head. Let's not talk about balls on our heads. <laughs> well, watch out for the heavy breathing when you laugh. <laughs> well, at least in uh, Symphony of the Night, it gave you like a level up. Ah, the Lean Tower of Pizza in Italy. Yeah, in my Bloodlines review on my Raw More no, channel, extra cheese. Uh, I said uh, the Lean Tower of Pizza or Pizza, whatever. And some butthurt YouTuber posted a comment saying, it's, it's pronounced Pizza, not Pizza. I can't believe you couldn't pronounce it right. That's stupid. 
I'm like, delete, block, ignore. <laughs> Actually, I didn't block him, I just deleted and ignored. I'm like, oh, Castlevania Bloodlines fanboy there, or the Lean Tower Pisa fanboy. <laughs> Maybe just overall dick. <laughs> uh, I want to hear about penises. Well, that's why we're not talking about them, we're talking about dick. <laughs> Yeah, because that's totally different. Not really. Ah, <laughs> oh, pawn. <laughs> those, those birds are harder on normal difficulty. They are an easy one. Duh. There's a way, and it's, I think it's hard to do. I don't know about the Lacard Spear, but with John Morris's whip, if you hit them on the head, the right spot, they're decapitated, but still flying around with blood squirting out the neck. <laughs> cool. Yeah. I did on accident before, I don't know how to do it again. It's pretty cool how those uh, guys pick up like the piece of the pillar and swing it at you. Yeah. Pretty neat. I don't know why I picked the card. I'm much better with John Morris than the whip. John Luke card. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes, my ears. <laughs> uh oh. Watch out for the eyeball that's trying to teabag me. <laughs> run, run, run! I have, a question. I have a question for whoever's in charge of the tower. How'd all this shit get in there? Dracula! And his evil spell. <laughs> Here's a cool thing about the card, you can catapult yourself. John Morse's uh, um, feature, or whatever you call it, advantage. He can grab on things with a whip like Indiana Jones and swing from it. Yeah, well, it's the best he didn't play as him, because <laughs> then we'd be cracking wise about Indy. <laughs> oh, oh, pwned. Oh. Ah. Uh, but I will continue this again in part three, where I think I'll go ahead and play as John Morris. And so not until die. Then, <laughs> yeah. So until then, God bless. Take care. Later. See ya. And welcome to part three of Castlevania Bloodlines. This is Ron Moore along with Bayer 13. Making inappropriately and, se and vaguely sexual voices since 1989. <laughs> right. Since you were a baby, you did that? Yep. Okay. Anyway, everybody else is asleep, so it's just me and Bayer doing commentary on this one. And yes, we do advocate uh, abuse against birds who carry spears. I can't go that way. Only John Morris can do that. And I thought you can, when you get game over, you can choose your character, but I guess you can't. That's stupid. Damn you, bottle line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now watch out for the uh, vultures or whatever they are. Beard bird. <laughs> yeah. And I was going to try to get Jeff or J-Man this commentary as well, but... I guess you're asleep. Who's asleep at... What loser is asleep at 5.32 a.m.? I know, right? <laughs> and here's the mini boss of stage three. A giant uh, skeleton snake or whatever. And this appears on the normal difficulty. On easy right here, you would not fight him. Now we're at the Lean Tower of Pizza. <laughs> is Pizza, you idiot! Leaning tower of uh, Pizza Hut. Oh, yeah. Oh, J Man's not gonna like that. Ah! Oh! See? J Man didn't like that and he. He put the voodoo curse on you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Castlevania 3, J Man's curse. <laughs> the curse of the J Man. <laughs> hey, what's going on out there? 90210. <laughs> <laughs> Freak Medusa heads have to try and knock you off the Lean Tower of Pizza. <laughs> the music in the stage is okay. Don't like it like I do some of the other stages. Uh, I'm getting seasick here. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least, well, at least it's not Blair Witch Project type sickness. The less said about that, the better. Yeah. Mm. 
but just the head tonnage. No! Oh! Oh! Whoa! I thought I was dead right there. Why did the mummies throw their own paper at you? Ah, uh, cause it Doesn't hurts. That they'll die faster. <laughs> yeah, really. Or I'm a descendant. How does a bandage hurt you? I think I said that in my Castlevania One Let's Play a long time ago. How's a bandage? How do bandages hurt you? It's supposed to heal you. <laughs> but then again, taking this game seriously is something no one should really do. Yeah, really. <laughs> Unless I guess you're like a Bram Stoker buff. And I like this part of the level. This part of the level looks really cool. Watch out for these skeleton dragons or whatever they are. These uh Ridley's from Metroid. Not again. <laughs> Look, the the Metroid let's play was a few months ago. We need to move on. <laughs> it can't always be Metroid. <laughs> yes it can. Dude, next sure attack. Next is uh Metroid Prime 3. No I'm just kidding. <laughs> Or we'll try and sequence break everything. Oh, yeah. And waste your time. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, give up and, you know, play properly the way the artist created it. Bastards. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, keeping those candles up. <laughs> and here's the boss. A giant gargoyle. Made from leftover uh, mode 7. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of the boss battle in, uh, what was it, Yoshi's Island, where you fought Raphael the Raven. Oh god. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That was ECW. When I was a kid, I was like, whoa, look at this one, all 3D fight, 3D graphics fight. <laughs> <laughs> 3D my ass. <laughs> Three, two and a half D. I don't know. Uh, uh oh, yeah, you better axe somebody. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> this this feels like a, uh, almost feels like a Star Soldier and Jason Realization review. You're, yeah, of course, you're, too. <laughs> you're, you're Jason Relaxation, and I'm Star Soldier. Not quite as much energy as Star Soldier, though. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> I don't think anyone can, except maybe we guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got Star Soldiers. If you're in the game together, oh, man. You're not going to hear a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mission complete. You got pwned, Gargoyle. And we got the big red ball dropped on our heads again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> the big red ball on your head. Right. Let's move on. Stage four. From Itali to Bermany. <laughs> you say Bermany? Yep, Bermany. Okay. This was years before Beethoven Schmittler. <laughs> And I love the stage. I love the music in the stage. Let's not commentate for the rest of the video. Just listen to this music. No, not really. <laughs> Some people listen and like, are you guys serious? <laughs> well, yeah, kind of, because that's how... Commentary ever. <laughs> yeah. We'll let the music do the talking, folks. As I'm getting pwned by these skeletons with army hats on, it looks like. I thought they were more like uh, your, uh, those, um, you know, construction hats. Oh, Hard yeah. Hat. Yeah, I guess it's a factory. Munitions factory. In Germany. <laughs> yeah. Birmingham. Yeah, but really, I love this. It's probably, maybe Great. this and the, this and the <laughs> first stage music, or, I don't know, pretty much every stage in this game. 
That's awesome music. Yeah, let's not screw around anymore. Just like all the stages, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I remember in my review, I said uh, this stage is awesome, and I kept on saying that. And every single stage, I was like, forget it. Every stage in this game is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Way to be consistent. <laughs> yeah, really. If you go on the sound test of this game, the sound effects is like in triple digits. That's how many different sound effects there are in this game. Oh. Super Nintendo, only double. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's because Genesis does uh, sound. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna hit us, aren't they? <laughs> uh, yeah. They're gonna one star the video. <laughs> one star to help kittens. <laughs> right. And they gotta watch out for these uh uh Thanks. train engine things. Not train engine, uh the little thing in the car engine that I don't know, like Castro GTX commercials from a long time ago. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, Just look out for that shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's, let's put it simply. It's a Castlevania 3 like stage. Do a lot of crap so you can't see other crap. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Man, it's time to gear up. <laughs> For the win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you alright? Gear up. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was thinking of the gears. You know, how about we play Gears of War next? What's not? Otherwise, we'll just, like, grunt. <laughs> <laughs> I think I made that joke in the Dracula's Curse playthrough, uh, let's play my channel a long time ago. Came out, I want, this game inspired Gears of War. <laughs> why, was it, why was it even called Gears of War? I don't know, but let's shift gears here and talk about this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's make another bad pun. <laughs> yeah. Send hate mail to Ronnie at Ronnie.com, I guess. Dracula. Oh, well, look out for the thing that's chasing after me. Oh. All right, we'll stop right here before we get to part four. What well, open? Oh, I got to stand that platform and open it up. All right, guys, well, that is it. We'll see you guys in part four. God bless. Take care. Welcome to take two of part four of Castlevania Bloodlines. As I'm about to die here at Giant Frankenstein. What an awesome boss battle that was. <laughs> I am here with... We got three... <laughs> Ganon, Bear 30. And J-Man. Hey. 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 Lovely to be here. Just beat it. It's an honor to be here. <laughs> I've never been more fulfilled in my life. I think we're here with one other person. Yeah, Art, he's uh, in the background watching basketball. He might yell yeah, random obscenities every once in a while. Yeah, but he's, he's a part of it, so that makes six people. New record. New record for an SC2K Let's Play. Da -na -na -na. Oh, yeah. And I defeated uh, the mini boss, or giant boss, Frankenstein. Boo. Mini giant boss. Punch him in the you ball. Giant mini boss. You got a donkey punch him in the ball sack. What? Don't get punch in the ball. Oh. People forget uh, the Metroid commentaries. This would be the most random LP commentary ever on this channel. We should get the whole except stuff. when I really so start doing my LPs. <laughs> <laughs> you no, except when we do my LPs. Then it's gonna get bad. Like, oh yeah. Cause we guys gonna be the host for crying out loud. 
Oh, 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 oh yeah! Welcome to I'm the I'm the new Star Soldier. Oh yeah! <laughs> Star Soldier's little brother. <laughs> Y'all choose to, uh, Star Soldier if you're listening. Get on the freaking channel. We want you some commentary. Or off yeah, son, man. Because yeah, if not, we will block you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. Star Soldier Junior. Star Soldier Junior. Billy Mitchell Jr. There's all I, kinds of juniors. I, I think Star Soldier called you. I think he said something about. I would love to do commentary with the Wee Man. I think he called you a charlatan because that's what you are, Wee Man. You're a charlatan. <laughs> I'm a wee guy. Still a charlatan. Char wee, wee Man. No, okay, wait. and and even though my video's fully loaded, it still lags sometimes with the buffer wait. circle in the middle of the screen. So if I get behind a little bit, you know why? Those those skeletons are wearing special helmets. Yeah. Army helmets or something? No, they're special. Uh oh, it's time to get in gear. Oh. Yeah. I guess when uh, they created this game, they're like, "Hey, we need all the enemies to explode." That makes it. Yeah. All, all right. The gears. All right, the gear boss tron. now. Gear man. Metal, metal, metal Gear. Hey, what's his weakness <laughs> though? Code name: Metal Gear. Rush. Metal Gear. Hey, you know what this looks like? <laughs> this looks like a villain Vector Man would fight. Yeah, I was about to say that. Oh yeah, it does. I mean, yeah, I mean, look at look at the graphics of the boss. It looks totally different from everything else in the game. Yeah, yeah. it does. It looks really nice compared to everything else. What's he doing? What's he doing? Swimming? Yeah. I think he's humping. Okay, only bear yeah, would think that. Yeah, he would think everything about that. Or bear and master hand. <laughs> Therefore, he's a knight. Please don't let this be another contra low budget review commentary. And don't let this be flagged by whoever. <laughs> yeah. By uh, people that don't want to hear about face chasing. Me. <laughs> Man, we're stupid Who tonight. Huh? We are idiots. You're gonna die. Okay. Well, you're an idiot, bud. <laughs> hey, uh, who, who said this? This little immature, underage kid. Hmm? At least I'm the cool. Well, look. <laughs> I, the only argument I have is like, look who's got more subs. <laughs> Oh, 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 It's like the only argument I really have, because really, that's all Jeff really gets angry about. It's like, damn you, Wiggy. I'll get you next time, Wiggy. <laughs> oh, and Dr. Claw's back. In the face. <laughs> you got, you got pwned, Stricka Sega Russia. <laughs> Stricka uh, Sega Russia. Those Ruskies are going down. That is not too funny. <laughs> no, wait, that's more Arab. You, you, that was more Australian. You run oh, oh, shut up. In <laughs> Pwned. Game over. Game over, yeah! No. Game over, you suck. <laughs> oh, you, you failed. Alright, get to start right here again. Wait, you're using an emulator. Cheetah. No, this, the game started right here anyway. Oh, but you didn't have any continues oh. left, I thought. Yeah, Div 1. Oh, okay. Pay That's attention, man! You know, uh, you know, it's 3.30 in the morning. So well, you're a, Se you're a Sega master, you're supposed to know about Sega stuff. <laughs> I'm Sega gonna, master hand. I'm going to, like, literally come to your house and fuck your shit up. <laughs> okay. That's nice. <laughs> no! <laughs> no art! <laughs> oh, dear God. Does that mean anal? I don't know. No, it means oral. Uh, anyway, back to this game. Uh... <laughs> anyway. What is there to say? <laughs> uh, th that gear thing just did the hurricane kick. Poorly. <laughs> it's seriously art. If it say something constructive. Well, that was weird. A but anyway. Gears, I don't think Wait. it's gonna work. Metal Cog. No, it's not Metal Gear, it's Metal Cog. Metal Combat. Bro, lucky Hell yeah, the metal combat. Falcon's Revenge. Oh my, the what the fuck? fuck? Damn, this guy's good. Look at him flipping, like, tripping, all that kind of stuff. Into a wolf, I think he's tripping on balls. <laughs> <laughs> tripping okay. on cogs. <laughs> well, he's got like, there, he's got a big ball there. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Whoa, red balls. <laughs> Red Bull? Red Still better than blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stage man, four. We guys sound slightly disgusted. For You're once. Disgusted. I'm not I'm never disgusted because I'm used to your 
stupid stuff. <laughs> Wait, why even? <laughs> oh, All right, All right, guys. Uh, we... Off on set. Stage five: Versailles, Versace's Palace in France. It's Versailles. Versailles Palace. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm not from Italy, so how can I possibly know that? It's from France. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> All right, watch out for the giant rose of death. And apparently, in the palace of Versailles, there's a bunch of giant roses. And those pollen things will uh, give you allergies. No, what it does, like, up. it'll make the controls. No wonder the king didn't say that. Opposite, like, right. I'm using the music stage is pretty nice, uh, French, Italian type music, whatever you want to call it. French. I want to call it Genesis music. <laughs> Or that. Yeah. Genesis does! Come on, go under it. Well, I'm trying to avoid the pollen. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Don't want to get allergies. Oh, no, forget it. I'll go left to go right then. It ain't that hard. <laughs> go left to go right. That's what it does. It makes the controls opposite when it hits you for a few seconds. Uh, oh, yeah. Are you listening? <laughs> Make a mess. No. Rogers. And where's J-Man at? Hey, yo. He's All right. <laughs> watching it. He's entertained. <laughs> He's speechless. That's how awesome our commentary is. Charlie wants to do it. Oh, sure. And not say anything. Charlie's in the conversation now. No. Oh, Charlie. Good night, Mike. Hey, Mike. Oi. <laughs> Oi, good night, Mike. Oh, man, freaking pirate monkey, or what the heck is this? <laughs> Mike. Yeah. Uh, For something monkey pirate. Monkey pirates. I hate that thing. Out of balls. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Oh, come on. Oh, there you go. Oh, look out. I hate that thing. Why do you and... stab yourself with your own? I don't... Man, that thing didn't hit me. Watch out. I think Barney's just a little behind us. <laughs> yeah, I told you this freaking laggage on... Even uh... though my video was buffered 100%, that little circle appears in the middle of the screen for like a split Failed. second. Failed with the internet. <laughs> what number are you guys at now? I'm at 855. 8.50. I'm at 8.50. I'm at 9. 9 minutes. I'm at okay. 9 now, too. Oh, I'm not that far behind. I'll just try to follow you, Lee, in the commentary. We're not that the far host. behind. Let's fall to pieces. Um. Oh, no Christian songs. <laughs> not a Christian song. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> mom's a Christian. Oh. No, she's not. Your mom's a Christian. <laughs> I don't even know my own religion or whatever. It's randomness. But, That's but religion. Right. It's your religion, yes. randomness. Oh, oh, I love that. Oh, I love. I be praise that well. religion. Bear's religion is um. Louis oh, Prow. Louis Prow, the god of randomness. I'm the god of randomness. Oh. No, Man. cloud, cloudy seven four five is. Oh, he's retired, so I'm taking over. Okay. But anyway, back to just being uh, even though it's almost over. <laughs> I'm about to get pwned. Pwned! Yeah, oh. pwned. Again. I hate this level. But anyway, that does game. it. That does no way, dude, this game's tight. And <laughs> that does it for part four. We'll see you guys in part five. See ya! Bye -bye. See ya! Adios. And welcome to part five of Castlevania Bloodlines. This is Ron Moore, along with We Got 309. Yo. And let's see if, if I cannot get pwned right here, level 5. I predict pwnage and lulls. Much of it. Yeah, I, speaking of lulls, I wish Gunstar Hero was in this commentary. Uh, lulls? I can't be here because, uh, lulls? I'll, I'll be here next time. Um, actually, hold on, my baby brother just stepped into the room. He's crying, so we gotta record again. Lulz. <laughs> oh, I love that. Never gets old. Well, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, for us, it doesn't. Awesome stage music right here. Indeed, sounds like bloody tears, but it's not, I know that. Yeah, that one part that just happened. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, and we got blood skeletons, or blood bone skeletons? No. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm in a pool of blood. This is Castlevania Bloodlines. I thought the. Oh, yeah, this should, no, this should be Castlevania Blood Pool. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, pwned. 
That's it. That's my last continue. Aww. Look at that. End. Well, there's no other choice, you idiot. To make me choose end. Just take me back to the title screen. <laughs> Lol. That's, that's pretty stupid. Pretty lousy, I gotta say. <laughs> that's probably the only complaint I have about this game. Other than that, I mean, this game is pretty much perfect. I mean, let's start with the soundtrack. I mean, I first rented this game and first played it back in 1994. And after playing the game a little bit, I had to go into the sound or the soundtrack the options and uh listen to the awesome soundtrack i mean this game just has incredible music and i have my tv full blast in my room and just jam into the stage one music stage two and and uh pretty much the whole soundtrack yeah pretty much the whole soundtrack i mean the that's one of the my favorite things in the video game is the music without music the game wouldn't be as great as it is i mean you gotta have great music in the video game even if the yeah. gameplay is good, without music, the game just won't be the same. Yeah, I mean, without music, a game isn't really, really complete. Yeah, and I mean, this game would definitely not be complete without the awesome soundtrack that it has. Um, and also in the options, uh, in the sound effects, uh, there's it's in triple digits. That's how many sound effects there are in this game. So, uh, I mean, this is a pretty big game. Um, even There's only six stages, but those six stages are awesome. And as I've demonstrated, they can be pretty hard even just on normal difficulty. And so, this game is pure ECW. It is the epitome of ECW. It should be called ECW Bloodlines. Um, I mean, this game is just awesome, and not to mention the graphics, uh, and of course the gameplay and the controls are pretty awesome. I can't really think of anything wrong about this game. Probably my favorite thing about this game is the music, though. I mean, the music is just awesome. And I think Death Fan was telling me the Stage 1 music is called Reincarnated Soul. So cool. that's an awesome song. And stage four, I Am Blue Intention, another awesome song. Um, for those of you who want to get my full review, full opinion on this game, click on the link in the description box to see uh, an old review I did about over a year ago. It's a two-part review of this game. And um, so, yeah, there you go. And my final rating, I give this game a perfect 10. Woot. So what do you think we got about what you've seen of this game during this Let's Play? Well, as I'm going to say now that, uh, of course I need, like, to play the game to, like, get, a, get like, the full circle of, like, a final score. But, of course, I still have observations. And, of course, I pretty much agree with you. Great soundtrack, the best of, like, the Genesis era, great graphics, best, same with music, best of Genesis era. And, um, yeah, you're pretty much what you said. ACW! <laughs> Alright, and there you go. Uh, with well, that said, I'm out of here. Oh, we're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. <laughs> And I'm Wee Guy, 309, slash 1003, slash 409, slash 90210, slash 46241. Lols. All the names you give me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, God bless and take care. See ya. Gotta hit end. Welcome to Let's Play Star Tropics for the NES. Well, duh, that's the only system it's on. This is Ron Moore, along with JMAN46241 and Bear13. Ayo! What's up? Yeah, and Star Trek is a, a very, very underrated game. I mean, the Happy Video Game Nerd reviewed this game a while back. He recently reviewed Part 2 as well, but I never played Part 2. And from what I understand, this one is better from what I've heard from HVGN and other people. This one's better than Part 2. And, I mean, this is made by Nintendo. It came out in 1990. Kind of like similar to Zelda. Um, but it, it's a... Uh, awesome adventure game very very underrated and I wish they would have made uh, a lot more sequels to it and yep I am playing in ECW mode ECW 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 yeah playing ECW mode for the first time since Metroid thank you Star Soldier for that <laughs> lovely interjection now get back to your own damn video. <laughs> oh, Star Soldier, over and out. Yeah, I forgot we're here with Star Soldier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, oh, and I'm here with... Jason in Relaxation, this game sucks, and uh, it sucks to give it 10 out of 100. <laughs> oh, snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> okay, and... Oh, it's showing you his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it has a butthole. Uh, disturbing. Did Nintendo have to really do that? 
I mean, they, they in part two, the hogs had buttholes too. It was like, you know, okay. Apparently, they they have some kind of weird ass fetish. Yeah, and I do mean that, and I do mean weird ass in a very literal way. <laughs> weird owl? Oh. <laughs> Easy, Ronnie. <laughs> Okay, and apparently Dr. Jones, uh, Indiana Jones, has been abducted, I guess. Dr. Jones! Dr. Jones! Dr. Jones! Shut up, shorty! Psh, remember he got backhanded in the Temple of Doom? That was funny. When he was under the influence of, uh, Satan or whatever. Oh, uh, so it wasn't rock and roll. Damn rock <laughs> <Right>. and roll. <laughs> Ruining our societies for you. However long it's been rocking and rolling. I guess the sixties. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to Star Tropics. I mean Star Tropics. <laughs> and now talk to the chief. The village went black. <laughs> it's Mario. <laughs> it's Mr. Leahy. He's got a big uh, beer gut. That's uh, uh, Mario. He sure <laughs> let himself go. It's Randy uh, with mustache. <laughs> he has the Sandman's <laughs> beer gut from ECW. Yep. I can't jump anymore! <laughs> so we gotta rescue Indiana Jones and... No, I don't want to help you. And it forces you to say yes, of course. Good, you're brave! <laughs> I wasn't brave a second ago. Take this island, yo-yo. Yeah. Take this island, yo-yo. <laughs> Yo-yo-yo. <laughs> you so gotta... Apparently... Go ahead. Yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so apparently this island doesn't have much in terms of development, but they do have a base, a slow pitch baseball team, and a toy factory, i.e. yo-yos. Yeah. Certainly their pri priorities are all mixed up. Well, this game takes place in like, like I don't know, a, a time where they didn't have that stuff. <laughs> or... <laughs> well said. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, finally that prick lets me through. Ah! What the? Ah! What is that, JR? <laughs> oh my god, it's a grandma. It's Mae Young. No, um... <laughs> On drugs. <laughs> um... So yeah, you had to talk to everybody. Talk, just gotta skip or say, talk to everybody here. Before you can even proceed further. So even if you have to talk to your chief, and you don't talk to everybody else in the island first, you still can't proceed to the first tunnel. I think it happens in other chapters too. That's pretty stupid, but anyway. I like how they say refrain from powering off or resetting as if you're gonna have this massive urge to just pull the thing out of wherever it is and throw it up against the wall. You're off yeah. now, damn it. Yeah, really. Or oh, refrain from resetting your emulator. <clears throat> Ooh, metal slugs. Oh, yep. <laughs> Purple slugs. Purple metal. Oh, heart. <laughs> a star, actually. Oh, what the hell do you expect from me? <laughs> Nothing. Not um. You S see? Star Tropics All Stars. <laughs> yeah. Pretty catchy tune right here. Yes, it is. Can't mess with pretty uh, catchy music. It's music e. Yeah. <laughs> music e. That makes sense, damn it. Shut up! <laughs> oh. Now, or as uh, we got to say, musics. And then that's a butt sex. <laughs> right. Now, the controls in this game are a little awkward and stiff, but you'll get used to it. <laughs> what? There's a big joke in there somewhere. <laughs> right. Oh boy. Now, as far as I'm concerned, uh, this music totally poems tar Target Renegade. Yes. We got shut up! No, it doesn't! Yeah. Who's that uh, Tim Tabal guy or whatever it was? Tebow. Yeah, whatever the hell that guy keeps talking about all the time. Tabal? <laughs> I don't know what this damn guy's name is. What Where did he come from in this, in this let's play? There you go, Bear. <laughs> Tim Telbo Macaroni. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's like Elbow Macaroni. Shut up. 
Okay, Bear's been ejected from the call. Mmm. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, we're here with one up gamer now. <laughs> Stay on topic. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> that's Bear that's Bear's second channel. Go check out youtube.com slash one up gamer. <laughs> Stay on topic. Oh, we have uh -oh. to keep staying on topic. I mean, I I, I thought we uh, cleared that up the first time we did this video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, and apparently you have you have to love doing hopscotch if you want to play this game. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Yeah. I'm playing with yo-yos. What the hell is this? <laughs> All right, it's a kids game. <laughs> Ooh, get that hot sauce. Awesome. But for a kid's game, this game is freaking hard. And stiff. There we go, finally! Yeah. yeah. The game is hard and controls are stiff. <laughs> the game is hard and stiff. Uh, worst joke ever. Hard to play with. Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> oh. I got pwned in ECW mode. Wow. Crying dead bastard. <laughs> How come his angel's blue? We should kill yeah, him again. Guess that's what you look like when you die. Well, yeah, if you drown, you're gonna turn blue. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, there you go. Good job. All, all medical professionals know that. <laughs> that is why I'm not a medical professional. <laughs> Alright, more bats and snakes. See, Zelda type enemies right here, but that's okay. Um, this game was made by the same company as Zelda, so it's allowed to rip off Zelda. <laughs> okay, so uh, basically you can get hit by enemies and you don't lose life in ECW mode, but if you fall in the water, yeah, ECW mode doesn't cover that. Well, ECW mode covers uh, infinite energy. Infinite energy. ECW. ECW. Ener and energy covered well. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely coherent world. I don't, I don't know. Oh. oh. Extremely good. <laughs> and here's the boss, uh, some giant snake. And I ran out of fire sticks there, so I just jumped, got right in his face there. Spam him. And hit with a yo-yo. I mean, where's the yo-yo man at? Tommy Smothers. Tommy, yeah, Tommy Smothers, yeah. Kip, Kip. Skip Smothers or Tommy Rogers? <laughs> Chip Rogers. <laughs> there was actually a wrestler in ECW named Tommy Rogers, I think. Oh, man. He was good, too, though, so, you know, can't make fun of him. Um, well, you've done it. You've done it. Oh, well, you've done it now. Good luck. Be sure to make a map. <laughs> and then check out other great films on Kodak, like <laughs> Roller Coaster Rides of the World. <laughs> and, and, hey, Babu, and Babu the Assistant. Yeah. Sub C, that's like Super C. Great. <laughs> yeah. Except it's subpar. <laughs> Instead of Super. Action 52. Pokemon. This makes me want to play Pokemon now. And now here's Rob the Robot. Cock. Wow. I said Rob the Robot. I didn't say cock. I know, but it just said you entered the cockpit. <laughs> okay, bu okay, butthead. Okay, butthead. He, he said, get out of the cockpit! <laughs> you said <laughs> he's a cock. <laughs> and and apparently the Islanders have nothing else to do but wave goodbye to you. And that's the end of this Let's Play. See y'all in part two. God bless. Take care. Wave goodbye. Welcome to part two of Let's Play Star Tropics. This is Ron Moore along with DeadFan93. Yay, hello. DeadFan93 is, uh, it's been a while since he's been with us here in the S2K commentaries. And so I think the last part you the last commentary you were with, uh, uh, where you were with us is, uh, Castlevania for the NES, I think. Yeah, part one. Yeah, so have you ever played this game? No, I've never even heard of it until now. That's a very underrated adventure game. It's pretty cool. Looks like it looks like a crossbreed in 
between uh, Zelda and Final Fantasy. Yeah, yeah, and well, this game was made by Nintendo, so I can see it looking r real similar to Zelda. Now, did Nintendo originally make Final Fantasy? No, they no, it was always Square. Oh, okay. But I can understand that Nintendo made it because well, you know Nintendo can't come up with anything original. Huh. And then here now. What, what sucks about this game, you have to talk to everybody um, if, before you can advance further in the game. It, like, it forces you to talk to people. Like in Zelda, if you know what to do, you don't have to, I mean, there's certain people you have to talk to to get an item or whatever, but there's some parts where you don't need to talk to everybody. You can go do what you gotta do. On here, it, it, it like just makes you talk to everybody. East most Peninsula is secret. Oh, uh, yeah. And then right here... Evil aliens, no! Genie in a bottle! Oh wait, just a message. No, I don't want to read it again. And yeah, uh, I, I found that out by looking on a video on YouTube. How, how am I supposed to know to go through mountains? So that, that's weird. Mountains. And here, again, we have Rob the Robot here. Rob the Robot. I, I got nothing to say. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, not only can you go through mountains, you go underneath. Yep. Thanks to that uh, ID code or whatever it was. Now mm, go. Now go. Sauce. And now go to the first tunnel. Don't turn off your game or reset. Yeah, I know that. I I don't, I don't plan on doing that when I. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't want to lose my progress here. Never want to lose your save data. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. Um, I don't know if you know, but I am in ECW mode. Oh uh, yeah. So I can't go. By hit. the way, you're just killing everything. Usually, you would be dying if you weren't. Yeah, Rudy, this game is hard. As you said in a uh, Ghouls and Ghosts review, this game is hard, really hard. Okay. Oh man, I'm still stuck on Ghosts and Goblins. Oh my God. <laughs> Bats. Every single game has to have bats. It's like a, a rule of the 1980s. Yeah, really. I wonder if Batman has bats. I don't know. I have to talk to we. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, drop too soon. I jumped too soon. Now dropped in the water. It dropped. It dropped too soon. You jumped too soon. That's a double fail. Yeah. <laughs> Ten yard penalty. Repeat third down. Okay. Um. Oh, idiot! Yeah. I think it's just trailing your ass. The Octa Rock. The ECW mode insurance does not cover clumsy platforming controls. And Octa Rocks. Yeah. I should say platforming controls, but clumsy platform skills. Platform control. These controls suck, but at the same time, they're appropriate for this game. In part two, they made the controls more fluid to where you can move, like, more freely. And But in doing that, the jumping on the tiles thing is even harder. Yeah, to get more uh, more information about that, you gotta check out HVGN's awesome review of Zelda's Revenge. Zelda's Revenge. It's a Star Shoppers 2. Uh, well, I drop in one of these tiles. I mean, yeah, yeah. Like I said in part one, you have to be somebody that loves hopscotch to <laughs> play this game. Mm. Hopscotch. Hopscotch on crack. Yeah, I should have called it Hopscotch Tropics or something. I don't know. Watch out for the Starman. Oh, Star yeah, Starman from Mega Man 5. Dear God. A bunch of little mini Patricks. Who's Patrick? Oh, is that a, refer a reference I don't get? SpongeBob reference. Uh, points for reference. Minus points for me for not getting the reference. No, actually, minus points for me for spoiling the reference. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> well, that's because I asked for it. Yeah, well. I, I like spoilers. <laughs> Alright, uh, actually, I, I like spoilers, but I like to give out spoilers a lot on my channels, but how how hypocritical is that? Um, I don't want to do this in real life. I just want to go around, you know, in like a tile-based system where I can just jump around on random platforms and hit buttons all day. 
Yeah, this game does not look good when you first see it or hear about it. Like, you know, yo-yo's your weapon and baseball bat and all that stuff and jumping all these tiles. And This game is oh. hard, but it, it can be very addictive. It's, it's not a bad game. It's very okay, underrated. So this is where Nintendo got the idea for NES, yo-yo, baseball bat. Yeah, I guess so. And this guy's name, this kid's name is Mike. And his his nep his uncle's name is, get this, Dr. Jones. Mm. So I guess when the ship was doing... the dolphin in the little pool. Yeah. Alright, here's the boss of Chapter 2. Um, giant Octopus. Giant Octorock. Yeah. Boy, this guy's mouth is full of balls. Yeah. <laughs> and you use the user freeze power here. And then repeatedly hit Octo Rock with the baseball bat. Do you have a limit on how many swings you can take? Yeah, see, down there it's counting down. Now it's 18 swings. You know, it was at 30. Yeah. So, yeah, basically he dodges balls. And ball, 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 ball. He's going balls to the wall. And, yeah. Swing, bada, bada, swing, bada, bada, swing, bada, 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 swing. Now, I assume the baseball bat has more impact does more damage to the boss but because uh what but if you run out you can use your yo-yo but mm. just like you know in any rpg or, or adventure game whatever when you get an item in a dungeon you just, you know n naturally that's the weapon you use on the boss of the dungeon kill it with a bat and i had a more freeze power here so gotta be quick gotta be quick why couldn't you like be like a Zelda boss and bat the balls back. Yeah, that'd be cool. Heck, you know what? Maybe you can. I never tried it here. Oh, it's well. too late to try now. Yeah. Because this is pre-recorded. I can't uh, change time. <laughs> it's spazzing out. Yep. And it disappeared. Street, play Street Rage victory music here. <laughs> or, you know, even Final Fantasy. All right, that's enough. Man, just move on. You rescue. Get out of here. Yeah, Echo, go back to your doomed seat. <laughs> I'll play on the Genesis in a few years. Here's Skip Rogers now. Wow, you've really done it. Now saving your data. Refrain from turning power off or resetting. <laughs> Watch out for the power button. The power button could make you lose your save data. Yeah. <laughs> if you've made it to this dolphin, you've really made it. Quee, 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 quee. Or how, whatever noise they make. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> I got that from Wee Guy. He actually did that before that dolphin noise. <laughs> oh, God. And there's the mother. Okay, now we gotta... Oh, I mean. So now it's just... Yeah, this is the end of the chapter. It's just... Taking us out of here, and then... We move on to chapter three, which is... That's where the game starts to get hard. And thank mm. God for ECW mode, because I'm going to need it. Yes. And that is it for Chapter 2. We'll see you guys in Chapter 3. God bless and take care. Bye. And welcome to Chapter 3. If someone would turn down their volume, we can get started here. <laughs> this is Ron Moore, along with JMan46241, Bayer13, and we got 1003 Yes, hey. we are nines. We got through nines here. <laughs> or ten or three, whatever twenty account you have. I only have. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Trick yeah, that's the main one. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where the game gets hard, people. Chapter three, and this is a long and hard chapter. <laughs> you should say difficult. That's what she said. Gonna, yeah, because Barry's gonna. Yeah, you should say difficult because Barry's gonna get those thoughts when you say hard. <laughs> this is a um, prolonged and difficult chapter. <laughs> I forgot about the long. <laughs> Prolonged. But she also said. <laughs> Drink the milk, you'll feel much better. That's what she said. <laughs> right. And now I got to get my wrecked this... ship fixed. Yeah. I guess this is the wrecked ship from Super Metroid. Oh, wait, this game came out first. <laughs> wait, you say wreck? Oh, okay, you didn't say anything. Perverted. This video <laughs> has been rated P for perverted. <laughs> All right, now the first tunnel. There's more than one tunnel in this game. This is a long chapter. <laughs> and okay, these gooses, birds right here. They look like dodo, dodo birds. 
a dodo bird. They look like that creepy bird that you used to warp in Twilight Princess. They look like the uh, the the cuckoo birds in uh, Majora's Mask. Ocarina of Time. Well, I'm thinking about that big crow in the sky, in Majora's Mask. I think it's creepy. I haven't played that game since 2000. Zero. <laughs> ECW year. <laughs> it's an ECW year. I think. I don't know. I just want to make an ECW reference. <laughs> oh, you got some uh, Skype headphones. <laughs> yeah, we got Same. 40 of them. Oh, okay, now these flying monkeys, Bat. flying, flying monkeys with wings. Well, well, with the wings, duh, they fly. But yeah, and these things are freaking annoying. Ow! Watch it. Oh, stand still, man. Just ECW pass it. Man, I mean, well, I'm still trying to play as if I'm not having ECW mode. <laughs> But when you, <laughs> but, but when you have ECW mode, you it's so easy to be lazy and just take the hits. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you're taking much health off anyway. Yeah, but they are freaking annoying. Let's see, we got. I forgot what those things were. Those two balls on the string. Um, two balls on the string. Yeah, fair. <laughs> you want to make a comment to that? Noise. Wait. Um, he had 80 of them. Damn. Look at this. Oh, hearts. Like I need them, but anyway, just to show you <laughs> that they're. Ooh, upside down cross. Crazy. I know what. What kind of reference? What are they doing there? Um. Okay, and those uh, Castlevania skeletons didn't last long. Hey, freaking doo doo birds! Watch out. <laughs> Dodo. Dodo. Damn, yeah, we. Look, your clarification. Your mom's a dodo birds. Your mom's a dodo. Oh, oh, everything's gone dark. I've seen the light. I was thinking of something when you said about the Castlevania schools. This is Starvania? Castle Tropics? <laughs> Lols? I always do that. I always combine names when you reference another game. Whoa. Secret Hand Patches Way? Ah, oh, dang it. I took the Zelda stairs and I... Uh, oh, I gotta start that tunnel over again. Damn it! <laughs> Let me make sure. Yeah, I. Oh, same area. Man. Yeah, come on, let me go through here. Oh, I can't nice go through the mountains like I did in chapter two. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you just... know what? Let me tell you something. I'm humans. Oh my god, like we're not human too. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I'm more human than you are. <laughs> I have a more human heart. <laughs> I'm more human than a human. No, you, you're more human. You're superhuman. Yeah, ask, you have, Rob, ask Rob Zombie. You have six hearts, I wonder you're more human. You're like a uh, worm or something. <laughs> it's like or a worm. have eight. Okay, Sky too hotty. <laughs> Do the worm! <laughs> <laughs> well, the worm, worm, worm. Worm is the word. Word is the worm. <laughs> I got worms! That's what we're gonna call it! I got worms! Uh, uh, I got no comment. <laughs> Ex except that, uh, this commentary sex is gonna give it a 10 out of 100. <laughs> I'm give it one star. I give it only a 10 because I did. <laughs> no way, no way, Jay! Come on, this commentary is good! It sucks they talk about, uh, worms and, and uh, stuff. So stupid. <laughs> Two balls on a string. <laughs> <laughs> How about two balls on the string? It's stupid. Come on, spank the monkey. Um, Quit yeah, monkeying around. Like, uh, <laughs> use your earphones. <laughs> use your uh, use your. I, 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 I want to save. Nice. I, I want to save the earphones for the boss. No, they're fuzzy dice, except they're round. Use your testicles. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I don't want to use my testicles for anything. Ooh, look at them skills. Jumped over two snakes at the same time. Ouch. Well, <laughs> this is... This is how, how, how can I jump over two of them and not one of them? Because you're Indiana Jones. Oh, yeah. Or, or no, whatever. Got What's his name? Snake. Mike? Is that his character's name? I, oh, yeah, wait a minute. Hold on. There's a reference there. Not just Indiana Jones, but his name is Mike, but his uncle's name is Dr. Jones. Yep. Mike Jones? Mike Jones! Mike, Mike Jones! Dun, 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 Mike Jones. Dun, 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 dun. Mike oh, Jones. No, that's Superman theme. 
<laughs> okay. I forgot. That's that's not that's not Indiana Jones on Superman. <laughs> All right, got through the first tunnel. Choo choo. You oh, you've done, done it. it. You've oh, done, you done it. Done you it didn't now. go the wrong way. Yeah. yeah. Now save your dad. Refrain from turning power off. Reset it. Ah, yes. Snap. All right, another village to go to with like 20 people to talk to. All saying relatively stupid shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm Rafe Sailor, Sailor Moon. <laughs> um, let's He's think. So um, <laughs> that's that's green right there. Um, Erlos. <laughs> Actually, my baby brother can help you in the next hut. He'll give you some buttercup milk. Or uh, whatever it is to get your energy in this game. <laughs> get over here. And she's like, oh, get away from me! <laughs> you stranger, you stranger that just came in my house stranger without knocking. Danger. Without knocking, there's no they door. That's what they say, there's no doors. See, I had to tell her that she's pretty instead of Miss Coral, because if I did that, I don't think I could advance in, in that hut over there to the left. How butthurt can you be? <laughs> no, don't tell she's too kid. We don't want an ape in sex scene. <laughs> That'd be weird. Coconut milk. I don't need I got full energy. And ECW mode. Coke. Oh, sex, sex tropics? Wait, what? <laughs> That's something Bear would say. That should, yeah, that should be the name of the video. Star tropics. <laughs> sex tropics. Sex <laughs> tropics. <laughs> Star it is, tropics. It is bag. It is like almost Valentine's Day. Oh yeah. It, well, it is where well, I live at. Yeah. Oh yeah. Go. Oh. No, it's where it is. Where all of us are. It's already the next day for you know uh, all of us actually. Yeah, what did I say? I wasn't even paying attention. Did you even read? No, I was listening to you know how your commentary. Read. I was listening to your commentary about Valentine's Day. That was J-Man. See, now I enter after talk to everybody, and then I tell that girl she's pretty. Oh, you're what? so pretty. Did you just hang? Well, get out of here, you freaking bum! I'm just hanging out. Oh, I'm, I'm... oh wow! So that's Mario. <laughs> that's the no, that's the Pringles guy. <laughs> Oh yeah, snap to a Pringles. Snap to a Pringles. <laughs> Crunch to a Pringles. Please help my daughter. She is upstairs. So sad about her man leaving his bed. spells. You must find him. Please help my daughter, and I'll fix her <laughs> chip. Don't stop what? saying that. What are you laughing about? <laughs> it's not my daughter. No one knows. What? <laughs> it's funny. You laugh at anything, don't you? <laughs> I, I can say, uh, I can say light bulb. Five <laughs> 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 oh, stars for George McFly. We, 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 we are joined by, we are joined by Crispin Glover. There we go. Don't kick Dave Letterman in the face. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got good crying skills. Better watch out. Watch out. Wop. <laughs> okay, so this girl's name is Banan, Bananet. I don't name my daughter that. Banana Rama. Bear, if you're sleeping in bed, you're perfect chance! <laughs> Boy. I had to say something about that. <laughs> we need to shoot <laughs> Oh man. She built up too much and I couldn't release it into a good laugh. I'm gonna die from laughter. This is Laugh Guy? <laughs> okay, and now... Now I can get past this emo douchebag into the, uh... I think it's the next tunnel, or the next part of this world. And so in part four, we will continue with chapter three, part two. So until then, happy Valentine's Day, and God bless. Take care. Woo! See ya. Thank you, Ric Flair. And welcome to part four of Star Tropics, chapter three, part two. Ah, that was confusing. This is <laughs> Ron... <laughs> yeah. This is Ron Moore, along with J-Man46241. Hey yo. And we guy couldn't stay awake to do the commentaries with us. Oh, what a sissy. No, nah, um. I don't know about Bear, it's only like 10 o'clock in Canada or something. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Yeah. I don't know, probably later than that. But... I, nah, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's up there with Star Soldier getting drunk right now. Yeah. <laughs> and I just died. Oh. You gotta watch uh, where the snakes um, move to. Snakes yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they got snake, snake got revenge on me, all right. <laughs> yeah, 
read the star. Yeah. Well, I'm. Wow, this game left me in the dark. <laughs> well, where? Okay, you gotta watch. Okay, which one platform? Ah, this one. See how the snake got real far right there? You gotta watch the snake. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Um. Now it's confusing. Yeah, kill, kill the snakes with yo-yos. Tommy Smothers will tell you that. Yeah, there you go. The secret weapon. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right, now we get the bat oh, here. Slingshot. Yeah, slingshot now. Did they use that in the Goonies on the game? I don't remember. Yeah, I think so. Now you got these flies that some people see in their restroom walls. Like fruit flies or something? Yeah, whatever they are is tiny. They're like uh, West Nile mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm not sure what those look like. I don't want to find out either. Alright. Ah man, those controls. Door. Don't jump off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah. I'm getting pwned in this game just like you were in <laughs> Drunken Kong Country. Well, both combined aren't still as much as Shinobi 3. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Or, or Bloodlines. At least it made it to the final boss yeah. in Shinobi 3. Yeah. And another upside down cross. Yeah, really. What, what's up with like the reference? Brandon's game. Yeah. Come on, I know. Supposed <laughs> <laughs> to be family friendly. At least there's not like a knockback in this game. Oh yeah. Knock you right off the ledge. But in Star Tropics 2, Zoda's Revenge, there's like, I think, no time to be invincible when you get hit. Just like... Uh, it's, it's like Gremlins, or not Gremlins, uh, Bram Jackie Sto Chan's Dracula Kung Fu. Yeah, or Bram Stoker's Dracula for the SNES. Oh yeah, that game. <laughs> <laughs> can't watch out for the spikes there because there's no time to be invincible after you get hit. Oh, uh, hey. oh. Woo. All right, yay. Oh. Up the Zelda stairs. Oh, but wait a minute, we're not done yet. Oh, uh, it's like a palace or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> RPG. Oh, yeah. Now in the depths of this dungeon. The lava. Now that's a gamble right there, I got extra life. Ah, uh, okay. Got the extra man. There's little volcanoes here. I know this game came out way before um, Oracle Seasons, Zelda Oracle Seasons, but that part reminded me of uh, one of the lava sections of that game. I never played that one. Pretty good Zelda <laughs> game. Now, I, I, I'm not into portable gaming either, that's a pretty freaking good game. Fruit flies oh, in the end. Oh, you gotta kill the. I right, kill him. Yeah. Zelda dungeon. That was a waste of time for that Zelda clock. <laughs> ah, well, watch out for the bear 13. Arch <laughs> 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 He's like face palm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the comment. <laughs> oh, it's a headphones. Yeah, you need some headphones. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, people, the one, the one I'm using right now for this commentary, the right earphone don't work, so I can only hear the left ear. It's like, grr. Oh. Uh oh. oh. Grr. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, let's not go over there, um... Ah, oh, man, get home like... cheap to get in right there, you know, it was kind of cheap. Yeah, but it, it's... I was not expecting that, oh, thanks. It's funny, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. No, no, oh! You know Nintendo had to do that for the lols. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, it's the first, uh, first ever cases of trolling. Yeah. <laughs> what came from? I think Gunstar Hero programmed this game. Um, lols, let's go ahead and like make him jump over here and then like fall in the lava. Ha ha ha, lols. That was great. I thought of that all by myself. 
Actually, my baby brother came to the room when I was programming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's lols. Oh, oh. That's, <laughs> that's not lols. Okay, <laughs> it was lols, but not ECW. <laughs> We're gonna have to turn on a, a death counter. <laughs> yeah. Now that was game over, but I'm gonna cut back to here for time constraints. Okay, reload. I'm not gonna start that over again. Screw that. <laughs> well, I had to record yeah, this. like a part 85. You know. Well, I had to record this because I don't like using save states. But uh, yeah, I, I was on Saturday. I don't use save states. I'm not a vagina like Gaming Goose will have you believe. But uh, <laughs> but I yeah. did use ECW mode. That makes me a man right there. And but at least it has a cool name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's been a while since I fought this boss. I don't. None of the weapons I'm using is working, so it's like a like a Buddha doll or something. Yeah. Like, what? like I don't know. Okay, well, it's weird. well now well I forgot what to do right here. <laughs> yeah. Use your headphones. <laughs> I used a baseball bat right I, I wasn't even near him to hit him. Oh yeah, I was trying I was thinking about him. I think hitting the fireballs back to him, but no. Not work. Dude, the slingshot didn't do nothing. Well, let me jump in all these tiles. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Now I gotta hit another one, and then like I think that. Oh, uh, so it's like a shield or something. No, the bridge collapses or something. You gotta make it make it fall in the water. Like a super Bowser thing. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Mario three plagiarized. I mean, <laughs> this game. <laughs> well, where's the other stupid thing? What? Yeah. Stupid thing, stupid. <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's play hopscotch. Yeah, part four. yeah really. <laughs> Hot tropics. You know, I, I don't know why I'm trying those again. I already did that. How stupid are you? <laughs> there it is. Oh yeah. I gotta go all the way around. Oh, there, there we go. Hey, easier. You got boom. And that's it? Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Well, that's not that's not the end of the chapter. We still got some more to well, go. Well, I mean, just the, just the enemy. Yeah, we still got more to go in this chapter. This is just like a mini-boss, junior manager. <laughs> or junior villain. Yeah. Junior manager. Alright. We got through a nine. So that's you 2K. <laughs> yeah. So that is the end of, uh, part of chapter three. We will see you guys. Dang, what's. Oh, hurry up with the end. Okay. <laughs> we will see you guys. So got like 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now here we go. I'll talk about the end of the tunnel. I'll keep thinking that's it. All right, now now we've done it. We will see you guys in part five of chapter three, part three of this 20 part series. However long it's going to be. All right. It's going to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God bless. And take care. Peace. Oh wait, I forgot, I'm hosting. Um, hey, uh, this is Ron Moore, and we're back with Star Tropics Part 5. And I'm here with J-Man, and we got, you know, three. <laughs> What's up? Oh. <laughs> and now I'm talking to Earthquake here. Gosh. <laughs> anyway, yes, Earthquake. Rest in peace, Earthquake. John hope, Tenta. I hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> Something yeah, happened. Some, my uh, bun on my pants just somehow unbuckled for no reason. I'm kind of scared. Okay, I, I don't want to hear that. Uh, You're unbuttoning your pants. What? Either there's a ghost or I'm getting fat somehow. <laughs> right. I hope it's a female ghost. Anyway. It's not that kind of video we got. Yeah, I'm, I mean, sorry. Yeah, this isn't a video with the bear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now I'm continuing here in chapter 3. Like I said, it's a freaking long chapter. Long and hard. <laughs> Alright, Bear's on the video, so I can say that without any... that type of rebuttal. <laughs> I'm you said butt. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay, going through the mountains again. Alright, heart container. Ooh, big heart. That's what she said. No. <laughs> Nah, that would, that would just be really nice. <laughs> you have a big heart! And a big, uh, yeah. I have a, you have a big deep fried thing. chicken. <laughs> oh, okay, anyway. <laughs> now we're going to the graveyard. Whoa. 
Love the music in the graveyard. Are you about to go fight Freddy? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, enough of that game. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think, um, lols, let's think for a second. Um, actually, um, I think I'm supposed to go through one of these graves? And then like into a, another tunnel? Oh, so it's like Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Oh wait, no, ah, this, here we this go. game came out before that. <laughs> Stupid mother. Alright, here we go. The uh, I fear the tunnel in chapter 3. Oh, look at the Skeletogs. Uh, oh, oh, the Skeletogs. I thought they were Skeletodos. <laughs> <laughs> no, from the one level. Yeah. Go skip, or I forgot the character's name. Bob. Mike. Mike. <laughs> skip. <laughs> skip. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's skip Roger's son here. <laughs> Dang, man, they're getting pwned by this dog. They're not even taking any health. <laughs> Hello, ECW mode. Oh, yeah. You... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, let's just sell the skulls. Oh, yeah. Do, do. Do you even know who composed the music for this game? Uh, David Wise. No, it was Nightmare on Elm Street. You're getting everything mixed up. No, oh. it's it's Y, uh, Y, uh, Hihara, or whatever. I can't pronounce the name, so don't yell at me, people. Nah, pronounce it right! I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'll pronounce it right however I want. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, more hopscotch action here. Where's the switch? Where's the switch? Hop Tropics. Gotta be that one. Hop Tropics. <laughs> Huh. Where's the uh, yeah? Where's Gun Star Tropics Twenty One at? Ah, uh, lols. You finish okay, it. Okay, <laughs> this is a freaking maze. I remember now. It can take you right back to the graveyard, and uh, yeah, I'm not remembering how to beat this. So, uh, good job. This is, gonna be a, this is gonna be a long. This it's already a long chapter. It's gonna be even longer because I don't remember what to do. It's, uh, Metroid all over again. Oh, yeah. Super Metroid all over again. <laughs> Welcome to Star Tropics Part 23. This is Ron Moore. <laughs> <laughs> and we're still in the graveyard? Maze? Yeah. That'd be Red Super right there. Yeah, you get Red Super Aid. And it's like, really? Come on, I don't see the same thing. For 23 parts. That's why Super Metroid should have been Red Super Aid. <laughs> well, you ECW'd your way. Oh. Yeah. Next time, just use, uh, unregistered hypercam. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, what the heck is hitting me? Ah, oh, apparently it's ghosts that are hitting me, and you can't see them yet. Oh, I was just talking about ghosts, huh? Funny. What's going on here? I'm Batman. I'm not Batman. I'm just. Oh yeah, I kind of am sorry, Batman. Why you talk like Batman? Then? I don't know. Protecting my identity, because I'm weak. I fear the night. <laughs> Oh, you really are dumb. Anyway, Where are my 1,000 subscribers? <laughs> Catch you next time, Gadgets. I'll get you next time, Gadgets. Uh, uh, what was uh, that that you just picked up? Uh, something. Something. <laughs> He's a bar <laughs> staff or a wand or something, I don't know. Oh, stop hitting me. Perch and maybe you could see those ghosts or whatever now, but I guess not. Now there's another item you get later on, I believe, I believe to see the ghosts. Oh, so it's like, it's like that thing in Pokemon. It's like the flute you need or whatever, or the scope or whatever. If you guys ever yeah. played that. <laughs> no, I play Pokemon. Pokeman. What it was called? Poke me. Poke me. <laughs> when I first, I first heard of Pokemon like in 1998 or 99, I think, whenever it came out. And I was like, what the heck is Pokemon? What is Pokemon? Okay. It's Jamaican Pokemon. <laughs> All right. Thank you, DJ. Um, ah, <laughs> uh, get with the Zelda stairs leading me outside to the graveyard. Should've known. <laughs> well, I, I, you know what I know? That you need to shut up. Uh, <laughs> okay, is your, is your throat okay there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, more Skeletogs. This is so much fun, seeing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to, it's a shameless attempt to get Red Supreme so that we get more notice. <laughs> Maybe we should start singing. 
Maybe the Arch Fiend would do this. Hello, everyone. This is the Arch Fiend. You got this guy LP and over and over again. It's ridiculous. Just cut to the next scene. No one wants to see the same thing over and over again. You sorry son of a... Bitch. <laughs> I'll finish up for you. It's pretty nice. It was a nice imitation. Even what imitation? <laughs> imitation. Oh, wow. You know I like Arch Fiend. Why? Because I can. I'm entitled to my own opinion. Okay? No, so you guys can suck it. Live long and suck it. I stole that joke and now I'm about to get flagged. <laughs> it's a staff. I knew it. It's like the staff that that big weird, like, Pocahontas lady, <laughs> old Pocahontas lady, like, has. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we guys ran out of material here. It's, it's that woman that just waves the thing in your face in a cutscene. Oh, I haven't boy. seen that movie in 20 years. I don't know. That's the next LP, Pocahontas, for the Sega Genesis. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even know it's a game, Pocahontas. Oh, yeah, there is a Sega Genesis, right. Made by LJN. Oh, well, forget that. Uh... <laughs> I don't know who it's really made by. Laughing, joking, laughable, joking noobs. Uh, I don't know. Laughing, joking, numb nuts, you numb nut. Uh, well, I'm trying not to rip off AVG, and I, I try to be original. We're not ripping off, we're just quoting. Yeah, that's ripping off. Ripping. No, quoting, and no intent to rip off. Except I'm gonna rip off my pants. <laughs> that's what Barrett's saying. Never mind. Get what I said. <laughs> <laughs> ah, finally something different this time. Let's see. Hey, that's like, aw, what the fuck. Yeah. Let me jump all these tiles first, just to make sure there's no secrets. Shit, we should change this to, uh, Ultimate Hopscotch. Yeah, really. Okay, nope. We are the champions of the tropics. Ah, oh, come on! You guys fail. I mean, you fail. It, it, <laughs> it is a trap. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I don't know what to do. This is leave. Then go back. Go back. <laughs> like an idiot. My god, it's gonna change so much. I'm stupid. I'm a stupid idiot. I'm a stupid dumbass who doesn't know where he's going because he ain't using ge game genie codes. Yes, I am. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ECW <laughs> mode, ECW mode does not cover uh, n navigational stuff. You need a uh, YouTube navigation mode. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to start going to YouTube and find out through uh, playthroughs what the heck to do next. Walkthrough. Yeah. Oh, you need, whatever. We need, <laughs> we need a guacamole chip stand. And I, it just <laughs> occurred to me, I think I, I gotta go somewhere else first before I can go in there. So, let's just leave out of here. Oh, that was funny. Guacamole chip stand, come on. You know it's fu be funnier if you shut up. And I right, run out of time as we go to a different tunnel. We'll see you guys in parts. Uh, Stays. God bless and take care. Peace. Later, O. And welcome to part Stays. This is Ron Moore along with Bear13 and we got 309. It's awesome to be here again. This is and part after... <laughs> <laughs> And after looking through a walkthrough on YouTube, I know what to do now. You have to look up a walkthrough. That involves not getting <laughs> lost. <laughs> yeah, well, ECW mode doesn't cover navigational mode. Or where to hit the go mode. Or GPS mode. Yeah, or, there you go. Or lulls mode. <laughs> now we need a gunster hero for that. We need Gunstar, Gunstar Tropics Hero 21 for that. <laughs> Alright, more Skello Dogs. Skello Dogs. All they wanted was to be loved. And they just want a bone. Er. They made of bones. <laughs> they want a bone. Wait, so, uh, they, I guess they really get actual boners. <laughs> uh. They bone all the time. Those footprints on those tiles look like the foot the foot clan footprints from Ninja Turtles. Oh See? no. 
Uh, <laughs> way to be a hoarder yourself, Ronnie. <laughs> you what? Way to be a hoarder yourself. <laughs> Check wait, out wait Ninja Turtles. <laughs> way to be a hoarder yourself. What? Shame, shameless plug. <laughs> I didn't plug anything. I was talking about the Ninja Turtles and the Foot Clan. The heck yeah, you guys bears. talking about? You talking about a bear? Nothing. Nothing. You guys are pretty stupid. Okay, they're both ejected from the call. I'm doing this by myself now. <laughs> that would be so easy. Wait, you. but you guys rejected. Shut up. No. I'm the host. You would jump too. So in your face, everyone loses. Yeah, but I'm the host of this LP, so ha. Huh. Ah, so that weapon I had before was actually the uh, uh whatever it's called, to where you can now see the ghost that's been hitting me. Uh, no, you use the pause trick from Mega Man. I know it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, those ghosts are weird. They look like blowjob ghosts, and what that means is they got a wide open mouth. <laughs> okay, moving right along. <laughs> oh come yeah. on, Barry, you would have commented on that. Commented in? Oh, that didn't work. Pun <laughs> fail. You failed at failing. What? No, that means I won. Dice. Now look at this. Ah. Ah. <laughs> That little slug was hiding that little uh, opening right there, or not really hiding it, but I guess it threw me off and I forgot that you can go through the wall right there. And there's a little dark spot you can barely see, indicating that you can go through there. Yeah, those are that secret bastard. passageways. Yeah, wait, so slug? So this is metal slug now? No, they're not metal. Oh, They should be. <laughs> Start yeah, with metal slug. Be sure to get the ECW tank. Ah, yeah. really, an ECW tank. Battle tank. <laughs> it's as easy W as you can get. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, more Castlevania mummies. I was thinking Legend of Zelda with the zombies and the skulls. Yeah, they don't have, there's no mummies in Zelda games, is there? No, they're actually called mummies, not zombies. They're mummies. Well, the ones that are wrapped. I mean, the ones that aren't, they're sort of like, they're like Michael Jackson zombies. What the hell are you talking about? This is thrill, <laughs> The zombies in Zelda, Legend of Zelda, the uh, brown ones, oh, and time. hump you, and you're the s molest you. You're, you're the smartest idiot that I know. <laughs> you're Thank the you. smartest dumbass. <laughs> <gasps> I feel so proud. Okay, now I have a light, a uh, lantern. When it gets dark, I can light, light up the place, see where I'm going. Light the way to my pathway. Oh, damn it. No, I want to say light the way to my, um... Success. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to sing like you. Why do you gotta freaking pause to use an item? That's oh frustrating. Well, I know you gotta do that Mega Man also, but in later Mega Man games you can like hit the L and R button and toggle between the weapons. Yeah, due to more advanced controls. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I guess I can see why they did down here. I guess I'm thinking like um I don't know what I'm thinking. Do yeah, Castlevania think... style. To press up. <laughs> Metroidvania. <laughs> Castle Tropics. <laughs> or Starvania. Okay, now I fight Master Hand. <laughs> Once again, you I'm gotta stay on, you gotta, stay, on <laughs> you gotta stay on topic. You gotta stay on topic. Okay, I don't know why they're playing boss battle music right there. It's not a boss battle, so moving on. You're fired! You're fired! <laughs> Pro gaming mistake. I found out the person that made that mistake actually did get fired. They got foiled in the, in they the talked streets. About it. They talked about it on GameSpot interview with Mayamoko Homo, or whatever the Japanese guy's <laughs> name is from. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> I actually worked with a guy, uh, I'm not kidding, I actually worked with the bartender that laughs like <laughs> Oh god Like a mixture of Elvis and Dracula Look at my mouth Wow, yes, what a man, let's, let's never hear that again <laughs> uh -huh. I agree uh -huh. Uh -huh. Really, why did why did the games have to be like this? Because of course nowadays you can easily find a, your way through a game if you're stumped. But back then it's like tough shit. You gotta find your way. Well, that through. was a well, that was a waste of time. I could just 
did that. <laughs> I was jumping all the tiles like a jackass. Because back in those days, people had better imaginations. <laughs> and yeah, back more then all we had. <laughs> yep, yeah, back then all we had was a stick in our imagination. <laughs> Whoa, wait, stick in some dirt. <laughs> stick in I got the, the I got the mirror holes. here. <laughs> I got the mirror here where you can reflect the wizard's fireballs back at them. Oh wow, like I never heard that before. <laughs> yeah, we you know the same company that made Zelda, or made this game, made Zelda, so it's allowed I to represent Zelda. I know, I know. It's well, then, shut up. Uh, You're fired. Oh. I would accept shut up, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shut up, please, good sir. <laughs> you you rank the... You rang, sir. You rang. Dun, 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 dun. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that LP <laughs> Festivus Quest will probably be up when this one's still going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Star Tropics 45. Yes. Uh, now I don't think this will be as long as my Mario All Stars Let's Play. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, I just, uh, I gave a spoiler to my new, next LP. Uh, Star Tropics 45, A New Hope. <laughs> Zoda's, Zoda's Revenge again. <laughs> you have to get the brainwashing machine now. The what? They must again. not know, I'm doing Fester's Quest next. You know, you can edit this out. Stop fucking saying it. No, you can edit that out. <laughs> now you gotta do more editing. No. No, no, I'm not going to nothing out. This is the SGK channel. Everything's yeah. random. Yeah, and plus, I'm pretty sure people aren't going to be surprised. It's like, oh my god, Fester's Quest! I'm so watching this! <laughs> <laughs> but it is going to be ECW, so check it out. Yeah, yeah that you... would give us a million hits. Forget the Plumbers Don't Wear Ties LP. Oh, man. The Fester's Quest will get more hits. Yeah, I'm giving a future plug. <laughs> yep. There! <gasps> <gasps> It's bear. <laughs> it's oh, a ghost. Shut up. And I Did forgot how to fight this ghost. Now nah, here we go. Go with the earphones at him. Oh. They're balls. <laughs> Air likes balls thrown in his mouth. <laughs> They're earphones. Big mouth. Shut up. <laughs> looks like the ghost from uh, Ron McDonald's uh, family, or whatever reunion. <laughs> huh? Ron McDonald's family reunion. No, that, that one of those characters, uh, Grimace, or... I don't know their names, I mean... Was he the big purple thing that looked like yeah. a tent? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Grimace, then. Oh, wait. Wrong reference. <laughs> no, not Barney. No, that's the dude. Grimace is the purple guy. <laughs> yeah, and look at this. Why not just go through the... Okay, <laughs> really, is that, was that necessary right there? Yes, it was just to waste your fucking time. <laughs> as the nerd always says with things. Just waste your fucking time. Well, what I'll do right here. Let's try every trick in the book. Yeah, really. Fire. It's like a Simon's quest. You gotta exhaust every possibility to do something. That is 69. <laughs> <laughs> well. Huh. well. Bye, guys. <laughs> well, that's it. We'll see you guys in part seven. <laughs> as we try to figure this out. Ah, there you go. You gotta jump on the tile three times. Who'd have thunk it? You jumped three times? I was saw it once. Well, not in succession. I did it the first two times, and then right there was the third time. No. Yeah, and, and the first time I got to this, I was like, well, maybe it's an invisible platform. Maybe if I jump ahead, I'll land on it. Oop, nope, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you've done it. Finally, out of that freaking tunnel, and chapter three is still not over yet. Well done, kid. And do not and refrain from turning off your console. Ah! <laughs> and now I got the crystal ball that can return to the fortune teller, and I can proceed further in chapter three. And we will do that in part seven. Until then, God bless and take care. See ya. See ya. And welcome back to part seven, Ete, of Star Tropics. This is Ron Moore along with We Got 309. Sub. And uh, I think Green is with us also. Green, are you there? Um, actually, my baby brother just stepped into the room, so I can't record. So I'll talk to you guys later. Lols. Well, okay, Green. Uh, 
Yeah, good luck, and hopefully you join us in part eight. Yes, hopefully. We would love to have you again here. Oh, uh, whoops. <laughs> okay. What? what? I uh, just went to that room, and that's where the heart container was. <laughs> it's just a dead end now. It's pulling us. I went in there. Oh, you're talking about that. Oh. Yeah. They're talking about something else. Yeah, I was making fun of you. Uh-uh. Aw. Oh. Okay, and now... I am able to... Well, first I gotta go give the, the wizard, or fortune teller, wherever he is, his crystal ball back. Wizard! Alright, and... You give it back to her. Oh, I'm yeah. back in business. Thank you! You want to enter Shikola, don't you? I know just what we need to do. And I am now a female. What the hell? You're a transvestite. <laughs> You still look silly, just to make a silly girl. I mean, I fear of that wizard. <laughs> what other stuff can he do to you? Mystic powers from a star far, far away. What's the Star Wars now? <laughs> this is where the power lies, brother. Um, ECW. <laughs> <laughs> for a Hulk Hogan reference. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just spoiled the reference. Um, Good job. Okay, now, who am I, Chun-Li? Or in a Street Fighter movie, Red Dress? <laughs> what coincidence do you say Chun-Li of all, the, of all names? Well, look, look at the hair. I mean, yeah, I know, but just like, there's a joke around a lot of my friends that they call me Chun-Li. I have no idea why. Oh, yeah, because when I play Street Fighter, that's the character I choose because I'm best with her, and they call me Chun-Li. Okay. Right now, now everyone's getting another joke, and they'll be like, Hey, Chummy, I'm like, God dang it! <laughs> well, anyway. So I'm supposed to find, I think, the head warrior, or the... Or Princess Shikola, or whoever. I think I got the topic for this part. It's trans ah! topics. What the hell? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking to a truck driver now. Um... Oh yeah, you oh yeah! Stalls with you. <laughs> He's the truck driver. <laughs> okay. What? what? I don't know. That was that was a uh, lame reference. That was a bit. <laughs> Minus points for lame reference. Oh. Okay, and uh... Is that Mrs. Duchek from Third Rock from the Sun? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean... You haven't seen the show, have you? <laughs> no, no, I was gonna say something witty about the third rock from the sun, but I got nothing. <laughs> Shooting star. Hmm. Yes. I have the super yo-yo power now. And when I have more than six red hearts filled, just like uh, in Zelda, when you have full energy, you can shoot your sword. So now I can shoot my yo-yo uh, or my... Morning Star Power, whatever it's called. Uh, wait, that looked like a ball and chain. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so Michelle, that's your name now, since you're that female? Yeah. Mike to Michelle. Are you a newcomer from her cola? <laughs> <laughs> ha 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 ha! That's huh. hilarious. It's just weird. Yeah. Hey, you as a female. Everyone. Want to travel west? Listen, shout Abracadabra and and jump ten times at the tunnel and... Oh. <laughs> was, there, was there a period after that? I couldn't see because of the poor quality of this processing video on YouTube. It's, it's not done processing yet. <laughs> yeah. We didn't fully load to its full potential. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Jeff? Would be like, uh, you need last processing. Yeah, whoa, wardrobe change right in front of that person. Yep. Alright, oh, thank God I'm a boy again. Yeah, we're not. This is, okay. Now we're back to Star Tropics, not Trans Tropics. <laughs> yeah. Let's just. Never mind. I'm gonna stop. Like being all like, oh, that's just weird. The good thing there's not this commentary. Um. Oh my God. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh man, another tunnel. When will it end? It's going to end now. Yep. Well, actually, now it's going to end in, like, uh, 40 more parts from now. Hey, welcome yeah. to part 47 of, uh, Star Tropics. <laughs> yeah. And I got to jump in that thing 10 times, and there we go. 
Yeah, it's like we're, at the, we're near the end of the uh, last level, we have to jump three times on that block. Yeah. Hi. More octopuses? <laughs> I was- oh, I was just about to say that. <laughs> it's James Bond now. Ding 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 Bond. James Bond. What's- what's this character's last name? My, does he have a last name? Jones. Uh, Mike oh, Jones. Jones. <laughs> well, Not I mean, time, his, uncle's, Jones. Uh, his, his uncle's name is Dr. Jones, so I... I don't know, Mike Jones? But see, I was gonna say Mike Jones reference, but this game was 1990. Was Mike Jones even around back then? Uh, uh let's think. Um, well, let's... <laughs> <laughs> Are you the music master? I thought you know. No what? About music. <laughs> About Mike Jones being around back then. Who's Mike Jones? You never heard Mike Jones like, I don't know, he's a rapper or chopping slower? I don't know. Oh, I don't know much about rap. I hate rap. <laughs> oh, that's a short tunnel. I bet Bear would like to go in that short tunnel. <laughs> okay. I don't want to know about that reference. Uh. Sure you don't. Uh, oops. Whoa. Wrong way. Is that a big steaming turd? Yep. It's a great turd. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go out here. Grow up. Hey. All right. Let's go to the small hut. The small job of the hut. <laughs> I'm job of the hut. I'm poor. <laughs> yeah, you're poor. Uh. -uh. <laughs> Rain drops from heavens, fountains spring from earth, lifting my spirits low. <laughs> I'm poor. Ah. Hey, God bless. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was. Um, kind of a waste of time. I know, what, what, the, what the heck are we doing? I'm not even paying attention to like what's going on. Yeah, me either. I'm over here looking at Facebook. I'm thinking of oh. what he thinks to say. <laughs> doing this commentary. Snakes, it's a snake. And we, it's got a... Some, we got some Viper 2565 XDs here. Yeah. And we got uh, Skulls. <laughs> yeah, so are we in Skull Castle? Oh. Here we go, Skull Castle. Oh. <laughs> Batman Part 2. Go watch it. Shameless plug. On our own channel. Up your own LP. Oh god, do something with this cough. <laughs> what the hell were those things? Uh. Skulls with. Uh. Legs? On full oh, uh, Skulls mangoes. with legs. I think it was called skeletons. Oh, oh, watch out. Oh man, he jumped over that skull. Yeah. Oh! Oh. <laughs> Going. <laughs> yeah. Take your time. Patience is the key to winning the game. Dang, I lost my morning star. Don't worry. So what I have, midnight moon? <laughs> <laughs> or afternoon sun? Afternoon delight. <laughs> midnight delight! Sunny D. <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, no, like for a skip. That's Skip Rogers' teaching. Screw Oval Team. It's the Sunny D. <laughs> I don't know how it would work though. I mean, what would the D stand for? Besides the light. Uh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm not, I'm not saying what it stands for. I'm saying what could it stand for? Just for Skip Roger, like oh, D's. Sunny douchebag. I don't know. <laughs> Douche side up. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like your egg? Well, come on, land right here where I can hit you. <laughs> He's placed oh, taunting come on. you. It's actually smart this time. Oh, wow! It's got artificial intelligence. Yeah. Oh, oh they all oh, no. like. Oh. He's smart. I mean, what's this game have? AI? I think it has uh, EI. Yeah, yo. Erectile infection. <laughs> oh god, that's wrong. <laughs> okay, uh, that commentary is reserved for Bayer. Yeah. Ma Bayer approved, Master Hand disapproved. <laughs> okay, they've got these skull hands now. Or skulls with rooster bodies. I don't know what the heck they are. Seems like something out of Castlevania, maybe. Yeah, mixture of Castlevania and. Castlevania. <laughs> <laughs> so that makes 
Castlevania 2. Oh, here we go. Skull Castlevania. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My face. Oh no, hurry, hurry up! Oh, yeah. Now what? 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 What now? Yeah. Now it lands on that thing where I can hit it. What's this More music? Uh, what's this oh. music signify? Signifies music. Yeah, but to say it's ear rape. <laughs> but to say it's more ear rape, no. Yeah, I don't know, but this is the end of part seven. We'll see you guys in part eight. Oh, oh well, let's take care. Oh yes, see ya. And welcome to part eight of Star Tropics. Oh, or let's point at Star Tropics, part eight. This is Ron Moore along with WeGuy309 and DeadFan93. Yo. It's a blood pool. Yeah, the Deadpool starting Dirty Harry. Oh. Oh. Okay, now we got Mr. Beekman. Uh, in this level now. What is that? It's like Waluigi in the green pajamas or something. I'm the, oh, well that was stupid. Let's just jump, jump in the lava. Waluigi with a monk's haircut. Yeah. Oh, I got game over and I got to start over. Here we go, game over. Oh. <laughs> Staring contest. Oh. Well, she would win. Alright, yeah, well, not too far back at the beginning, but... Uh, yeah, snakes, why did it have to be snakes? For the love of God, why snakes? Snakes on the plane. Oh, oh. Alright, his skulls. I guess it's his skull castle. Oh. I don't know, I guess you gotta destroy all of them. Destroy all the skulls for great justice. What are these Castlevania skeleton hens? I say, you see I'm lazy in the gameplay because I know I'm invincible. Oh yeah, you are invincible because of ECW mode. Cheater. Yep. I'm playing as Boris Grayson Cole, whatever his name is from Goldeneye. Nah. Points for reference. Uh, points for invincible reference. Okay, uh... Oh. Ah, <laughs> that was on down there, did you? Mm. I thought you no, did. I didn't. No. Drop something. <laughs> oh, what convenient timing! <laughs> Welcome to uh, live commentary, people. Yeah, this is live as you're watching it right now on YouTube on YouStream too. Holy crap! Even when we do it tomorrow, when they watch it tomorrow, we're still live. Oh my god! Yep. So whenever someone clicks play, it it uh, there's a time paradox where we go back in time to this point. Yes, and when it's 10 a.m. and when it's 10 a.m., I'm not at school. I'm actually here just doing this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, these weird pedophiles in pajamas trying to chase me down now. Ooh, muck. That's bear. Ow. Bear is bear is a muck. Yep. Oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's muck. Hey, shut up. Uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> Need to deepen it. Deeper. <laughs> Deeper. At that time where uh, one of the videos just said, uh, Bear said loves you too, Charlie. And he goes, Not like you do off the butt. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Looks <laughs> more like a monkey in green pajamas. Yeah, I guess. a monk's haircut. And I guess they're uh, impervious to uh, heat or hot stuff. Hot but stuff. Come and trip. Miss with the blood water. <laughs> Uh, it used to be water. Yeah, I don't want to hear that. That's reference, uh, by the way. There, yeah, that's how you do it. Just pick out something that nobody knows and reference it. Yep, like the Boris thing. Uh, all right, now we're out of hell and back on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we went down in hell. Oh, Bear Thirteen is uh different now. Look. Oh, uh, oh, look! Watch out, the trolls. Okay, now that's Castlevania. That's <laughs> the uh, first boss from frickin' Dracula X. I don't know, I never what? played that game. They freaking eyeballs. Ooh. Things like that. Yeah. It has his eye out on me. I used that joke 20 times, but I will. That thing's from Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Moving along. Voice of reference? No, just for points for, um, enemy FAQs. <laughs> yeah. B 
Video game Jeopardy. What is button? Button? <laughs> More of these trolls. Now it's 2K has trolls now. Snake. 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 Oh wow, hacker. <laughs> yeah. I think he's enjoying that a little bit too much. <laughs> Alright, now I finally made it to the top top of the mountain. As I talk to this hermit. Who tells you to he's saving your data. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, the scroll of Obab. Hurry and save the gal. The gal. Okay, I know that. I am running. I am hurrying. Shut up. Hey, hey listen. Oh yeah. Hey, listen. Points for reference. Bebop, Ob Bebop, Rocksteady, Obama, what? Okay, how many times do I got to utter this Shadow Gate spell before this works? Uh, you have to say it uh, ten times and then spin around with a bat on your head. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta say Bloody Mary ten times in the mirror and... <laughs> Ugh. I tried that, it doesn't work. Yeah, nice it going. did for me one time. Uh-uh. Okay. Bananet. We'll never forget your kindness. Alright, now shut up, keep your word, and fix my wrecked ship. Without me having to fight Fantoon. Points for reference. Pretty soon you're not gonna have any more points to give. Oh yeah, really? <laughs> We points for reference. Rob. Alright, Bob the robot's back. <clears throat> Rob. And finally, The Rock has c I mean, finally, Chapter 3 is over with. Oh my god. Yay. Man, that took like 20 parts. <laughs> and, uh, Chapter 4, Confession. Now, the other chapters are not as long as chapter 3, but there are 8 chapters, so we've still got plenty of ways to go. Oh, alright. It's a fish. This is a uh, tuna cola, I think. Moby Dick. Okay, oh, glad bear's on this call. <laughs> Hey, not even he can trash classic literature. <laughs> okay, maybe we guy can. Yeah, well, he, he, he Bear would say, Moby Penis. <laughs> no, he'd be like Moby Cock. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Moby oh. Dick. Moby Dick of the The pie. Great White Rooster. The Great White Rooster. Bait. Uh, how cute. His name is Bait. <laughs> Bait. <laughs> he's, a rapper named, he's a rapper named Bait Dog. Barrow has something to say about that bait. <laughs> no, I don't get that reference. You can buy his bait and master hand, but just forget the hand. Oh, oh. oh. Yes, the hand is included. <laughs> He's supposed to comment. How come I wasn't in this call? Because <laughs> he didn't respond to our messages. Well, I never sent him a message anyway. <laughs> I've been sending him plenty, but he's never responded. <laughs> How come you're ignoring me? I can't ignore me. Oh, shut up. Okay, well, I guess I'll go over here, because nothing to do over there, and... What's that? Whoa! Moby Dick. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, who am I? Uh, who am I, Jonah? Points for reference? How many points uh, of reference are you going to get? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess like there's happens. Jonah right there. He should disperse the points so that they are that he's, that he's giving more depending on the reference. <laughs> That's what I do. 
Points of reference are fun. You got me, got me, you got me hooked onto those points of reference now, Dead Man. Mm -hmm. Never count this thing. How many times you say points for references? How about points for shut up? No, uh. Get five points. <laughs> we got points for reference. We, yeah, we got points. <laughs> okay, so I'm talking to this guy who's apparently an assistant of Dr. Jones. And they're trying to figure out a way to get the heck out the whale's belly. And they got a lot of that torture out there to make the whale sneeze. But now we gotta find the lighter. Because the idiot lost it. Oh, chief, don't don't they know that all you gotta do to get out of there is just run all the way to the end until you get pooped out? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this game ripped off Ocarina Tom. Oh wait. Yeah, when you're going in the belly of Jabba Jabba or whatever. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, this is like Abba Jabba the Hut. It's not aliens. It's a, it's yeah, a... Jabu Jabu the Hut. I want to say it's something of Abadox because Abadox <laughs> are in a big alien, but now you're in a big whale. Okay, damn you two and your Ocarina of Time references. I don't know anything about that game. <laughs> Whoa, what? That's a sin. Oh, yeah, here's a sin. This game ripped off the bobble right here. What? what? <laughs> you crazy. Uh, the Jonah getting swallowed by the whale. There, I spoiled the reference. Uh, Let's get going. Alright, so... We're spoiler, gonna spoiler. Right we're going to stop right here and uh, continue this in part not. Till then, God bless. Take care. See ya. Spoiler! And welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Star Search Tropics. This is Ron Moore, along with We Guy 309 Bear13, and JMan46241. Hey yo! Hi! Yo, yo, yo! And that's it, I'm Ron Moore? No. Yeah, I'm We Guy? I'm see, you guys in part <laughs> see, see you guys in part TNT? Are you in like a... Oh yeah. Like a con Name right now. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen part 8, J-Man, but I'm inside a whale. Yeah. Ew. It's like Blood World. <laughs> Blood World. It's inside of the Red Falcon. <laughs> yeah. Listen to this song right here. It's like saying, E-C, E-E-C, E-E-C-W. Just putting lyrics to that. <laughs> that's, that's a very rough <laughs> yeah. approximation. <laughs> E E E C E C W. You chop and slow it. E E C E C W. -E <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm lost right here. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm supposed to find the lighter so that we can make this the whale sneeze me and Doctor J's assistant out of there. You must find the zippo to continue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's find the zipper. <laughs> Zip lock. Zip oh. <laughs> Zipper from uh Chippendale. Rescue Rangers. <laughs> I'm not talking the strip joint. <laughs> oh. Ronnie, uh, you often frequent that uh place, don't you, Ronnie? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. Yeah, DuckTales or whatever the place is called. A strip Duck joint called DuckTales. Duck <laughs> I'll be kinda dead fish. Here's today's stripper uncle, Scrooge. Ew. <laughs> it's he's sagging. <laughs> <laughs> uncle Scrooge, what are you doing? Shut up, lads. <laughs> Shut up, bloody. Okay, anyway, back to <laughs> Star Tropics and not DuckTales for the NES. Uh, Dick Tales. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bear. Um, uh, everyone, uh, everyone should check out the, the College Humor video about DuckTales. No more vlogs! <laughs> Two more channels. successful channels. Well, we have to kill Tom and do uh, off-topic commentary here for me, make up for me getting lost here. Okay. Let's talk about Target Renegade. <laughs> no, how no. about, uh... Oh. That game sucks. <laughs> you suck. There's a fighter! Let's talk it's about, stupid. uh... Actually, Fish oh. oh, I love that game. <laughs> the greatest game ever made. What? Deadly Trop... Uh, Deadly Trop... Deadly Towers. <laughs> daily Towers. Or Daily Tropics. Star, Star Towers. Uh, no, not over there, you stupid idiot. How big is this whale? Big? Yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> He's got a b bunch of blackness inside of him. Whoa, racist, dude. No, racist. look at all the... Uh, the yeah, don't get the, uh, don't get the epic beard guy over here. <laughs> yeah. no, no, you don't. You stop. Zip that. <laughs> 
You do this. This game should have. Uh, it should be like uh, Carmen San Diego, where it says you're on the right track. Should <laughs> let you. I never played that game. It's it's not worth playing. <laughs> <laughs> I remember on uh, I remember on Conan O'Brien they did a segment where where in the building is huh, Andy Richter. <laughs> Yay! I love Conan. Conan. Oh, oh Conan. Conan, Conan the comedian. <laughs> Hopefully coming soon to Fox. <laughs> Hopefully. Well. Yeah. <coughs> coming soon to the S2K. Nah. Hey. We're here with Conan O'Brien. Hey guys, how you doing? Along with the masturbating bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, wrong thing I'm doing. <laughs> wrong theme. <laughs> but anyway. Wow, I think oh, this is God. I think this is the greatest part of Star Traffic so far. Oh, what was that? Ah, okay, because I forgot there's a uh that little uh, thing in the water where you can go through it and go under the under an obstacle. I can't explain. Ah. It sounds like babies. <laughs> yes, yeah, the lighter. It's the magical Zippo. <laughs> what? That was a big lighter. It's like a beer case. <laughs> or like a thing where you keep the cooler. Yeah. <laughs> Easy now, we guy. <laughs> we need beer. <laughs> What was that? I failed at doing Scrooge McDuck again. He's Irish. Not a beer, laddie. I thought he was Scottish. You're trying Scottish. to sound like Star Soldier. Scottish, whatever. It's like a, a big Scro difference. Scrooge <laughs> McStar Soldier. Yeah. <laughs> Let's build a fire. Set your raft on fire. That's a fire. <laughs> oh, crap. Man, they get blowed. <laughs> 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 Looks like they're smoking a bunch of weed or something. That's a big, big cloud right there. Big white yeah. cloud. Okay, now we're making the whale <laughs> 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 out. And munchies. Yeah. yeah, now the whale is hungry. And they land conveniently on a small island. And they don't, and they don't break their bones. I promise never to smoke again. <laughs> hey, Jay, man. <laughs> Say, you know what would be great after that long, arduous journey? A doobie. <laughs> <laughs> to wind okay. down. To wind that down. letter. The marble red. Mm, the letter that flavor. <laughs> Shut it. The, the, the letter that they're talking <laughs> yeah. about. The letter that they're talking about right there is the actual letter that came with the actual game, actual cartridge inside the box. You can dip it in water and see Dr. J's message on how to get this ship started right here. Oh. Uh, enter the right frequency number. I think some YouTubers demonstrate that. Happy video game, dude. Yes. Some YouTubers showed that on where they put the letter, the actual letter in the water, and I forgot the frequency, and I don't have the letter in the water. So how am I going to get past this part? Oh, well, you go to YouTube and find YouTube. it. YouTube. <laughs> or Game and Packs. Walk through. And here's the frequency. Seven forty-seven. Oh, should be sixty-nine. Oh. <laughs> Easy, we got. Easy, bear. <laughs> Did y'all switch roles this blow. weekend tonight? <laughs> yeah. No, You're I'm You're gonna just... blow. <laughs> I'm so angry I could blow. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a quick chapter. Now we're at chapter 5. Captain Bell? Oh, that chapter was really, um... Yeah. <laughs> Captain Taco Bell. <gasps> Where? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Don't shoot the villagers. Bell Only kill them. <laughs> How many types of cola are there? This is Sea Island, so... I want Coca-Cola. When are we gonna find that? <laughs> this is Sea ah! Island, so where's the sea section at? Oh, uh... see that? <laughs> that? That kid's gonna be the guy. No, not the guy, the hero. Did you see him? I wanna be a hero! <laughs> not us. <laughs> That's awesome. Great reference for the way. I wanna be the guy. I wanna be the hero. <laughs> I want to be the guy. What was that song from, uh... <laughs> what does... <laughs> what was that song from Beastmaster 2? The ending song? I want to be a hero! It's... Oh, yeah, that old 80s song. Yeah. I'm holding out for a hero. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bear, look, it's a little naked kid. Where, where? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. 
was weird. Now the juice bag lets me in. Cause you gotta talk to everybody first. Why? Whoa. Oh. Okay, wow. so I'll show Bob now. <laughs> yeah. uh. Or I think it's Screech. Yeah, it's Screech with the. <laughs> it's a French guy. He's got the uh, Pringles mustache. Is that Screech ripoff from uh, Majora's Mask? Oh yeah. Oh that. Oh, that guy. guy. I don't know who's more annoying, him or Tingle, or Tinkle, whatever. His name is. <laughs> Tingle. <laughs> I can I can laugh like him because Tingle's a pedophile. I can't stand that. Oh, I can't stand Tingle. This is Screech before he did that uh, celebrity boxing. <laughs> tingle. <laughs> oh, Tingle. <laughs> I feel a bit tingly. <laughs> Follow me on Tingle. In the pants region. <laughs> Tingle. Oh yeah, that's a new website. Tingle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, tingle Tropics. <laughs> Feel a little tingle in your pants. <laughs> oh man. Ah! And the bird we're not talking until you give the bird a worm. <laughs> give him a worm. <laughs> Damn, it looks big as shit on the world over map. He's, uh, he's almost mutant. That's a teaser for the next LP. Worm, turn to the center of the earth. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, no, you... It, oh. Rob loves you. Shut up, Bob. All right, <laughs> here we go. Bob wants We gotta go castle. Oh. <laughs> you gotta stop referencing that. Hard. <laughs> Hard oh. as ice. Vanilla. Okay, I think Bear's favorite uh, Mega Man character is the Mega Man 3. Hard Man. Yeah, hard Man. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> mine's in the uh, the hacked ones. Uh, Cock Man. <laughs> Rooster Man. Rooster Man. <laughs> His entire level is based on Chippendales. <laughs> Rooster, it'd be like Rooster Man, you got Cock Shooter. <laughs> Mr. Big Man. Cock Man. See, now you got me talking dirty. Bad influence. Dirty Ron. <laughs> The cock knocker. <laughs> All right, we will see you guys in part ten. For more I don't know what you guys talking about? No, my name's not Nestor, you idiot. All right, until part ten. God bless and take care. Yeah. See ya. Bye. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> My mom says I'm good. <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow! My mother approves. Whoa! That is yours. <laughs> no, your mom. Oh, wow! You, you know I straight up doing your mom! Doing your mom! Doing... Okay, this video's been removed for copyright infringement. Yep. Or we're gonna have to pay them too. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, it's being straight up retarded. <laughs> yeah. No, that's just you. That's why we lost two subscribers in the past few days. <laughs> I blame we guy. <laughs> I blame yeah. Bear. Stupid journey to silliness. No one cares about it. Nah. -uh. Stupid, stupid, stupid <laughs> cock jokes. <laughs> yeah, journey to syphilis. <laughs> cock jokes. <laughs> it's you getting lost all the time. Now here we go, <laughs> Captain Bell's memorial. Whoa. Now I love the song in this part of the game, it's pretty eerie. Okay, and this is where I uh play the piano. So here's Dude, Doe. You're a pianist. <laughs> or do. Me. Do. Do me. <laughs> <laughs> so um. and Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Dot 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 dot. Do. Oh, um, go. <laughs> now I can enter the stairs over there. I target Renegade on the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> no. How about some Mega Man. Renegade music. No, how about some Mega Man 2? There you go. It's overrated. <laughs> Your mom's overrated. Nah. Your father's overrated. She wasn't last night. <laughs> oh. You no, got a big heart. That's what she said, uh, uh Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I can use the sh shooting star press power again. Yeah, the shitting star <laughs> press power. <laughs> now I'm playing as Billy Kidman now. Oh, the shitting star? Billy and, I'll, <laughs> and, I'll be, and now I'll be playing as a Wii guy. <laughs> Wait. You're gonna no, be playing with Wii guy? No, no one plays with me, I play with myself. Wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> now you're playing with power. <laughs> I don't get it. Of course you don't. Oh, you're gonna get it, all right. <laughs> get it up the butt. Hard. No. Get it up the butt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, up the butt. <laughs> okay, this part right here. Uh, I gotta find out which is the switch tile, and I better hurry up. <laughs> Oh, I had a joke, but I can't say it. Okay, uh, uh, I don't see the, uh, what? Nasty joke would be in this part. It's not a nasty joke. Oh, you failed. Well, I had to commit suicide. And dang it, I lost my yo-yo power. <laughs> Another joke I can't say. <laughs> okay. Because if I did, this video would have to be flagged and removed. You said commit suicide. <laughs> 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 Hey, Yogi. Uh -huh. Hey, Boo Boo. <laughs> this is smarter than you ever been. See what's about yeah. picking the basket? <laughs> Guys, you're gonna make uh, Ibido mad. Ooh. Okay, now I now know what to do right here. There we go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. ECW. Jump, jump, <laughs> slide, slide. <laughs> oh, look out. Indiana Jones. Yep. Indiana Jones ripped off this game. Do 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 Atheist amazing. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna start a channel. Yeah. The I'm gonna start my own channel, The Amazing Christian. <laughs> Have an e war with Amazing Atheist. <laughs> this YouTube name has already been taken. <laughs> oh. Probably has. <laughs> oh, the snakes are green now. They're normal snakes now. Ah. Oh, wait, no, all the snakes are green. Hey. Yeah. Okay, it said plus two. What 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 does that do? Got two extra lives. Plus two size. Oh, sweet. <laughs> two plus inches. <laughs> <laughs> Wide. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look out. It's a trap! Oh, it's like, uh, Super it's Mario. Super yeah. It's a tarp. Ah! <laughs> what the? I'm trying to remember where to go here. Ah! Grr! Grr! <laughs> well, I can't- Ah! Well, I can't jump in midair and move at the same time like you can in part two, but... Well, so does revenge. Here. Uh, there we go. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Shut up, you retarded baby. <laughs> One star. <laughs> One star rating. <laughs> One heart rating. <laughs> Three heart. What on Valentine's Day? What on Valentine's Day? YouTube did that to where the star rating system down there was the hearts instead. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Just to be cute. Oh, it's gonna make the swastika. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where's the, where's the freaking, uh, button? Hurry! Switch. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Uh, ouch! Bowling ball! Oh. Set yeah, and split. I'm not on the <laughs> bug. That's hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. Oh, I'm not in part. Ah, stick patrols. Alright. <laughs> honestly, didn't even think, I honestly didn't even think about that till somebody laughed. We all laughed. Uh, uh, your mom uh, laughed. I know the good mom jokes, they're not working anymore. I'm not doing your mom! Doing your mom. Uh, your mom I'm gonna, likes I imagine you're gonna flag this video if you do one more your mom joke when it gets out. <laughs> this video has been removed by the SSK? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> This video, <laughs> this video has been removed by Rumble. <laughs> Metallic silver balls of steel. This video has been has been flagged by Flaggets. Flaggets. Six Flaggets. <laughs> yeah, I got a joke. I'm gonna say, but never mind. Who? <laughs> I think, I think we finally got worn out with the old jokes and laughter here. I think we're getting tired already. Your mom likes them being green. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, your mom is... Your mom. Your mom is so predictable. This was good luck for you overusing your mom jokes. Yeah. A little green ball. I've green heard of blue ball balls, ball. but I've never heard of green balls. Boo. <laughs> uh, you deserve ball. to die for that. <laughs> There's a dirtiest, dirtiest video on this channel. Oh yeah. Now we just gotta throw some dirt on it first. Journey to, journey to dirtiest. <laughs> boo. That's, that's boo. That sucks. Even that. Oh, two souls now. Watch out! They're gonna flag the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot flags at me. <laughs> Red flag. Yeah. Flag. Pwned. ECW. Okay, and we're gonna stop right here before we get to part 11 in the next video. Duh. No, the next video is gonna be part 12. <laughs> God bless. Take care. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Welcome to part 11. What are you laughing at? We haven't even talked. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, part 11, Tay. Or have you say 11 in Spanish? This oh, is say. Yeah. <laughs> this is Ron Moore, along with J Man. Bayer and we gal 309. We got we guy we guy son of a bitch. <laughs> anyway, oh, wait, um, pause. And here we go. We found a ghost here, so we can get past this room. I oh, uh, ghost power. investigators. <laughs> ghost. <Yeah. laughs> we are joined by Ray Gamer. How's yeah. it going? Hey, uh, pretty good. Uh, uh, so what's up this plagiarism? What a shitload of fire. <laughs> 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 Alright, um, oh, oh, watch out for the Indiana Jones, uh, spikes. Yeah. Well, this wasn't like Indiana Jones, there's no sp wooden spikes coming up from the floor. Shut up. Oh, <laughs> it should have been. Oh, <laughs> that would have been, that would have made for oh. a good movie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fail. Yeah, well, your mom failed at failing. <laughs> so that means she won. Yeah. Yeah, what? Oh. Anyway, uh. I think Star Soldier said in the previous video, this game's beginning to be more and more like Indiana Jones. 
Oh! All you need is a damn whip. <laughs> well, I got speared. Britney speared. <laughs> Get it? No. Okay, now uh, we got purple bowling balls here. Purple balls, blue balls, black balls, all kind of balls down here at Star Tropics. Sticky balls. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy balls. A nice result. Oh my god. Oh! oh. You and your ECW hacks. Play the damn game like a real gamer, you fat. You, you pack you of cigarettes? Yeah, like uh, 80 uh, fruit roll ups or something. Bundle of sticks? Yeah, your bundle of, ci your bundle of cigarettes. Yeah, bundle of fags. England ain't nothing but a place full of bundle of sticks. Garden oh. ain't nothing but sticks and hoes. <laughs> <laughs> sticks and hoes. Okay, now I gotta activate that water mill over there, whatever it is, to make the water, uh, water. <laughs> the water, oh. water. <laughs> Watch out for the Uno, water. Uno. Dos. Eat thrice. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, Pluto. Oh, no. We're uh, not racially Pluto? insensitive. <laughs> oh, Ronnie Costa's there. I said Pluto. Uh-huh. Pluto. Ay, ay, ay. Plinko. <laughs> Plinko. Well, well. Okay, well, now they're playing uh, Land of Tizzy here. Oh, I don't know what that is. Sounds like the opening uh, music before you play uh, great basketball for the Sega Master System. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, when you pick your country. Uh, I forget. Old reference that no one cares, probably knows about. Um, Sounds like the beginning uh, of uh, Double Dribble. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Home <laughs> Double Wow, you've done it again. Oops, I've done it again. <laughs> well done, kid. Well done. And that's yeah. the end of Chapter Cinco. Now we go to Chapter Cease. What's yeah, the deal with being, ceasefire. Being, being Spanish lately? Ceasefire. <laughs> it's safe. The, that's, yeah, that's, the end, that's the end of Chapter Sink. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Boo. Oh, shut up. <laughs> now this you is know the... what? You, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you jackass. <Whoa. laughs> oh, go F yourself, you fat Canadian. Yeah. I will find you and fuck your shit up. <laughs> yeah, really, I, I got scared that night. I was like, whoa. Yeah. Watch out for whoa. Jeff. Yeah, I'll well, shit your fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, chapter six here is kind of a maze. You gotta find uh, Dr. J by... Uh, Dr. J, man. Oh. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the name of that? Dr. Uh, Chaos? Oh. Dr. Gadget. Man's, Wait. Man's favorite game. Now, he's supposed to enter anything right here. I'd hit up and down, and are you, I think that's just the best with you. Are you Captain are N, you the a, Game Master? Yeah. Are you a Game What's, Master? Game Master. Are you a Happy Master? What? Bear, bear is. <laughs> he's a Game Master. Guilty. <laughs> Holy guilty ass child. Now we're talking to Dr. Wally here. Huh. Mega Man. I swear I'm <laughs> I'm innocent this time. I turned a new leaf. <laughs> yeah, poison ivy leaf. <laughs> All these people are old. Old fucks. What's the deal with <laughs> old people? Why don't they just die? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> You still live till like 49. That time he goes, the older people get, the bigger their cars get. <laughs> smaller. Okay, never mind. Older, older the age, smaller the older bear for the Okay, now, <laughs> now this is uh, we better really find make up some commentary to do here because this is gonna be like a long process to where I get freaking lost and. Uh, Hit long. No, that's never happened. Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, how often do I... I usually know what I'm doing in this game. This time, I don't. I know, man. This is going to be rare. <laughs> yeah, rare as in the company yeah, rare. They made Donkey Kong. Rare as in... Oh, you oh, son of a damn bitch. It. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> You're just mad because it's not Tim Fullion. Yeah. <laughs> David Wise. This song was made by uh, John McCoy. Yeah, yeah, that's John, a random name, John but it's made up. I don't know. It's why he, uh, you don't know. John McClane. John, Mc John, John McCain? McClane? John McCain. <laughs> John McCain. Hi, <laughs> right, this is John McCain. 
What you gonna do with my thousands of bikini nights for a mod on you? Yeah, that sounds like Star Soldier in like 20 years. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Star Soldier! <laughs> oh, 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 yeah! From, from, uh, from the uh, nursing home. <laughs> he, he lost his voice, so he used a computerized voice. Hey, Star Soldier here. Hey, hey, hey. Get with it. Jason, relax, Jason. <laughs> Jason, Jason still sounds the same. <laughs> Hey, look, we fly. Oh, oh, don't be so good when we fly. He's in that George McFly. <laughs> We're getting lost, yeah. McFly. <laughs> Come on, McFly. Think, McFly. Think. Biff. <laughs> Son of a Biff. I'm going to the dance, oh, Grandpa. But... <laughs> what are you, douchebag? Mother Biffer. <laughs> Ooh, All tomato. right. Whoa, what is? Oh, I got a big apple. I got a New York. Yeah, it's I want to be the guy. <laughs> okay, well, what was what? What did that do? Yeah, it's like the uh, cigarettes and Metal Gear. Oh yeah, apples Bag. don't work, so please don't eat. What? They're fags in Metal Gear. <laughs> fags. Ah, uh -uh, Dad, <laughs> dang it, Dad! Every time you get Garsh, in the darn submarine, it. you got you got to deal with this consarnet yeah. thing. <laughs> Ah, uh, con motherfucking sarnet. <laughs> hey, corn syrup. <laughs> corn shag. Ah, uh, oh, corn uh, shag it. Shag my corn. corn. Baby. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, shag my corn, baby. Oh. Uh, oh. Hey, uh. uh what? God all right, all right big heart. All right. Da -na -na -na. You got a big heart, Skip Rogers. Yes, I get the yo-yo power again. Tommy Smothers, awaken! Yeah. <laughs> You've got a big heart. You and have I'm... big balls. She's got big balls. And but we've got the, got biggest, the biggest balls, balls of, the of them all. Ball. Suck my balls. <laughs> oh great! Now Charlie, actually... Charlie's gonna comment again. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> well, we, he said you he... said big balls. <laughs> <laughs> Easy now. <laughs> there's actually a wrestler. There was actually a wrestler in the old school ECW named Balls Mahoney, and he had that intro song. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not kidding. He had balls to the wall, and in his later years, he had balls to the ground. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Now, now it was all, and they sank. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> sank. Corpses. <laughs> Each commentator on this channel gets more nastier and nastier. Nasty. I remember video game stupid sending a PM saying, I know you guys frown upon foul language, so I'll try not to curse. If I'm, if I'm ever, if I'm well, I'm like, what? Uh, well, what, what videos have you watched lately? Right? <laughs> Every video this channel is cursing. <laughs> Rules are always made to be broken. Yeah. So screw uh, your our, our restricted <laughs> ratings, Ron. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not rating you guys. You used to rate me. Rate uh, me, rate me, rate me. Oh, uh, you used to rape him. <laughs> yeah. like, like the, like the I rape a gamer. Yeah. No. Oh, <laughs> well, you rape, you rape all his ideas from uh, AVGN. Yeah. <laughs> Who's African? <laughs> he got all his ideas from Abgen. <laughs> can't breathe. AVGN antivirus. <laughs> Take your inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Screw you, Harley. Dude, screw attack you. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, dang, I would've been in here. Well, what a surprise. I went to the same place I was before. I've never done that before in any of my videos. Oh, no shit. Never. No, never. <laughs> Welcome to Super Metroid. <laughs> <laughs> Part 85. Yeah. Part lost. <laughs> Part fail. <laughs> yeah, I think as we uh, got we... to uh, catch his breath here, we're gonna come to a close here in part 11, hey? But well, we see you guys in part 12. Okay. So with that said, until then, let's God bless and take let's care. Let's point at the yes. ending. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See ya. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that wrestler was. Oh wait, we're recording. Um, uh, welcome back to part 12. Of Star Trek, where we talk about wrestling. This is Ron Moore along with Bayer 13 and We Gal 419. Oh, shut up with that. Ooh, We Gal so sexy. How about Ouija? Oh, yeah. Ouija and he uploads, he uploads the best soundtracks. <laughs> of course I do. 
<laughs> it's a variety. Forget Chrono Trigger soundtrack, folks. Check out We Guys Crash Dummy soundtrack video. Oh man, watch out. The Incredible Crash Dummy oh, on the NES by uh, Geofolian, brother of Tim Folian, who is composed of godly soundtracks. He's a dummy from making that soundtrack. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no. Hey, that's like the best part of the game. It's an LG. He's a game, dummy right? for being brawler. <laughs> Well, at least that's the best okay. part of the game, because really it's an LJN game, and it did actually really suck. <laughs> this is the best You're an LJN game. game. You're an LJN. Laughable, jocker, newbies. <laughs> and I'm going in circles here. I thought I knew where I was going. Apparently I don't. It's a maze. It's a maze. Willie Maze. Oh, Willie Maze. oh Bear, I got, I got the perfect thing for you of what you would think LJN is. Lick Joker's nuts. <laughs> or Joker's well, nuts. No, oh, okay. I did not want to hear that. Um, hey, Bear said talk not about me. that. Okay, to, to talk about those things is one thing. To actually do sound effects of it, oh, man. Yeah, Bear. <laughs> I mean, it's bad Easy enough now, just, to get the mental image in my head, then I have to actually hear it. Oh. <laughs> okay, anyway, change, Easy the now, man. change the subject real quick. I have to turn to Master Hand here. So you gotta stay on topic as I get close to find the uh, Dr. J signal, and uh, there's a big hole. That's what she said. <laughs> I was waiting for something. Oh, wait, I was waiting for a comment. Um, all right, now we go to an underground uh, cave story. Underground hole in the water. All right, so I guess it's you're Dr. J signal. Kind of walking like Marmy Fly from Back to the Future for the NES a little bit. Okay, now it's not. Um, <laughs> at least the Crash Dummy soundtrack is better than the Back to the Future soundtrack for the NES. I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. I like that one, the Back to the Future. Me too. As far as Ron is concerned. All right. Now, finally, in a cave in Chapter Six. Unless you've been living in a cave, this is Star Tropics. Yeah, okay, I failed. Uh, failed segue. Um, I'm living in the cave. Cave Lobster! <laughs> oh yeah, Cave Lobster. Alright, now... Now you can jump high... Or higher. Farther. You got the, these uh, feather boots here. They only last for one room, but that's okay. I can jump farther? What? <laughs> Ooh, I zone. can jump farther. They look purple. Yes, we all know you can jump. But, uh, yeah, okay, you yeah, have a purple, my bad. Which means the thing. <laughs> Bundle of sticks. <laughs> we need some new gimmicks. Ah, oh, dang it! You're a I forgot. <laughs> I, didn't have, I, didn't have, I didn't have the feather boots anymore. I forgot. I kept thinking I had them. <laughs> Even though I just said you can only use them once. If you get into the habit, you gotta watch out. By instinct, you don't think you're still happy. You gotta go with the opposite instinct, just like George Costanza did. <laughs> Lols. Actually, my baby's mother stepped into the room, and she's crying, so I gotta go. Why do you have to go? <laughs> it's a joke. I know. Stop taking care of this, so seriously. I'm going along. So serious. Jeez. Why so serious? Why are you I going? I should have <laughs> said that for the Return of the Jogger, uh, uh, commentary. I'm pretty sure somebody said that. No, I'm the first one that said that he's a ledger god for me. <laughs> Return of the Conqueror, Joe yes, Conqueror. Yes, we get it. You already did that in the other in, in in the playthrough already. You have to think of new creative stuff now. Yeah. You can't use like Star Trek. <laughs> Shut the okay, fuck like up. This. Think of something creative like this right here. I'm sh I'm uh, using my yo-yo here against some octopuses. Octopuses. Where's that octopusy? <laughs> no, not the, not the James Bond movie. Now you gotta destroy all these octopuses right here, and then uh, get through the door. If you can figure out which square to, to hopscotch on. Here is square. Butterscotch? What? <laughs> butterscotch. I, I hate butterscotch. I know. That's why it's funny, because it's true. <laughs> Ignore the uh, old Windows 
messenger you hear in the game right there. Someone decided to sign in while I was recording. How come you're still on it? <laughs> well, it's hard to get off. But it's, hard, it's it. hard to get. That's what she said. It's hard to get off of it. <laughs> I was talking about drugs. I know. And we got talking about pussy. No, I'm talking about. Hey. Yes, what's your galore? Yes, I'm talking about cats. Yes, cats. Join the zombies! Oh yeah, that's, that's just a great pussy. You are. <laughs> What's the galore? I do so many, I do so many things to that pussy. <laughs> You're getting raped, Ron. Octo pussy. What? Getting raped. Man, I wish this wasn't ECW mode. I'd like to see you actually take lives. Play the game like a man! You are a man! Well, I'm not a man, so I can't do it. So you're a woman? Ron's a woman. Yep, and he took from me. It's just a beat. So what if I'm a woman? Would you like me differently? Don't be sexist. I'm not sexist. I'm just saying that the Ron we know as a man is actually a woman. I'm just a sexist boy. Sexist boy! For being such a sexist, that <laughs> is called... He was born with a vagina. <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah, we got... You're, so you're, you're a sexist... Just you're just sexist just racist. Oh, that just... Oh, speaking gone. of... <laughs> that looks like an anus. <laughs> Wait for Bear to say something here. I said it first. I don't think we need to. I think we we know. Yeah, I don't think we need to say nothing here. I think it speaks for itself. It's an anus shooting green. Wait for Master Hand to get the call now. <laughs> we can always see the sphincter. Master Hand to get the call here. It's a sphincter. So anyway, Crazy Hand, uh, you fight a, a giant vagina with spikes. Uh, shut up, Crazy Hand. <laughs> shut what up, is this alien syndrome up. here? I never played that game. You're not missing much. <laughs> I know, I'm not. But I'm just it's, saying. Uh, I think the arcade version looks pretty good. Yeah. Oh, you fool. <laughs> See, the reason why I'm playing this in cheating our ECW mode is because I can't get through this game it's without it. This game is hard, yeah? This game is hard, and I want to <laughs> really get through this awesome game to show, you know, our viewers the whole game. Or at least do commentary throughout this whole game. It's how awesome it is. So I, ha I have to resort to cheating. So uh, I guess we can understand So we can still. see more green assholes shooting <laughs> shit at us. <laughs> what? Oh, man, that's wrong. You played the happy music. Dun, 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 you beat the boss. Now you can leave. Dun, dun, the cave. And then, oh, I'm in another part of the cave here. Thanks a lot, Nintendo, for getting my hopes up. I fight these freaking uh, starfish. The cave. Welcome to the cave of rape. Uh, reap? Rape. Reap, reap a magnetar? Oh god, shut up. Well, okay. <laughs> shut up. What am I supposed to do right here? Okay, um... Don't know how I'm supposed to get that. Jump. Just jump into the water. Maybe a brick will appear. Or, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Probably will. Let's see. I'm afraid to. <laughs> um... Nope. No, okay, no. <laughs> Oh, come on, now he couldn't grab the ledge of that right there and then climb on it. Remember, this is 2D. Overhead 2D. So? Well, you know, this is in the future. 2D, it's overhead 2D. <laughs> so? So shut up. <laughs> so? And let's all shut up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, oh, this game is great. I don't know, just, just saying a comment. Shut up. I, I got you. to shut up. Good line. Shut your mouth and talk to me. <laughs> shut up while talking to me. So, so, oh, say, say one more thing. Say one more thing. I'll come for you. Oh, well, can't come for you. I'm gonna drown all the time. Ew. <laughs> no, <it's good. laughs> come. <laughs> Get game over right here. As uh, um, that yes, oh, that is. Uh, yeah, as I fail, and uh, we will Mike. see you guys in part 13 way. Until then, God care and take bliss. See ya. See ya. Later. Hurry up. Your mother. And welcome back to part th 13. Part, th th part 13 of Let's Play Star Tropics. This is Ron Moore along with DeadFan94. Woohoo. At what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? <laughs> or 93. DeadFan1993. Uh, I, assume, I assume that's the year, year you were born? Yeah. 
That's the not year bad. I was born. Um, uh, contrary to popular belief, I was not born in 1991. That's just part of the nickname I've always had, and I just died again. Fail. Because I thought I had the, the freaking feather boots, and I you forgot to switch wings of Icarus. And when you switch rooms, you uh, don't have it no more. They can't hit you when you switch rooms. Yeah, well, you can still die when you switch rooms and think you have the freaking feather boots. Yeah. Can I get those feather boots, man? Yeah. Dang, fighting these freaking... I don't know what the heck those things are. Giant meat and snails? I... Mm, that's not the question. Okay, let's not fail this time. Yeah, really. I failed this part on how many times? Okay, welcome to part 16 while I'm still here. This is Ron Moore. No. <laughs> there we go. Epic. Right, let's see what this other treasure chest contained. Skip well, Rogers yelling at the screen right now. Get the treasure chest, it's full of gems! No, this isn't Wizards and Warriors. A baseball. Yeah, now you, now you use baseball as a weapon. Uh, of course, it makes sense in real life that would hurt. And a and an afro comb apparently. And, yeah, wow. when you use afro comb as ECW, check this out. Or cleats, same uh, thing. Yeah. ECW, ECW. All right, just meet the snail now. I love the catchy music in this game. I think those are like crustaceans that found their home in a snail shell. Yeah. Because for some odd reason, they do that. I wonder why I turn brown when I get the leather boots. Did I just crap myself with excitement after I got the leather boots or what? Hmm, probably. You know, flying that high in the air makes people do stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, now I'm finally progressing in this game. Ow. We're making some notable progress. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, wow. Talk about... Uh, Talk about hopscotch on crack. He has to say, uh, the hopscotch from hell. Nah, never mind. I can't think of how to describe this. The hopscotch, hopscotch room from hell. Hopscotch room from hell. That's on crack and Valium and four other drugs that I don't know the names to. Ah, oh, crap. That weapon... I mean, you can only use it to hit. Okay, are we playing as this kid with the yo-yo now, or are we playing with Liu Kang? Come on. <laughs> That'd be cool. Use the Sega uh, 32X thing and add some characters in this game. Yeah. Um, well, I wonder if one of these has a switch on it. I forget it. I'm not going to jump on every single tile. Let's move on. That's a schoolgirl's job. Yeah, we have a life to live here. I ain't got time to do all that. <laughs> Purple snakes. Purple snakes! Snakes! Respond. Snake! Snake! Oh, wow. Uh, Vinner22 is calling me as a new commentary now, so I have to wait a minute as I fight this uh, face from the Mummy Returns or wherever it came from. I'm out. It's the Easter Island head from Night at the Museum. I haven't seen that movie, but dang, I can't start. The reference don't mean nothing to me. Um, I think it's awesome. It was my favorite character in the entire movie. Part one or two? Uh, the first one. Okay. I never saw the second one. So you throw baseballs in his mouth to uh, pwn it. Home. I'm on your last ball, too. Yeah. Alright, happy music. Did I actually get through the tunnel this time? Yes. You've done it again. Good job. Refrain from resetting the emulator. Alright, now, on to find Dr. J. Dr. J. I love this eerie music. It's almost like the the uh, labyrinth theme from 
Zelda 1, except with a better melody. Is that the, uh, that, uh, that theme? Is that the castle, the dungeon theme? Yeah, dungeon, that's what I meant to say. Uh-huh. Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Labyrinth Zone, Act 1. Yeah, I think of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, this yeah, is nothing yeah. like Labyrinth Zone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. This theme song was also, right here, was also used in uh, Chapter 5, where you're in Captain Bell's grave. Captain Belgar? Yeah. And, uh, so yeah. Well, now I think, I feel like I'm playing that maze game that's built into the Sega Master System now, where you play as that snail. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. If, I want to have a, a ROM for that. It's actually a game built into the Master System. Ooh, where heart you, capsule. Where you can, uh, you gotta hit a certain command of buttons, and, uh, all of a sudden, the Sega screen would slowly scroll to the left and it'll take you to this maze game. It's a secret I found out by accident when I was a kid. And it had to have no, no cartridges in the system either. It's like a built-in game. Sega, man. They knew what they were doing. Yeah. And unlike me right now, because I don't know where I'm going or what to do next. Our segways are uncanny. <laughs> yeah. Speaking, yeah. Speaking of Star Tropics... Look at this part. Oh yeah, nice segue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Star Tropics, I'm a big star in this game. Look what I'm doing. Speaking of Star Tropics, I happen to live in the tropics. <laughs> Speaking of Star Tropics, is a tropical depression. Okay, that's enough. Yeah. Star Tropical Depression. Yeah, I just want. I want to name this video that. Well, there you go. It's a big what rock. Is this big rock. It looks like metal melted by some great heat. Yeah, the, yeah, when you tell me that? Some strange cipher is inscribed here. Question mark, question mark, question mark. But you can't read it. Thanks for wasting my time. Uh, oh, I got it. Yeah, it says... It's the uh, giant from Jack and the Beanstalk. He dropped his bowling ball through the clouds. <laughs> Alright, now another tunnel. A game with endless tunnels. Fight blue mice, mouse, mouse, mouses, mices, mice. I think you got it right the first time. It's mice. Once again, you cannot have a video game without bats. You be playing Tetris. I'm surprised Tetris don't have bats. Okay. Uh. Well. Tetris maybe, with bats. Imagine that. Uh. Yo, uh, Jobby Batty. Huh? Yeah. Bat shit insane. <laughs> All right, Batman. 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 Yeah, people check out Return of the Joker LP on the channel. Shameless plug. Um, Shameless plug. Okay, well, I don't know what to do here. I don't either. So, I guess I... Uh, well, oh. Ah! Oh, again, trapped. It's Mind tra games. You think you made it? <laughs> nope, trapped again. It's a trap. It's a tarp. It's a tarp. Layer tent. Uh, yeah. well, let me go back up here. I think I may have figured out something. Pull the string, Ron. Pull the string. Well, as I fight the bats again, stay dead. Man. Pull the string. I make sure I got every cover, every uh, inch of the wall. To see if I missed any uh, hidden. Uh, hidden passageways, and, and we're through that. The little cherries with pneumonia. <laughs> what? Points for reference, I guess. Well, you know, pneumonia turns you blue if you shiver. Jerry's kids? Yeah, Jerry's kids. They have pneumonia. Uh, they turn blue. I know pneumonia makes you turn blue. I know. Well, I did. They turn blue. Well, I did. <laughs> wow. As Green would say, "Wow, lols." Ha. Uh. By the way, Green, if you're listening, tell your baby brother to stop r running your life and do some more commentary with us. Yeah, dude. Move your ass. Yeah, I mean, what else is better in life than doing SC2K commentaries? Uh, nothing. Right. No matter, no matter what anybody says, don't listen to them. SC2K is where it's at. I tell you where it's not at, me not finding out where I'm going. Oh, terrible segue. Um... 
I want to sing the theme from Labyrinth here, but I don't know it, so... They don't have lyrics. <laughs> oh, you mean hum the tune? Yeah. I think it goes... Dun, 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 dun. Etc. Oh no, not Labyrinth Zone. Oh. <laughs> well, anyway, maybe we'll figure that out as we stop right here, and hopefully, I can figure out what to do in part fourteen. So Wikipedia. Until then, yeah, or YouTube. So until then, God bless and take care. Wikipedia. Welcome to part fourteen of Star Tropics. This is Ron Moore, along with Jman four sixty four one and. Whoa, well, it's just me, you this time. Me, you, 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 you me, you, you, what are you talking about? It's just me and you. Usually, it's, whenever it's me and you, is at least we got a bear with us. Well, not always, but usually. This time, yeah, we don't need those losers here anyway. No, I'm just kidding. Um, oh. Anyway. Now, uh, what was up with that big Hershey kiss there with uh, three holes in it? I don't know. Well, if you watch, uh, I think part thirteen, I, it was uh, something about. I don't know. I don't want to give any spoilers right now. <laughs> but uh, it's something where I, I can't read the cipher yet. So um, that's all I'm gonna say. I kind of want to spoil it for anybody that probably hasn't seen the rest of this game. Yeah, no spoilers. Maybe you'll find out shortly. You probably about part twenty. You'll find out. <laughs> twenty that's to right twenty-five. Here. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what to do right here. Go through the door. Oh. Yeah, and no, Never that's mind. not the secret because I've been here. No, okay, I, I thought I had that flashlight thing. I'm thinking, is there a ghost I have to kill to open up a secret passage or something? And I'm... Ugh, grr, so stuck right here. I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll kill some blue rats. I'll help me figure it out. <laughs> There it is. No, I was kidding. Um, and no, I've been to that room too. But let me go back in here and yeah, maybe there's a first. secret passageway in here. No, I've been in here and not failed to find anything new here either. So uh, let me try again. And make sure. Fail. Yeah, I'll shoot the wall with my yo-yo. That'll work. Yeah. And There's how you why. do it. You pause. <laughs> yeah, you pause. There you go. Use the Make a Man pause trick to get past this level. Let me go back out here and figure out what to do next. Um, you need. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Sweet. I knew it. I knew it. I just there we go. too stubborn to try new things sometimes. Why did I do that for? I could just jump off it to walk straight up there and get up there faster. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a hop, skip, and a jump away from beating this level. It's Whoa, hop, it's like uh, Freddy's fingernails. Yeah, nightmare on, not, nightmare on Sea Island. Yeah. Nightmare on Star Tropic Street. <laughs> no, um, oh, got a tiny star there. Whoa, it's like a, a Ninja Gaiden bonus weapon. Yeah, yeah sure can. Sure, sure can. Sure you can. <laughs> sure you can. Sure you can. <laughs> Come to that park it. Well, come on, secret button or whatever. Oh, it's got to be one of those. Oh, there oh, we go. Okay. <laughs> Waste of time. Could just run through the whole time. Watch out for the purple spike balls. Ow! Getting real lazy here because I realize I have ECW mode. Yeah, it's like what's the what's the need of uh, just fighting people or bats or whatever. Okay, let me see if there's any switches to jump on over here. Like I need those hearts. You need a lot of heart to be, to finish this game. Yeah. Okay, what was the point of that? 
nothing, just, so yeah, let's, let's move on. Probably for uh, non ECW players to uh, fuel up on life. Yeah. See, they're not ECW like I am because I'm hardcore. <laughs> well, actually, they're more ECW. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I'm just a, uh, 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 not plagiarizer, cheater. Yeah. Oh, now you got the, uh, the, the fuzz balls from Castlevania 3. Oh, man, you know what those do? When they hit you, you can't use your yo-yo for like five seconds. Uh, they're like those things in, uh, what was that, the, the Sega Genesis Castlevania game. No, I forgot, but I know, and like, I link to the past, I think. No, never mind, those things took your magic, but... Ah, f forget it. We don't know what we're talking about. Moving yeah, the, on. the thing in uh, the the Sega Genesis Castlevania game, I meant. Anyways. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, well. Anyway, um, let's see. You ah, have ah. the heart to die. Yes, you do. I knew it. Dang it, I lost my yo-yo power. No! Oh dang it, back to Freddy Krueger's room. Yeah. All these bats, this game's dropped me batty. Bear, boo. Uh, well, at least I know you now. Yeah. I want to kill all these snakes first for some reason. Oh, no, yeah, but the Chinese star, yeah, there you go. Oh, wait, I know what they're supposed to do, hold on. I think, let me see here. Now, why am I jumping on these tiles for when I know nothing's going to happen? Come on, Ronnie. How stupid are you? See, my sixth grade teacher's going to post a comment on this video. How stupid are you? This is stupid as you were in sixth grade. I, uh, I actually think you need to get the, uh, the new Mr. Billy Mitchell Hot Sauce controller. Oh, yeah. Then I can play this game with more ease. Absolutely. More ease CW. Yeah, from what I've heard is that controller actually has like a speaker built into it and it gives you epic tips and tricks while you're playing a game. So it's better than Skip Rogers' B-Shooter or uh, uh, the controller or whatever it was. Oh yes, absolutely. Wow. Okay, now I finally figured out the Chinese star. You can like, you shoot it and then you, then you hit the button again after it's shot and it's, it, it uh, spreads to the left and right. Yeah, it does a, uh, like a three-way. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now you got these little Ooh. miniature miniature baby Barney dinosaurs. Yeah. And you can't use a freaking Chinese star either when those things hit you. Talking about the, the fuzzy things. Freaking hey. glaucoma yeah. things. They're invincible like Boris. Yeah. Grr, watch it. Okay, let's not... Oh, that was stupid. Yeah. Let's try not to die here like an idiot again. It's freaking Goonies 2 room uh, <laughs> music. What? Room of death. Yeah. Ah! ah. There we go. Now you need the trigger. Okay. There you go. Yes. Sweet. Now, oh, mini boss. Who's this, E.T.? <laughs> What the heck is that? It's like, um... I don't know. Crawdad, man. It's just like a mutant Mr. Miyagi. It's like, uh, mutant cricket. Danielson! <laughs> like, um, alien syndrome. Yeah. Okay, now why did the towel have to appear over there? Oh. Yes! <laughs> plus two. Plus two what? Two lives. Oh, like you need those. Yeah, really. But you still must play the game like a real champion, even though you're cheating. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I know. No, yeah, see, no, get, I play those let's, hearts. Let's but, get those pointless hearts. <laughs> yeah, see, but look, I have, like, low energy. Why isn't it filling up? <laughs> Stupid. Stupid game genie. I mean, ECW mode. Yeah. This thing's up here. Oh, yeah, as we guy would say. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I wish they play the game like a man. Um, lols. Oh, uh, that was a mixture of green and we got there. The little child. Um, what the heck is this? I don't know. It's like a like Groundhog's Day. 
freaking groundhog and predator. Like it's just reappearing and appearing, and you can see it, and you can't kind of see it. I, I, more fruit flies. I yeah. Said it slowly because almost cursed. More, Kill him. More. There you flies. go. <laughs> oh, hit him! <laughs> Dude, do what? F you! F you! Do what? It should be a tutorial on how to not fight bats. Oh, this is ridiculous. And here's what? how you not fight Batman. Yeah. Now I'm getting energy refill. Yeah. Finally! There we go. Stupid! Okay. Uh, oh no. More, oh, two uh, groundhogs. More, uh, yeah, w groundhogs, I guess. You oh, yeah, they, they, they do look like, uh, like groundhog predators. They look like something, not... Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Um, ah, Freddy yeah, Krueger's uh, in Airplanes flying overhead. Uh, <laughs> if it's not trains, it's airplanes. Trains, that's... planes, and then automobiles, too. Uh, for for anyone that ever wonders why there's not so many J-Man videos, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> and let's stop right here, and we will see you guys in part 15. Until then, God bless. Take care. See ya. Welcome to Star Tropics, part 15. This is Ron Moore, along with Deathman93. Hello. Okay, and yeah, this video has been recorded on April Fool, so. Hopefully you're having a good April Fool's Day. I'm not. That prank you pulled on me earlier was very mean. <laughs> well, I don't think uh, you're the only one to fall for that. I don't, know, I don't know if you're referring to the feud <clears throat> between me and J-Man or the other prank. The other prank. Uh, okay. You prick. <laughs> anyway, I'll watch out for these blurry glaucoma balls. They, they take away your ability to use your weapon for a few seconds, and it's real frustrating. Come on, man. Oh, that's a, how Stop many hits? into them. <laughs> well, I mean, I got ECW nope. mode. Who cares? Yeah, noob. ECW mode or not, there's no call for just running into them from behind. Yeah, it is when you're trying to vote. It's almost like it. you're trying to rape them in more ways than one. Well, maybe I am. Okay. Ronnie's secret life, everybody. <laughs> I'm trying to also avoid these things because you can't hit the mummies if they hit if they hit you. So, ah, see? Now I'm incapacitated for a few seconds. Freaking mummies die. I mean, how many hits? How many hits does it take to get to the center of a mummy? That was stupid. Um, three. Yeah, I think I go through the wall here. Yes, there we oh. go. Hot damn. More of these pointless bottles. I'm not sure what the heck these bottles are for. More of that annoying music. I think they refill your energy, I don't know. <sighs> I can tell them. This Goonies 2 music, <laughs> whatever you call it. Okay. Uh, more mutant Oh, cricket. spittle. Yeah, more uh, mutant cricket ETs or whatever you call them. With some sort of wide-ass Easter Island heads on them. They look like they look like green squinting over here. And... <laughs> <laughs> um, lols. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna spin around and attack you. Cause my baby brother keeps bothering me. Alright, that's enough. How many hits? Ridiculous! We're playing Indiana Jones for the NES. Last Crusade, wherever it was, took 20 hits to kill. We get a boss's energy to go down one notch. The engine. <laughs> okay, what the heck's going on here? Here's some boss battle music, but it's dark. Oh. 
Oh, that was... Oh, good one. Idiot. Good job, Ron. You suck. I thought there's a tower out right there. And... Ah, let's start here again. Here we go again. That was stupid. I thought there was a tile right there for some reason, and I found out the hard way there is not. Nope. I killed these mummies again. Kill them again, son. Kill them again. Ah, uh, glaucoma balls. Forget that. Let's go through here. Could have done that in the first place. <laughs> uh, more the, annoying music. Dead fans' favorite music. Sure, we got my old upload soundtrack. No. Nah. Remind me to kick we guys' ass. <laughs> I can mutant ETs again. I'm mutant ETs. Or ETs, I guess. No, we're not mutant, just alien. Something like that. Yeah. Be sure to check out Death Fans LP of ET for Atari 2600. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> yeah, you see, I own that game. Just let me through the door. <laughs> okay, good sirs, if you would be so kind as to die. I don't want to use safe states and stuff, because that's for sissies. But I'll use ECW mode. Combine the two and you're a wee guy. <laughs> well, hey, shut up, I'm a perfectionist. If you're a perfectionist, then why is your, um... Pamela volume down so low. <laughs> you're a perfectionist, um... Yeah, if you're a perfectionist, why are you grounded? No, uh... Ah, uh, yes. Now, this is where these Chinese stars really come in handy. As we hit the... Monster David Crockett faces. Use the ninjutsu, Ronnie-san. <laughs> Ronnie-san! Ooh, damn. ECW? Just like Hitler. <laughs> Alright, happy cave uh, defeated music. Happy, let's get the hell out of here music. Yeah, really. Back to this awesome eerie music. Where I'm probably gonna get lost again. If you get lost, it's your own damn fault. No, it's not. It's the game's fault because it's your fault. Hard. It's your fault. No, it's default. Ah, get it? Oh. Default. Default. Yeah, I remember playing WWF Warzone for the Nintendo 64, and whenever you didn't make your create a character, it would say, The Undertaker versus Default. I oh no, I, it's Default, the greatest wrestler ever. I think I might actually have that game somewhere. <laughs> ah. <laughs> now we're talking to Mr. Leahy. Uh. Um, points of reference? Um, sure. Oh, oh, it's his uncle. Finally. Wow. Been looking all over the game for you. Took like six, seven chapters. Yes, we've seen the big rock. Argonia. This kind of looks like a cutscene from Waxworks. All right. That totally went over my head. It's an old PC game. Oh. One of the creepiest games I've ever seen. It just didn't have this... bitch and 8-bit music. Oh. No, don't repeat it. Yes, repeat it. We have all day. Uh... Yeah. No. I don't want to. I will go to the alien spaceship and get them back. Shut up! You respond bravely. I will go to the spaceship and get them back! Yeah, stop it, Nintendo. I don't want to respond bravely to this prick. Oh, uh, yeah. See if he has anything new to say. Just curious. Did you eat the bananas out of your ears? No. What is that? Ah, crap! <laughs> Good job. Ah, uh, come on. Get rest your here. Let's... That's, uh, whatever they call it. Let's keep listening to Dr. J. <laughs> Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones! Look at Dr. Jones! <gasps> Ooh. Outside. 
finally were done with chapter 6. And now chapter 7, the alien spaceship. Yay. Finally gonna be at a part of the game where we're not on the island. Well, we're still on the island, but... Um... Inside, it's finally inside the spaceship. We get to see some different scenery here. And a remix. Kind of like, uh... Now I feel like I'm playing a overhead view of a mixture between uh, Contra and uh, the Technodrome Ninja Turtles. <laughs> By the way, the Technodrome and Ninja Turtles 1 is freaking hard. I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, I would. Oh, Not good for you. It's ECW hard. Good for you. You don't fail quite so much. Oh, boy, I thought that was a toddler you can jump on right there. Ugh. I was mistaken. Okay, well, let's see here. It's been a while since I've been in this part of the game. As the freaking video is lagging on my end, so now I'm lost. Really? Because it's going nice and peachy keen over here. I'm at 940 now. Well, that's cool. I can look into the future. Ugh. Suck ass, GTO. I'm already getting tired of their crap. Let's let's desync Star Tropics. Yeah, really. I mean, yeah. Not rename it that. Re desync, insync Star Tropics. They're gonna have to tell me what the heck I'm doing here because I don't know. I can't see no more. I don't know. You're just kind of running around like an idiot. I know. I teleported already. Yeah, you're in teleporting. You're kind of hopscotching around here. Fighting some, uh, stormtroopers? Well, I don't know. Let's see here. Or, you know, kind of like the clones from Star Wars, except green. Or yeah, whatever the hell those things were. Yes. What well, time are you on right now? I'm at 1040. Yeah, okay. We're going to cut it short right here, or cut it off right here, because it's about to end. Well, I'll let you know. <laughs> well... YouTube only has limited time limit, so... Oh, and you paused, so let's end it now. All right, so with that said, we'll see you in part 16. God bless, and take care. Bye. Welcome to part 16 of Star Tropics. This is Dead Fan. Oh, wait. Um, this <laughs> is Ron Moore, along with J-Fan. J J-Man? Yeah, that's right, J-Man. <laughs> J-Fan 46241, J-Fan 93... Yep, J fan. Horrible Death Fan impersonation. Um, you can't impersonate Death Fan's voice. He has the perfect commentary voice. Now, what do we have there? It's like like alien, alien rats. Yeah, alien aliens. Alien syndromes. <laughs> yeah, we're playing alien syndrome strop strop tropics. <laughs> strop fail. fail. I just failed at making a lousy joke. Dun, 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 dun. This music is cool. Dun, dun, dun. Now we got like a uh, Star Trek or Star Tropics tracks. <laughs> Star Tropics. Thank God here. I have ECW mode. <laughs> hey, yeah, really. <laughs> I'll be getting pwned mode. Okay, more uh, uh, stuff. What the hell was that? Looked like a like a an eraser. That's a pill. Looked like an old piece of cheese. Popping the pill there. Um, yeah. And now it see I have ECW mode, so I got full energy. But that pill, my hearts would be like slowly decreasing in energy. And that pill is supposed to be like give me full energy, and then the energy like slowly goes down. So it was like a antidote. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, happy ECW mode, so it won't go down. <laughs> and that little, that little noise you keep hearing every few seconds—that's supposed to be the hearts going down. Ah, uh, okay. But it's not. <laughs> because I got sissy mode. I mean ECW mode. <laughs> and I can't beat this game like a man. Okay, mini boss battle here. You're fighting um, some robots with 
um, bullets. Yeah, they're like uh, Chrono Trigger robots. Oh, uh, yeah. Because Chrono Trigger. Yeah. Chrono Tigger. They sound horrible. Oh, it's annoying. No, that's my laser. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, either way, it's, uh, it's horrible. Alright, that's in the first part of the ship. Well, you've done it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, now you've done it. Yep. Now saving your data. Dun, 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 good, good luck. luck. Be sure to make a map. <laughs> okay, now I'm looking for the first cube. I have to collect all three cubes in order to do something. I forgot. You must collect all three Nintendo Game Cubes in order to win a Wii. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing this is not a review because I really don't know what the heck, uh, you know, like, I go over, you collect all three cubes in order to uh, do something. Because I really don't know, I forgot what happens after you collect all three cubes. I think you, like, um, you put them together and I think, uh, it's they, like the, like the Triforce? Uh, it's the Tri-Cube of Power. Yeah, but this cube right here gave me even better yo-yo power. I could shoot the yo-yo from across all the way full screen now. Oh, so like the, the star power that you had. Yeah, there you go. Earlier. Take all three cubes fused together, it like, uh, frees those Argonian aliens from their prison or something. <laughs> so like, okay, so like now, even if you die, will the, will the yo-yo still go full screen? Like, will it still go across the screen? Or if you die, so because, will you be lost? I think so, because, you know, this part right here, where I end, before any of this part, it says refrain, it's now save and refrain from turn off your NES or whatever. I think it'll start me right here. And so I'll still have the yo-yo power. Sweet. I mean, I don't know. We're so spoiled using save states. I mean, I don't remember how it works no more. <laughs> save state gamer. Yeah. <laughs> There you got okay, some uh, look... hot sauce or something. <laughs> yeah. Now looking for GameCube number two. <laughs> what are those things. Those freaking freaks. Yeah, freak you, you freaking freak. Oh, what? Oh, I can't. Oh, you can't hit those. Or maybe you can with the laser, but I don't know. Moving on. Oh no, yep. watch out for the spike, uh, spikes. Yeah, they're, uh, wow. Watch out for the spikes on the spikes. Star power. <laughs> One star power. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, gotta destroy all three of these things. Yeah, I gotta use a laser gun here. To shoot those things. There we go. Man, I don't know how anybody can beat this game without cheating. Look at this. This is hard. And plenty, e either uh, either plenty of practice or plenty of safe states. Yeah, really. Plenty of cheating. Yeah. Plenty of game genie codes. But I use something better. I use ECW codes. Which, okay, it's game genie codes, but... Alright, uh, oh, man. Oh. Spike balls. Oh. <laughs> Let me move up here and, and absorb both of the spike shots. Ow. Watch it. Oh, Whoa. Don't shoot those. <laughs> <laughs> That's one joke I forgot to use in the freaking Golden Axe review. Don't hit the villagers. Or it's, it's shocking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that laser. Grr. Yeah, grr, grr, grr. It's like worse than Fester's Quest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess I got a better gun. Wow. I want a corner strike mistake. Then you get the both laser guns. Move to the next room. Watch Be out sure for to jump over this, and then wait one second, and then fire again. Watch out for this green robot guy. To hit, to hit him. Use your yo-yo. And watch out for his balls. 
<laughs> Watch out for his balls. Well, that's why he's shooting at you. Yep. And uh, Bears just entered the call. <laughs> balls. <laughs> oh, shut up. I don't think Cornstrike will ever do commentary with us now after I impersonate him. It was a friendly, it was a friendly Retro Prey. Yeah, we were just kidding. We we're totally, totally just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> we do this for the lols, not for the, um, uh, what, the opposite of the lols. Yeah, it's good enough. Yeah. I we think he will... Lulz, not, we do it for the lols, not for the ponage. I think he will want to do a uh, commentary with us just based on, um, how much we suck at games compared to him, so... Um, he can basically basically just join in and be like, no, 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 that's no, J Man, that's not the way you do things. Yeah. You need to do it this way. And and Ronnie, what are you doing? I can get to do this game without getting hit once. <laughs> okay, now we're fighting a mixture of the uh, one of the giant robots you fight in Shadows of the Empire and Birdo. Yeah, like um, E. T. or something. <laughs> e. T. Bot. Yeah. E. T. <laughs> Ah! Oh yes. no! Here we go. That's how you beat him. And then you could just like a Super Metroid, you yeah. Punch him out. You gotta knock him, knock this robot into the pit. And yeah. You know th this might have been um, what inspired them to do the Super Metroid thing. Yeah, maybe. Wait, you mean this game came out first? No. <laughs> Wait, let me check Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the tells for sure. All right, that's the end of part two of chapter seven. Um, now, if it moves that freaking text box up there, you can see the third, the second cube we gotta collect. But it's a maze, so it's not gonna be that easy. So uh, let me see how lost I or how how I can find oh. the <laughs> how I can find the GameCube. The Nintendo GameCube. You shut the hell up. Here we go, and you're probably going the wrong way. I think I went the wrong way. Ah, oh, dang it, out of syllable. <laughs> yep. Dead yep. end. I just got by. Uh, ah, dang, I... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I just got pwned by this game. Yeah. Boy, I really suck at this game. There we go. <laughs> no, here's one. Ready? Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> well, all this fails is the same. Do, 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 bag. Yeah, there we go. D bags <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> oh, I think I took you back to the beginning or something. I don't know. Ugh. Hate mazes. No, you're on a different path. Somebody, please post a comment. Yeah. Where and is the YouTube? Tell level? me how to beat this game. Dun, 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 dun. And we're running out of time. Dun, dun. That's it. We'll see you part 17. From more, God bless. Take care. See you guys later. And welcome to take three of Star Tropics part 17. <laughs> this is Ron Moore on with the unknown J Man, the lesser known Wee Guy, and Green. Oh, yeah. And this yeah. is our third attempt of this recording because it keeps dropping. I guess because you have 20 people in the call. Yep. It's your thing. it's your own damn fault for including so many people into this recording. Yeah, it's your fault, Ron. Yeah, but you know what? You were You're the right. original host, now J-Man's the host. Yep. Yeah, well, I'm the host of the video, so ooh. Yeah, <laughs> that just puts you more to blame. He's the host with the most. Yeah, well, I blame you for, um... So anyway, I got the, <laughs> I got the second GameCube uh -huh. here. That's right. Ooh. And... Game now the spaceship is taking off. We're going to Never Neverland now? Yep. Sweet. In our weird red spaceship. It's actually 52 inspired. We're gonna go visit E.T. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna phone home. E.T. Alright, here we go. Skull Castle. Oh. <laughs> My reference. No, your reference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're trying to plagiarize references. 
Yeah. Stop plagiarizing yourself. Oh, wait. Uh. Alright, chapter 8, the final battle. Oh, about time. This took forever, this LP. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah, uh, 17, uh, 17 uh, parts is just way too damn long. Hey, look, it's Batman. I'm Batman. Batman yeah, with a fiery ass crotch. I see. <laughs> yeah, he's got like an STD or something. That's, Ladies I and gentlemen, nice. gonorrhea. Oh, fire crotch. <laughs> Fire! 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 <laughs> Alien scum! Did any of you guys got a match? Uh, my butt and your butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Here, here's the here's the first battle with Zoda. Yeah. Oh my Jizzle god. Hey, he's a super soaker. I mean, super super Jizzle. Super Saiyan. Ew, you just in his mouth. Yay. <laughs> Funny shot. <laughs> this is the eye popping experience. Uh. Watch out for Master Hand. <laughs> oh, I'm grabbing. No. Oh, Watch Andros. out for the reach around. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> this is early Andros right here. <laughs> if Andros was retarded look was a retarded looking bronze face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, he's a Pokemon, he evolved. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Insert. Name here. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we're playing Alien Syndrome for sure. Xenophobia. Oh, Alright, now we're going down Mega Man ladders. Oh, they messed up. I overshot that and jumped into the pit. <laughs> See, this guy's got balls. He jumps down ladders. He doesn't need to climb them. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Walks down ladders. Hey, yeah, wait a sec. Ron, is there an ECW mode for this? I can't help but notice you still have full health after being shot in the face a few times. No, he's just real tough. Talk to this. You cheating, I knew it. Uh. <laughs> You're cheating on me. <laughs> I could so get through this game without getting hit and not use the easy go Liar. Yeah, I'm totally oh, yes. oh, it's, only, it's only cheating if you get caught. Oh, wait. <laughs> or if you tell on yourself. No, no, Eddie Guerrero always said, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> that would happen. Okay, now he's fighting a uh, sort of Contra boss. Contra, Contra, Contra. Is there any other reference you can make besides Contra? Yeah, uh, Super C. A what? Alrighty then. How about a shut up reference? Have to shut the fuck up. Home. Stop home. No plagiarizing. You're all jerks. Stop plagiarizing go yourself. Your, go back to your safe states, we guy. Hey, I don't oh. use them anymore. Shut the fuck up. Shut the. Shappy, shut the fuck up. <laughs> safe state gamer. Yeah. Safe states are hilarious, though. You know, you know, I'm free now from that. The rehab really helped. Who's got Fritos? <laughs> rehab! Fritos. There's no Fritos in Rehab. I like Doritos. Uh, I love Cheetos. I like Doritos. Let's, let's all talk, talk about our favorite chips. I like, I like the generic brand. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Archangel. They're, uh, they're crunchier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is loads. What the hell are those things? Look like spiders. Okay, now spider. Here's the uh, here's the final battle with Zoda. Yep. Alien three. Why are you shooting him? Just throw a pokeball. You'll win automatically. Master ball. The zygote three. <laughs> I don't give a shit if you have to weaken it first. Throw a master ball. Oh no, effing way. He's shooting the fire projectiles from his crotch. That would happen. From his, from Jeff, from his vagina. Vagina. Uh. <laughs> Those are all come. Wait, what? Just <laughs> <laughs> lazy. You, 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 you don't yeah, want to know. Projectiles. I want to know. Oh, no. 
<laughs> you would want to know. We think. <laughs> That's the mother alien. You'd want to be a part of it. Mother alien brain. Yes, I would, Dead Brain, because I'm the Wii guy. I'm, I'm the goddamn Wii guy. The Wii guy has weird fetishes. I don't have weird fetishes, it's just a joke! You have fetishes with save safe. Don't bring your don't bring game Mr. Game and Watch's bell. I have Mr. Game and Watch's bell, it's right back there. Let me Holy join your fan finish him. Finish him. Let me join your fan of faith, Wii guy. <laughs> okay. Yay. But it's the final fantasy. <laughs> final Fantasy 13. That's never Final the Final Fantasy. Fantasy. That's never the Final Fantasy. It just keeps going. Mm. Now that'd be some hot stuff coming through. Hot stuff coming through. And Ronnie is admitting coming out of the closet. No. Just kidding. Uh, about time he died. Yeah. Now he's he throwing up. All that juice you shot oh on. man, he oh. ate all the tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like someone's trying to start a car in the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it, guys. We're going back in time. Wow, you've done it. You jizzed on a Pokemon. How do you feel? I feel satisfied. You did it, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Frank. Wait, no, it's not. <laughs> Okay, now a Metroid type thing here. I gotta get out of here before it explodes. Oh, uh, it's the final it's Xbox. Cool. But see, I don't think I don't think it matters. It's, it tells you that, and you can just stand there. I don't think the ship will explode on you. You're just part of the story as you get closer to the cube. You have no time yet. I do. <laughs> it's it's for dramatic effect. Yeah. Red cube. No, that Red I was cube. just I was just making commentary. You had to ruin it. I know! <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, we'll ruin this. The ship is now exploding. <laughs> Shipley's Donuts, Angel said. <laughs> Donuts with plate with bacon. Oh, I love that. And I'm free falling. Oh. No song references today. That ship took a dump. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta swim to the next island. <laughs> oh, damn it, I'm drowning. It's just like Wind Waker all over again. Oh, I died. I gotta start the ship over again. Nope. Yeah. Echo the Dolphin saves me. Frog, <laughs> it's a frog. It's uh, one of those battle toads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was about to, and he was like, I saved your life, now play my game. <laughs> no! Battle Dolphin. I think that would piss everyone off if that was what the ending was. Oh, yeah, really. Uh, it, it'll show the ending of Captain Skyhawk, game over. It's not oh, called yeah. Battletoads. And then it's uh, then battle then battle 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 giving you the finger. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> I Eight said it'll show a game over screen, and I showed the Battletoads giving you the finger. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We're missing out on the stuff here, like the little kid wanting to use Wee Guy's yo-yo. Uh, okay. Nice to know that. Oh, I'm sure you've got no objections to yeah, that. Pull my yo, pull my yo-yo. Objection. You jerk trick. Objection. You suck. Erection. Congratulations. Masturbation. Relaxation. <laughs> Conjunction function. <laughs> Good Emancipation. Uh, that's a great ending. Talking to everyone. Yes. This is what it's all about. Okay, and that is it. We will see you in the next video where we'll watch the ending and do it. Let's discuss. Until then, God bless. Take care. See ya. I gotta learn the ABCs of fishing. I don't get that. I like that. pizza. <laughs> and welcome to the ending to Star Tropics. This is Ron Moore along with JMan46241. Hey yo. Yep, and I'm still talking to everybody here. Including uh, Babu. Oh yeah, and like that's gonna. Give me, yeah, like I need that now. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> well, 
well, like he ever did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Mr. Leahy. <laughs> <laughs> you beat the game, bud. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Leahy. <laughs> oh, Mario himself goes. There's uh, Randy. Oh, yeah, that's right, Randy. <laughs> and uh, Bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need. <laughs> yeah, he's just real space talk. He did it. What did? That's like and that's, uh, uh, Ricky. No. Mister <laughs> uh, Lady's wife. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I knew it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's join the Xboxes, bud. Join the three consoles together. See what happens. PS3, 360. And we, you get a, a red triangle of death. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Yeah. Annoying sound. Stop. Ugh. Whoa! Okay. It's uh, like Lord of the Rings. It's like the hobbits. Look at that kid on the lower right. Yeah. What the heck's his problem? <laughs> oh, is that, is that Chun Li's daughter up there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The one speaking as a girl. Well, yeah. You have like the I actual like Chun Li on the right. Yeah, I think Tommy from Third Rock is speaking to us now. Yeah. Incoming message from the big giant head. Actually, that would be Harry. He was a transmitter. Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> Wasn't that guy from Third Rock in that? Yeah, he was in that movie. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Bud. You saved the whole race from extinction. Time for drinking. <laughs> yeah. I am the coconut milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Leahy. Yeah. You're effed, Mr. Leahy. <laughs> that uh, porno mustache. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Ron Jeremy or whoever. Yeah. Now we take a look at Sea Island. Some pretty catchy music. Sea is land. I wonder why they called it Sea Island. Well, can't you see? <laughs> okay, now we're playing. Uh, this is third off in the sun. The video game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we're playing. Uh, what was it called? Section Z here. The end. It's gonna say, "We knew you were doing ECW mode, cheater." <laughs> yeah. Yep. Here it says it. It's saying right here, "You cheated." No. <laughs> to see the full ending, cheat. Use. Don't use ECW mode. Yeah. You must play again. Yeah. yeah thanks, Konami. Hata, Hata Yama. Yes. Yai hit her eye. The, the composer, the music. Other staff. What do they do? Other staff. Oh, uh, Howard Phillips. Other... <laughs> Who's Howard Phillips? There was a old Nintendo Power thing where they had a little comic called Howard Nestor. Hmm. And Howard was one of the guys. Oh, right. Like a yo-yo is going to kill that thing. that penis tower? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Yo-Yo's gonna kill a giant octopus? Pretty nice pictures. It's, uh, like, almost Super Nintendo looking. Yeah, this game has a pretty cool ending. I've never seen this ending for the first time. Me and my friend was like, man, this game has an awesome ending. It better. Freaking hard game. <laughs> Man, I know I beat it in ECW mode, but without it, oh man. 
uh, friend did using Nintendo Power walkthroughs, but still, no ECW or Game Genie codes. I, well, I don't, I don't think of it. I don't, probably did use Game Genie, because me and him used Game Genie for different games back then. But I don't remember if he uh, beat this game in Game Genie or not, but... I mean, this game is challenging. <laughs> it's like a young Retro Gamer 3 right there. <laughs> <laughs> That was inside the whale. As you play as Jonah. And that right there is when you actually take the paper in real life from the from the box. Oh yeah, you had to have the instruction booklet. But there's yeah. like a little thing you had to put in water to get the Yeah. Oh, Indiana Jones rip off. He... Yeah, then why is he angry? I would be I would have fear, my face yeah. not angry. <laughs> It's just determination. I won't run you. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, for the NES. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Solar Jetman or something. I don't know. Just like ABG and said in uh, I think the ending to Super Castlevania it showed pictures and uh, you know uh, or the, like during the credits it showed the gameplay and takes you back to when you know you're playing this game and all the members are here. So yeah, when you when you actually beat this game when you were a kid without cheating. This is a real rewarding experience going back and seeing all this again. Well, yeah, like if, oh yeah, I remember that. If if it had been like the um, the pictures for like this gameplay, it would have been like you falling in the water, then getting hit a bunch of times, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not so good memories. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's the bananas in the ears thing. Oh yeah. I didn't know it was true, but apparently it is. Wow. That's a good yeah, ending. So this, That's a yeah. good ending right there. Very awesome. No, Jackie, Jackie Chan's ending is better. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Jackie Chan. Uh, no, uh, Simon Two. Simon Two's ending is better. Who? Oh, uh, Castlevania Two: Simon's Quest. There we go. Oh. Simon. Well, much was well, much better than Jackie Chan's ending, I think. Oh yeah, that's not hard to beat. Yeah. So. But anyway, Star Tropics, um, very underrated game. And for those of you who have not watched it yet, you should watch the Happy Video Game Nerds review of this game. Um, he did about maybe a year or two ago. Um, this is a very, very underrated adventure game. And um, it has a, like a Zelda feel to it. And of course, Zelda is much better still, but Star Tropics is still a fun, challenging adventure game. And it's real interactive. Kind of like, um, it's kind of ahead of its time with the whole dip the paper in water thing. Because if you remember, like... As far as interactivity, you know, Metal Gear Solid. Look at the back of the CD case, um, you know, and then like, oh, look on the back of the actual video game case, or uh, you know, the fight with Psycho Mantis where you got plug and controller two, so you so he won't read your mind or whatever, or read your memory card. Um, and so this game right here, I, I guess the only inter interactivity it had was the the paper and the water thing, but that was still pretty cool back then. I mean, that that was real awesome to do back then. I never got to do that, but I I, I knew about it and. Um, so yeah, I mean that was that was pretty cool stuff right there, and this game was awesome, catchy music, um, and the only thing I hate about this game really is uh, how you, you kind of forced to talk to everybody before you can proceed to the next part of a chapter, you know, instead of like going to uh, what we need to go to is you know, I mean like you know you kind of like forced to talk to pretty much every character in the village before you can move on. I think it's kind of lame. I mean I know in some adventure games. In RPGs, you have to talk to certain people to get certain stuff to advance to certain area of a game. But this game, like, forces you to talk to everybody. Even people that say, let's go fishing or something. Like, what? Okay. Um, but this game overall is just freaking awesome. Very fun adventure game. Check it out. It's very underrated. I give this game a 9 out of 10. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 as well. Um, I only played it briefly. Uh, when I was younger, I rented it, and, um, yeah, didn't play very much of it. Um, it's kind of a hard game. It's one that you have to practice a lot. Um, back to the, the talking to everybody thing, uh, I think it was one of the first games to, you know, kind of have that, I guess, that RPG type of feel. And that's, of course, been improved upon a lot since then. So it's kind of early thing, so you got to give it credit for that. You know, yeah, it was it was a little broken, but it was doing something different, doing something new. So, 
you know, props to that. But yeah, once again, nine out of ten. Awesome game, yeah, and kick-ass ending. That was like wow. Yeah, one of the best endings for the NDS right there. Yeah, um, I, I definitely agree. This is a very long, probably the longest LP we've done this channel, but the, uh, also a fun LP. Yeah. So, uh, and with that said, we are out of here. Thanks for watching. I'm Ron Moore. And this is the J-Man. God bless and take care. Peace out. Welcome to Let's Play Contra. Yay. I'm sure some people have heard this game. This is Ron Moore along with Archangel Zero, Gunstar Hero 21, and J-Man 46241. Hi, everybody. Yup, yup. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. PA, <laughs> slight right start. <laughs> and I died already like a douchebag. I'm player one, Angel's player two. <laughs> it looks like Ronnie, you went up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, into the bullet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> you can still try to do the code after it was already in. I want 60 lives. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most epic ECW games of all time. What do you say, Jake? <laughs> that sucks. Uh, you can't. Yeah, uh, one hit and you're dead. One hit kills. And you missed the spreader. Ah, it's a Richie spreader. Yeah. Oh, uh, you got the fire, stupid fire weapon. Fire. Damn, I almost ran through the bullet. I'm gonna keep count now. <laughs> it's the perfect defense. Block the block the shots with your body. Yeah. Yeah. And just like how Ronnie blocked that soldier, he tried to body check him and failed. <laughs> oh wait, man! Angel touched that in, dawg. Uh, yeah. See, the only problem with that is, if that didn't happen, you would still be alive right now. You would have one more life to spare. I like how these guys you can, play, you can wear spandex pants. <laughs> yeah, I got the laser uh, bullet set. I'm not really good with the lasers, but uh, tried it anyway. I swear that laser looks like you're whacking off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's that's kind of the effect I was going for. <laughs> uh. And uh, as you can tell, we are using the 30-man code, not ECW mode, but the 30-man mode. Yeah, without that, I probably uh, would have died in the first stage. Uh, damn. <laughs> 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 You were just like, oh my god, I'm impervious to everything. Oh, bullets, my only weakness. How did you know? <laughs> it's red versus blue. I forgot this game didn't have uh, grenades. I was like trying to push a button for the grenades. Says it's Halo. <laughs> Halo for the NES, 8-bit. Yeah, exactly. It would be amazing. You play as Master Chef. Exactly. I was trying to zoom in a snipe, but uh, it wasn't working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They trying to get that times four zoom. But yeah, I love this game. So many great freaking memories with this game when I was a kid. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, just like I remember me and my uncle playing this and being like a jerk to each other. On yeah. Stage yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When I'm somebody always jumps up to the top, and the other guy isn't ready. He's like, "Why'd you keep going? I didn't want to die, but you killed me." <laughs> so oh, yeah, stop. I used to always do that to my friends when I was a kid. I'd be like, well, keep up. <laughs> They're like, oh, you're a dick. Uh, yeah, uh, I remember playing this. I, I remember playing more part two rather than this one. I think this one, uh, I played more at like, other people's house. I couldn't find this one at the store, actually. And here you go, fighting the nose from Ninja Gaiden. About out of lives there. <laughs> the game's much easier with the, with the spreader gun. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then you'll be like, "Ain't that a bitch?" When you lose it. I like the Gatling gun. The what? The Gatling gun. What the heck is that? It's a gun that uh, fires like a lot of rounds in one direction. Yeah, it's like yeah, a chain gun. gun. Damn. Okay. Anyway. No, oh, hold on, Angel. Ah. <laughs> revenge. Oh no. My childhood's getting revenge on me. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah. When when Angel hit that rock, it looks like Indiana Jones gone wrong. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, um... I don't know, it was, was kind of hard for me going up, I don't know why, I just kept bumping into stuff, I was like losing concentration. The blast processing wasn't working, it was working against you. <laughs> <laughs> but really, this stage was, oh man, it's freaking hard when I was a kid. And what's with these hitchhikers that run, oh Angel! Hitchhikers. <laughs> hard, <Carrie. Yeah. laughs> Oh, again! Oh, oh man. Oh, I got the barrier now, and Swindoll said the beast stood for brave. Is that yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> yes, spread gun, yes! How long will we get? Oh, come oh, on! Three seconds. Oh, you got pwned. Where'd he That's... come from? Freaking hitchhikers? That's gotta be some kind of record. Alfred Hitchhiker, uh, Alfred Hitchcock, whatever they're called. Ah, uh, that was amu that was highly amusing though. I hate when I lose a spray gun. Yeah, the machine gun works just as well. Uh, no. <laughs> Alright, now we're approaching the boss. Hey, you know what? This makes me want to do the arcade version on the 360, which is a lot worse. Ah, uh, man, I played that one. That, that game is a lot harder than this one. Yeah, is that the one where you can't, you can't even continue after you lose like 10 lives? Yeah, really. Yeah. Okay, now you fight a dragon. <laughs> I think they're like the retarded dragon. It's like very it's fat one too. It's like it takes a smoke. It's, it's like, like a, uh, evil E.T. <laughs> yeah. Why is he like burping shrimp at you? That's yeah. the unknown when he's hot. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Burping shrimp. I just imagine him doing that, just like, hey, Ryan, get so boo. <laughs> we just went into the alien's vagina. <laughs> Why does it look like a machine? What kind of shit is this? We're inside base two? Yeah, base two vagina edition. <laughs> it's all futuristic in there. Exactly. This is the vagina of the future, and it's a reverse side of it. You don't want to go near it. <laughs> you must have a... A weapon called the bisectomy to destroy yeah. it out there. These are these are the two, <laughs> these are the two babies trying to get out of the vagina. Whichever one wins gets to live life. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, base two much more challenging than base one. Yeah, pretty much those guys that are shooting at your antibodies. Oh yeah. You're penetrating through the different layers of the vagina. Um, yeah. <laughs> and off by steel walls and like garage doors. Oh, it's a good thing Master Hand and Bear's not in this. Uh, did I say masturbating bear? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing Master Hand and Bear aren't in this video. Oh, a lot of dirty jokes there. Yeah, exactly. They'll probably say something like sperm gun. Sperm whale. Oh no! Sperm order? And that, that wasn't meant to happen. Yeah, you fight Sperm Man and Mega Man 11. That will fucking happen. I will punch Capcom in the face. Not <laughs> just like the people that made the entire company. But the game testers. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're at, the, they're at the bottom of the barrel. I'll go for them first. Are they at the bottom of the E-barrel? Yeah, exactly. Yep. They don't even have to be sober to look for glitches. <laughs> exactly. They imagined half of them. <laughs> It's just like, what? I fell through the floor. No, you jackass. That was a pit. Oh, Angel, one more hit, you're dead. Yep. I'm Here it comes. Steal your lives, like in part two. Oh, 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 stole, steal oh life. no. Yeah. You, you better not. You steal my life, I'm going to punch you right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, alright, now let me fight these Transformers up here. Yeah, God, Optimus Primes. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, dang, I can't do the Transformer sound effect. I sound like Beavis. Yeah. You sound like, like a uh, Disturbed song. Yeah. Ooh. Exactly. <laughs> get down with the uh, Megatron. No. <laughs> no, it's get down with the bubbles. Down with the uh, down I'm with the clitoris. <laughs> yeah. I'm fighting uh, bubbles from uh, Trader Park Boys. Yeah. Wow. Shouldn't oh, it be space it? talk? Wait, shouldn't it be get getting up with the clitoris? Anyway. Uh, yeah. Moving on. 
<laughs> All right, good job. You messed up that clitoris. <laughs> okay. It's all blown out now. It's explodified. All right, here we go. Stage pop. The snow field. <laughs> oh yeah, they got the uh, Vicodin. Oh no. Exploding Vicodin pills. Uh, I want one. Yeah. <laughs> Get them before they explode. These Echo Drugs bombs. Those trees are terrorists. All of them. Look, they're throwing bombs at you. Yeah, yeah. some of these bombs come from like out of nowhere. Like just in the black background. It's just like the trees joined Al Qaeda. Ain't that a bitch? Uh, those are uh, pharmacy <laughs> workers trying to save the vodka Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You need a prescription! <laughs> yeah, like, Give it back to us. <laughs> All your Vicodin are belong to me. You find Prescription Man and Mega Man 11, you got Doctor's Note. <laughs> <laughs> That's highly amusing. I would, I would, I would definitely submit that design. In. We look like fucking Doctor Mario and everything. <laughs> oh yay, the fire weapon. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to pause the game right here as we get ready for part two. So, ah, look oh, up. Die before you oh. end. You guys, part two. All right, peace. And welcome, welcome to part two of Contra. This is the Wee Guy along with um, Bear13 and Jamie4621. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I prefer the name Mr. Barry Mitchell. <laughs> Barry Mitchell. Uh, this is Ron Morton over with The Unknown and Archangel Zero. Yep, yep. What up, y'all? And let me see if I get through the snowfield here. Angel is dead. What what the hell is uh, that? Is that like uh is that from uh <laughs> I mean I don't know what I'm looking at. It looks like some uh, a college student made. <laughs> it's uh one of the vehicles from uh, Mad Max the movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you gotta watch uh, out for the hitchhiker. Uh, <laughs> is it is this on total recall? I mean this game's ten times better than total recall. Yeah, about six. I gotta fight this bulldozer again. I don't know what I'm looking at. Bulldozer. A bull what? <laughs> dozer. A bulldozer? <laughs> oh, that was close. It's a uh, dozer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, snowfield's always kind of been hard. Freaking Vicodin again. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was cheap. Yeah. yeah. Who, who's playing here? Is it the unknown? Oh, it's me, you dumb mother... <laughs> Bugger. Bugger. <laughs> oh. <Yeah>. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> We're all very professional. <laughs> Where are all the grenades coming from? That's why I was going to say. This come from out, of, out of the background. I mean, who's throwing them? The some, background uh, is. Some pregnant chick. <laughs> That crap yeah. Is what? Yeah, it's like birth control pills. <laughs> anyway, here's the boss of stage five. It throws like robotic hockey puck hockey pucks at you, and it's gone now. I mean, if she's pregnant, then she don't need the pills, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, stage six, energy zone. It's a e Halloween candy. It's the e-barrel zone. <laughs> And this stage is very energetic. It gets a lot of energy. Man, that's, 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 this is the stage you play when you're hyped up of Red Bulls and uh, monsters. Yeah. I wonder this game has, the stage has a lot of E barrels. Or you're on speed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I eat speed for breakfast in my cereals. Anyway, stage six. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of. Fire and uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, what, uh, yeah, stuff. Lasers. <laughs> lasers look like penises. Wowzers! I bet you guys would say lulzers. Oh man. <laughs> Zoinks. Oh no. We're in the room of uh, big penals now. <laughs> oh, I got there. the barrier now. Yeah, you got the brave. <laughs> <laughs> I got the barrier. Yeah. <laughs> You got the star off of Mario. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the Super Mario 3 star. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, yep, it didn't last out, long right enough. <laughs> yeah, it ran out right there. That's cheap. You're cheap. Burn it. <laughs> I think those soldiers are really uh, women. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh. There's that uh, Goonies guy. Yeah. That that looks like a like a like a like a fucked up version of uh, one of those uh, guys from uh, Double Dragon. <laughs> the above I just thought it looked retarded. <laughs> As Jamie ever say, what'd you say to like sloth? Yeah, the Goonies. Yeah, the Goonies guy. That 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 kick is so realistic, actually. <laughs> hey, you guys! You have to give him a baby Ruth to defeat him. Hey, you guys! Skimmy, skimmy, skimmy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stage seven, the hangar. The hangar, I can get it hung. Uh, hangar. Hangar. Sammy Hagar. Yeah. But well, the stage one music again. That's pretty cool. I like the controls. Controls hey, very hey. controlled. Hey, you gonna come up with your own material? This is my shit. <laughs> like the <Lager> <laughs> <laughs> Get you the STK podcast. So, what's all this plagiarism about, Angel? I like the controls. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the hitchhikers again, man. I hate them. <laughs> he just ran right into the spikes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang! I can't get the brave weapon. Freaking Dr. Claws trying to grab me. Dr. Lowell's. <laughs> yeah. It's like grabbing women in the bus station. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, anyway. Yeah, so, Dr. Lowell's, Dr. Scholl's, Dr. Schlong. Oops. Dr. Schlong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he made it. I thought he was going to fall in uh, on the pregnant hitchhikers. Yep. Oh come on now! <laughs> <laughs> you actually shoot the spikes in the game. That's pretty cool. Skip would be proud. <laughs> he actually destroyed <laughs> spikes in the game. Yeah, but Skip's not very proud of much these days. Yeah. Uh, shoot, he's proud of having. Person. He's proud of having over 200 subscribers on YouTube. I think. Uh, what's the name, Doctor Skip? <laughs> Skip. Oh, <laughs> Sir Skip. <laughs> Ma'am Skip. <laughs> King amongst men Skip. Skip uh the third. <laughs> Skip Erotimus. <laughs> Skip <Moving> Mixel. <laughs> yeah, the boss is stage seven, pretty easy to shoot the Plus sign. Yeah, shoot the Nintendo controller. Oh uh, yeah. D pad. D bag. What? Yeah, shoot the D bags. T bag. <laughs> Be sure to T bag the D bags. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stage eight. Aliens liar. Is this the just on the fetus of the uh, alien? <laughs> uh, yeah. The fetus zone. <laughs> Matt, oh, there's bear. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, is that, is that, is that inside the, the alien? <laughs> inside the fetus. <laughs> we are looking at the penal. I know, it's just you talking to the liquor. <laughs> um, it's all me though. I'm uh, I'm all good. I think that the head that I destroyed is actually Red Falcon and then now you gotta shoot his heart. I think the head you shot was the the head of the alien. I think you guys should stop saying head. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, he's giving the head. There we go, spreader. All right, now here, here's how you get a head in this game. Spread you get the that spread. head. <laughs> spread that thing. <damn. Yep. laughs> <laughs> Sounds now painful, I'm actually. <laughs> now I'm pony this level. Poning the, the head. Pon we pwned the head. We're about to. Phone that the the spread. 
Remember, uh, what was it that game that Circle Fan reviewed, Jamie? I forgot that ripped off this Contra level right here, kind of. Um, Contra. Say the moon. Oh, oh, that game. Oh, what is that? Awesome. Oh my God, what is that? It's, uh, We're looking at its genitalia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, oh double KO. Oh. We just made it a uh, mangina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the ending's kind of lame. This is all you see before you see the credits. The island blowing up. Yeah, the island's blowing up. <laughs> okay, blowing and we'll up. see you guys in part three with the uh, conclusion. And let's discuss Contra. So until then, God bless and take care. Peace. Yeah, man. Get drunk. And welcome to Let's Discuss Contra. This is Ron Moore, along with We Got 309. What's up, everyone? And here's the ending. Yeah, Contra kind of has a lame ending, but it was still a great sense of accomplishment once you beat the game. Yeah, I mean, so. this game isn't really that hard to me. It's a pretty easy yeah. game, but still very fun. Yeah. And game, this game had an awesome soundtrack. Uh, awesome, uh, awesome soundtrack. Hey, yeah. Yes. Uh, and I mean the gameplay was just fun and this is one of those games where a lot of friends gathered around and played back in the day and uh, the third man code the famous Konami code third was man code? <laughs> third man code yeah you play as uh, some guy in green spandex and he's it's green. the third That's our hero. <laughs> yeah it's our creators um oh yeah laws in my zawa Sada. I mean, really, that's all I pay attention to in the credits is special the, the music. Special <laughs> thanks to AC Contra Team. Really? Yep. The AC Contra Team. Ass kick. Oh, yeah, I thought it was AK Contra Team. Ass kicking Contra Team. Nope. Yeah, so this game was just one of the most epic video games of all time. So many awesome, great memories playing this game when I was, I don't know, eight, nine years old, somewhere around there. Um, this was the game to borrow at the time if you didn't have it. I mean, it was the you know, game real fun to play with two players, even though your friend would be cheap and uh, leave you behind in the waterfall stage. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, awesome, awesome game. Um, what do you say, Jay? Oh, it sucks because you friends leave you dying on the waterfall stage. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> This game is just pure epic ECW. Um, now I think I might, uh, I think I gave Mega Man two nine point five out of ten. That's my favorite video game of all time. Oh, I come on. If, game... it's your, if it's your favorite, why don't you give it a full ten? No, I don't know, cause you no, know, just just felt right. Just felt the right way, rating to give that game. Okay. Um, but with this game, uh, it's the same. I thought I rated Mega Man two a nine out of ten. I think it's like nine point five out of ten. Heck, I don't remember. But um. This game, I think, it might have to be the same. I give it a 9.5 out of 10, even though I like Mega Man 2 better. Um, the rating that just feels right to give it is, uh, you know, 9.5. I mean, the soundtrack is awesome. Uh, can't really think of anything that I don't like about it. Uh, maybe except sometimes it can be cheap with those freaking Vicodin bombs that come from the <laughs> trees or whatever in, in the snow Hey, yeah. Um, and let's see. Uh, so yeah, I think I think that's all I have to say about the game. Um, this game was just one of the most legendary games of all time. So yeah, I give it a nine point five out of ten. That's understandable. Good score, my friend. But yeah, I mean, yeah, this is a great classic NES game that like everyone should have in their collection. But uh, of course, with how many NES there are and how many games there are of this, it's like no one can really have the game. But those who are hardcore need this game. Yeah, this game is, like, really fun. It's one of those games you can always pick up and play, you know, anytime. You can get to the epic side-scrolling shooting with the spreader and the Konami code. But I don't need it because I'm hardcore. I'm like you, Ron. I don't think you use it, though. But I'm just saying because I'm more hardcore. Yeah, yeah. No. Sorry. I did use it. I did use it in this LP. Okay, I'm more hardcore because I forgot. <laughs> Even though I watched well, it yesterday. At least I, I didn't, but at least I didn't use ECW mode. Oh, that's true. Oh, but... Still use the code or mode, whatever. Same thing. But, well, uh, well, my code is you shut up. Uh, up, up, down, down, <laughs> left, right, left, right. B A B A. Shut up. Oh, you're so cruel. I'm giving this game a zero out of ten. No. 
<laughs> okay, Jay. Yeah, but uh, give it a ten out of hundred. No, but yeah, this is a great classic NES game, and it has you know great music. The best part of the game, or just for me, it's the best part of any game I'm you know in or whatever. Whenever I'm in the lessons, guys always say, "Oh, music's the best part," which it is because I'm a junkie. Video game music junkie and great graphics because Konami knows how to do it, does knows how to do it right, just like all other companies like Sunsoft. So yep. Sunsoft, Sunsoft's a little more superior in the graphics and music department, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. And uh, yeah, so final verdict: this game is a nine out of ten. All right, so there you go. That is it. We are out of here. This is Ron Moore. This is we got ten oh three slash three oh nine. God bless and take care. Peace of pizza. All right, welcome to Let's Play Super C. This is Ron Moore along with Bear Thirteen and J Man Nano Two One O. What? Super headache. That super intro gave me a super headache. Super shut up. You give me a super headache all the time, Bert. Oh, that's why you love me. All right, so. Yep. I'm Unfortunately, Angel's not with me this time, so I'm playing by myself, with myself. <laughs> by myself, with yeah, myself. Yeah, always playing with yourself. <laughs> yeah, Super Contra. Pretty ECW, just like the original Contra. Only a lot harder. Yeah. And even with the code, you only get 10 lives. That's what he said. Yuck. <laughs> anyway. Hey, I see my... that you did not put in the code. Yeah, well, it's a 10-man code on here, no 30-man right. code. I, I don't know the code. I didn't feel like doing that. I just thought, well, just do it like a man for once. And, <laughs> and like game over. <laughs> even, even, though, even, even though I'm still a vagina because I'm using the ROM. Oops, um, I'm not supposed to say that. Pussy. <laughs> no, ROM. Pussy. ROM mower. Yeah, uh, ROM. Angel, said, Angel said I should be called ROM's mower from now on. But anyway, I degrees. I mean, deg digress. Um, and yeah. So. Oh, what do you uh, say, Jay? I, I, what do you say about this game, Jay? Oh, I like stuff, the stuff shooting at you. Well, um, what do you say, J Man? Uh, J Man says that I like the fire weapon a lot better in this game than. Oh yeah. The first one. Well, yeah. It's actually absolutely. effective. Especially in the last stage, it really comes in handy. All right, here's the first boss already. You got the helicopter from Mash. <laughs> Easy da, da, suicide is painless. Oh no. Something, 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 <laughs> something. There's a uh, excellent uh, singing by Bear. He'll be here all week. That singing gave me a headache. Tip your waitress. Yeah, tip the tip waitress, Bear. Over. Yeah, tip the pizza driver. <laughs> yeah, Ronnie. Um, <laughs> long yeah, story game, there. Man. Anyway. Whoa. Anyway, stage two, one of the one of the two overhead levels in this game. Yes, absolutely. Um, something <laughs> they it, it was kind of okay in this one, but in Contra Three they really uh, worked it out and made it a lot better. Yeah, unfortunately, you know what? I really haven't played Contra Three all that much ever in my life. Good game. Yes, yeah, I've heard. Very long. Now you find the uh, Sarge's Army Man. Uh, characters on this game or something. I mean, you got red, blue, and green. Kind of like gummy bears. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there's red and blue and green, I think. Except maybe blue. Oh, oh that was close. Whoa! Yeah. That was some uh, TAS evading. Oh, uh, yeah. Some FCEU EU 100. Uh, yeah. <laughs> The heck has he been at? I know we stopped doing videos, but he's um. I haven't heard from him. I don't know. They got mad because we uh did something. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Angel. Wish <laughs> <laughs> <Where's> the Angel. <laughs> wow, Jay had Jay has more to say than that. Uh. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Good job. Now, this is the easiest boss in the game, and here's why. Got spread gun, or pretty much any yep. gun, just this, and I mean. I wonder if Konami knew that. I mean, when they did test this game before they released it. 
I said, hey, you know, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I think they just figured people would try to attack it from the front. Yeah. Well, I don't know how I figured that out. I think it was trying to avoid it, and I go, oh, wait a minute, I can go up here. Hot pwn. <laughs> this is a freaking awesome stage right here. Yes. Probably my favorite music from the game. Now um, this, and I think it's Area 7. Well, I, I think Oh no, wait, that's Area 4. It's Area 4 and Area 7 have the same music. No, the hardest stage is Area 51. Uh... <laughs> that was a good game. I like that game. <laughs> yeah, it was. Lose oh, a lot of money on it, but... Yeah, yeah. Did I was joking, I keep shot with a... Yeah, you had an actual gun, and you just pointed at the screen. Oh man, the government's not gonna like that. It was very addictive and very expensive. <laughs> okay, now I forgot how to dodge this thing. Look out! Oh, it's like crack. Oh. <laughs> so I'll just jump into it. <laughs> no, I was trying to avoid the bullets. <laughs> <laughs> the great balls but, of justice. But yeah, I remember I first seen this in uh, one. You know, like when you get a contra game and it comes with a. Like uh, with the instruction booklet, then the uh, little a little poster, and on the back of the poster or something like that, there's like a list of Konami games that you must buy now. And this is one of them. I said, Super C. Yep. That looks like Contra. I guess C stands for Contra. Is this Contra 2? And I was like, Oh, I gotta play this. And I finally, I think one day my dad bought it for me and brought it over to my friend's house and we played the living crap out of it. And yeah, another Contra game with great memories. Now what about all the other Contras on the Nintendo, like there's some weird ones and whatnot. I thought there was only one other one. Well there's Contra 3, there's Contra Hard Corps, and there's Contra for PS1, so... Well I mean there's other Contras on the NES, like some, yeah. I think like one of them's like a ROM hack or something, and... Oh wow, I don't know. Those don't count. Oh, you're talking about, let's talk about Life Force or Contra whatever. Force or something. Contra Force. Life Force. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, Contra Force. It kind of... I know what you're talking about. I thought you were being sarcastic, like, well, yeah. Ronnie, I wonder what other Contra games are, because I said I have memories of another Contra game. Oh, no, I'm, uh, I'm chronologically confused. Oh, me too. <laughs> just, oh. Contra and Super Contra is the only Contra games I really ever cared about. Right, yeah, those are the ones that matter, because... Yeah. Not, the rock says. Says. Not the Rock says, Those don't matter! It doesn't matter! It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Why must it matter? Oh, there's the brave. Yep, the brave weapon. Shameless plug, check out me and Swindoll's low budget review and click <laughs> right there. Which has no real relevance to what we just saw on screen. Yes, it does, because. It's Swindoll the game. Swindoll, yeah, that, duh. And Swindoll said the beast of a brave. Right here, in this level. The, the beast of a bee. B stands for bear, as in bear, shut up. Yeah. Okay, um... Bear, be quiet. The boss of, uh, say, Area 3, the terminal. The terminal -ter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. Yeah, that part of the earthquake thing, oh, man, that used to kill me a lot when I was a kid. It's like, oh, yeah. oh, no. Oh. You can't jump once you start falling through there. I mean, you barely jump out yep. of it. You, you die. Like, the earth swallows you up. Yeah, I would always get freaked out and just try to run, like, towards the the side of the screen and every time death yeah get impatient or oh god I'm gonna fall in a hole ah oh, damn it <laughs> all right now to area foe and this is the awesome music as well well the the jungle music's cool too but this one's awesome as well yeah but oh, show. one slight thing I have to nitpick here a little bit had to be like Jay um, and say that one slight thing I like about this game at least in Contra 1 the levels had names like the jungle, the waterfall, base one. This is just area one, area two. I'm like, okay, all right. Well, anyway, <laughs> that's my nitpick about this game. Any, you guys have a nitpick about this game? Um, yeah, these stupid bubbles here. You know, because if you don't have the spreader, it sucks. Hey, I like bubbles. <laughs> Space talk. Why do they have all those bubbles coming out? <laughs> that's my name. What's going on? But yeah, that's like Swindoll said in the budget review. How's a bubble gonna kill you? <laughs> I yeah. guess because it has Bubbles alien DNA. Yeah, it's got like uh, environmental hazardous material in the bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> Carcinogen. Space space talk. Yeah. <laughs> that was like some space talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
At this stage, oh man, it can't be freaking hard. Yeah, the uh, yeah, here in a little bit when it starts uh, auto scrolling up, it's a pain in the ass. Oh yeah, and those bubbles. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah. And then you get then the boss is like a giant toothbrush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, giant to uh, the Terminator's liquid metal toothbrush or something. I don't know what the heck it is. <laughs> but anyway, uh. I'm going to stop right here, and we will see you guys in part two. God bless, and take care. Do -do 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 -do. Not gay. See ya. Welcome to part dos of Let's Play Super C. This is Ron Moore, along with Archangel Zero. Yup, yup. And I'm going to go ahead and finish area four here. And, uh, did you watch part one, Angel? Yeah, I saw part one with the uh, wee guy, J-Man, and the uh, bear, and of course you, Ron, and uh, I thought it was pretty hardcore. I think you guys went all out uh, reviewing the first part. Now, wee guy wasn't in part one. Uh, it must have been uh, some other cool, cool dude. Bear? Yeah, bear. <laughs> uh -oh. Alright, and, I, oh yeah, I lost my safe state, so I had to start over and get to this part again. But, uh, yeah, again, this is Area 4, and as I said in Part 1, how come they don't give these areas names? It's just Area 1, Area 2, you know? How come not Base or Aliens Liar or whatever it's called? I think I think if they would have had to do that, they would have had to take out the cheat code, which uh, that would have been a lot worse. What? <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, this, this game only has the 10-man code. Yeah, they would have had to take that code out, and if they did that, I think the game would have been... Uh, too hard for a lot of people to play. And now I'm uh, shooting these Ozzy Osbournes. I don't know what the <laughs> little vampires or whatever. Yeah, he should bite the bats. Like when, whenever they get too close, he should bite them, and then like they should play like an Ozzy sound effect or something. Yeah. And after I kill all the bubbles, I now fight a uh, Terminator reject. <laughs> it looks like a Terminator's uh, toothbrush. Yeah, really, liquid metal toothbrush. T, uh, T-1000, that's how many teeth he has. <laughs> yeah. I destroyed the bristles. Alright, there you go. Pretty easy boss, especially with a spray gun. Uh, it looked like his gums at the end were just like, all the teeth fell out. Yeah, you gotta dodge the, uh, gingivitis. Uh, yeah, that's the liquid metal that kills people. Uh, here's area five. Now th this area is pretty tight. It reminds me of the waterfall, uh, the waterfall, waterfall stage a little bit in Contra, the first Contra. But this stage is pretty awesome. This would be another one of those stages where you can't leave your partner behind or you kill him. Yeah, when I was looking at uh, first playing this uh, stage and now I'm looking at it now, it's just it's very innovative how you can just keep going up like that. I don't think any game had this at its time. Contra did. I mean, but uh. This game had like the uh, neon uh, clouds in the background. Don't contradict yourself. <laughs> and awesome music in the stage as well. Try not to lose my spray gun. Yeah, watch out for these uh Metal Combat Falcons revenge characters. Yeah, the neon clouds is pretty tight. I guess we're near the aliens layer. I think uh, like uh, anytime there's neon clouds like that, you know there's aliens nearby. Yeah, really. They had those neon clouds in Third Rock from the Sun? No. Oh, yeah. yeah they should make an another season of that, by the way. Nah. What about a game? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of alien games. We've got plenty of those. <laughs> yeah, are we on a train or something? I think this stage is based on a true story. Yeah, it's based off, uh, Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, here's Ron fighting the boss here, and, uh, what the hell is that, Ron? That's a alien spaceship, I don't know, uh, made out of skulls. Oh! <laughs> Pretty easy with the spray gun, as you can see. But Swindle actually beat it with the regular gun. Yeah, from the way it looked, it looked like someone got way too creative after, uh, a late night, uh, crunch time at the job and said, uh, look what I made, look what I made, Oh uh, yeah, really. Yeah, I never, uh, I never 
saw the inside of an alien vagina, but now I have, and uh, looks like they got two of them. <laughs> Maybe you and a close friend or a or a relative, you know, could uh, have fun with the alien. Oh uh, yeah, really. <laughs> oh no, look out for the mouth. Eh, it's got mouths in there. Ugh. Yeah, really. And this is the second and last overhead level. Yeah, those are, uh, we're in the intestines now. Oh, dang, lost my spray gun. Get, hurry up and get it again. Yes. Oh, man. I'm in, I, I wonder where this is at. Are we, like, in the esophagus? Oh, no, but I lost it again. Oh, uh, this part's hard. You said hard. <laughs> I'll drop the 80 and 3 aliens. Alien 3. Uh, look at the little bullets he got now. Little Star Tropics aliens. Uh, oh. uh, the past, this third game now, straight, that I've done, I've LP'd where I deal with aliens. Yeah, aliens are pretty cool. Oh, what's that? Oh. This is Jagger Freud. I guess Red Falcon's uh, second in command soldier. I don't know. <laughs> Dan's got like four faces. Yeah, really. <laughs> like three. Faces in five miles. I don't know. How, how did you manage to beat the boss with the regular gun? Oh, it's not over yet. Here's a second battle with Jagger Freud. Look at me, mom. Oh, it's Bear 13. <laughs> hey, look, he's cheesing hard. He must be like one of those uh, those gremlins. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Real easy to stand right here and keep shooting and avoid the giant caterpillar, and that's it. Yeah, I think he's on, uh, he's on, uh, all types of medication to uh, be cheesing like that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Area 7. Look at this. I mean, I don't even know what I'm looking at. It's just all different colors of the rainbow here. It, look, it looks like kind of inside of a pie or something. Like, he opened up a pie and started, like, oh, cool, got an extra man. <laughs> I never thought about that. Look at the inside of a blueberry, purple berry pie. That's weird. I told you, uh, at late night crunch time, and then they're like, yeah, if you can make something creative, uh, show me in the morning. <laughs> what do you mean you got an extra man? I'm the one playing. You're not playing this time. <sighs> but, uh, yeah, pick, pick up the controller, push start, Angel. I, oh, it's not plugged in. I thought I was playing the whole time. Oh, wait, this is pre recorded. No one told me. <laughs> yeah, so this level can be difficult. You got these skeletons or whatever they are always running after you, and I got the regular gun right now. This stage is much easier with the spread. The spread? Uh, you have the spurt. And this level has the same music as uh, Area 4. Uh, look, you got the laser cannon. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna get this. I think this worked better in the stage. I wonder what that green goo is. Uh, Swindoll said in the Love Budge review, it's uh, weed. We oh yeah, it could be weed or it could be uh, going out the uh, the uterus of the alien. Oh yeah. <laughs> so Red Falcon's female. <laughs> yeah, because uh, only the the only the mother gets that mad to where you have to uh, defeat her like inside her body. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the uh, the premenstrual section. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the part that uh that uh, is the most fierce. Yeah, area five, P PMS zone. <laughs> yeah, those are her uh the the babies. Yeah, the eggs and the uh, sperm cells or whatever. And the hatchling. <laughs> oh, it's getting too nasty anyway. It's only, uh, it's only nasty if uh, you're actually inside. <laughs> anyway, here's the boss of the inside. Some uh, skeleton thing. That's the daddy. <laughs> the daddy. Oh, yeah, oh those eggs in the bottom. He's uh, protecting her her uh, hatchlings. <laughs> and this is real easy with the spray gun. Just keep doing this, and you'll be all right. Dodge the red things and the purple eye drops. Yeah, if you didn't have the spray, you think you could beat it that fast? 
No, not really. And it blows up right there, but it don't really crumble down or nothing. So that was a weak uh, defeat. I mean, a, a weak death. But anyway, that's the end of part two. We'll see you guys in part three. God bless and take care. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Play slash Discuss Super C. This is Ron Moore along with Archangel Zero, Venom 22, J-Man 46241, and we got a 3-on-9. We're getting paid for this, right? No. Yup, yup. Yeah, Super C. Oh. What's happening? Somebody else talk. <laughs> I thought y'all got dropped off or something. Oh, okay, um, let's discuss this uh, wonderful game. It's a wonderful game. It uh, took some of the elements from the regular Contra and made them better. Um, although, I can't say that it's a better game than, than the original Contra because, I don't know, I, I don't know if I could love that game any more than I already love it. Yeah, well, nothing can really beat the original, um, but this game definitely is ECW. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I beg to differ. Uh, I think Super C really hit the spot because, uh, I mean, Contra was like an appetizer. I think Super, Super C was like the main course. Yeah, I agree. I like Super C better. So what's the dessert? The Alien Wars? Yes. When you shoot all the Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and then you take all their burritos. Oh. Dang, I lost my spreader. I was about to get the F-bomb. I mean, the, the F thing. You said spreader. <laughs> I think you meant spread her. <laughs> oh, no, my head. Oh, this is going to be hard without the F uh, weapon. The F bomb. Whenever you get hard, you got to use the F weapon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's alien, from alien 3. <clears throat> oh, I can't believe I haven't died yet. You're getting chased Die, by right? balls. What was that, Venom? So you're getting chased by balls. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you got to shoot the bubbles. The bubbles. Dang, that was close. I can't believe I can pass this with a regular gun. No, oh, that's it. Oh! Why you play this game too much? <laughs> I really just been a while since I played it since the low budget review with Swindoll. Oh. oh! There goes my luck. See, y'all had to jinx me. I like the little anorexic uh, dinosaurs running. <laughs> this is yeah. Alien Dino Wars? Yeah, Dino Wars. <laughs> Contra the Alien Down of Wars. More neon clouds in the background? I wonder, I wonder whose brain is that in the background? Mother's. It's like um, glow in the dark worm, worms or something. I don't know. Uh, that's just gummy worms. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Here's the final boss. This is supposed to be Red Falcon. Like Dan DeVito mixed with a. Uh, uh, <laughs> elephant, tusk, and a, and a woman. What? how did that kill me? That's not supposed to. See, look, that's not supposed to kill you. Watch out for the blue balls and red centipedes. Man, I want a chick that looks like that. Oh, no. Yeah, it's sexy. And I can't believe I beat this boss with a regular gun. So if you think yeah. about it, this game really is freaking easy. That, that, no, that boss is so hard. Jesus. I think you're right, wee guy, because uh, I had trouble on this stage, too. Really? Because I didn't. <laughs> Suck it. No. Here's, here's, uh -huh. an ending more lame, here's an ending more lame than Contras. I mean, it just shows the helicopter from stage one taking you off. Almost like the same thing, really. Except, you know, in Contra, they said, you you know, save the universe. <laughs> well, at least in here. Contra 1, they show the island blowing up. Then they show the credits. And oh, right yeah. Here, right. They just show you flying away. I mean, for awesome game, it has a pretty lame ending. Why are there turds floating in the sky? <laughs> <laughs> Look like those cat turds in the litter box. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Shut up. Um, <laughs> I think that's uh, a transformer flying. That wasn't funny either. I think that's uh. funny. So, someone do the Konami code right now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, Too late yeah. now. Beat the game. Start. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, Super C for the NES. Um, when I first seen this in the uh, little Konami pamphlet or whatever little poster that came with the game, or that came with Contra or whatever Konami game I bought when I was a kid, I was like, oh man, I gotta get this freaking game. It's a sequel to Contra. And then I bought it, and uh, 
it was just as great as I anticipated. And um, great fun two-player action, just like the original Contra. But uh, as far as nostalgia goes, I think the original Contra is better. Uh, maybe technically, of, of course, I guess this one's better. Uh, it's kind of hard to say. They're kind of even to me. But I have to partially go with the Contra, the original, being better. But Super C, though, is still freaking awesome. I give Super C with its music and graphics and, and controls and gameplay. Fun factor, especially with two players. I give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, Venom? Yeah, I think I got to agree. Uh, I really like Super C a little bit more than the original, mostly because I first played Super C before I did the regular one. And uh, first time I played this on the Okama Game Sphere, it was just awesome. I mean, the graphics, the music, everything. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll give it a 8 out of 5. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, on hill. Oh, yeah. Um, well, Super C always has a, a plate of nostalgia in my heart because uh, there's a second game that I got for the Nintendo. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I mean, it was the second game that I got for the Nintendo, and uh, I spent about a year trying to beat it because I didn't know the code. I was already r ripping out... Uh, <laughs> I was over here trying to look for the code, ripping out stuff out of magazines when I went to the grocery store looking for this code. <laughs> and, internet back then. Yeah, they'd have internet back then. I'm sorry. I'm like old as hell or whatever, but still. Um, Super C, I'll, I'll give it about a good 9.5 out of 10 because um, I try to beat it. But if I, if I could have beat it within a year, I probably would have gave it a 10. <laughs> okay, uh, J-Man. Um, yeah, kind of like I was uh, saying earlier at the beginning, um, I, I wasn't in part two, so I thought this was just going to be like the let's discuss, so that's why I was talking about it at the beginning. Um, but just to uh, reiterate, I, I don't know, I, I can't pick one that's better than the other, so uh, I'll give both Contra and Super C a uh, 9 out of 10. But props to Super C for making the, the F fire weapon so much better. Oh, exactly. So much better. But yeah, 9 out of so 10. Much better. I had uh, more experience with the original Contra game, but I obviously enjoyed Super C just as much. 9 out of 10. We got? Yes, this game is completely awesome. And uh, as I said, I like, I like Super C better than Contra. Because actually, I played Super C first and then Contra, so maybe that's why. But you know, both are great. You know, great graphics, gameplay... Um, music and um, yeah, overall it's a great game and a great sequel to Contra. And uh, let's see, do you remember when I gave Contra Ron? Did I give it like a nine out of ten? I think nine or nine point five, somewhere around there. I, no, I think I gave it a nine. I don't do points, but I gave it a nine out of ten. How's <laughs> <laughs> that funny? I don't know, cause you're dumb. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, but, yeah. yeah, that's the anyway. point. That's the point of not giving points. <laughs> yeah, we points. Yeah. We got points. <laughs> I, I would have probably given nine point five. It had a better ending. But anyway, yeah. It's so uh, overall, it gets a nine out of ten, which uh, I believe is the same I get for Contra. So woohoo, double nines. All right then, uh, that's it. We're out of here. I'm Ron Moore, Archangel yeah. Zero, Venom yeah. Twenty Two, J Man, J Man Four Six Two Four One, the Wii Guy Three Oh Nine. All right, got to care and take bliss. <laughs> we all have a good laugh. Peace out. What? Welcome to Let's Play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 Turtles in Time for the Cowabunga for the SC2K channel. This is Ron Moore along with Bear13 and JMan46241. Hey yo. For this playthrough, I want to be called Michelangelo. Michelangelo? Yeah, my favorite turtle. <laughs> what was that? Bear is a hoe? Whoa. <laughs> no, it means your mom's a dirty whore. So? I know. <laughs> She's the only one that loved me. <laughs> dirty hoes in time. Physically. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me go to options here. And no, I'm not using ECW mode. I'm using Thank hard God. mode. Hard, hard mode. mode. Hard mode. There we go. File continues. And uh, hard mode is. Um, be Donatello! Hmm. Oh, be Raphael. Pick. I ain't gonna pick him. Leonardo! Uh, oh, should have been Donatello. <laughs> I think Leonardo should have been Michelangelo. There's Why? Bear? Yeah, sword. Oh, yeah, I get my woman nice and hard. Ew. 
<laughs> Listen to this. Hey, Shredder, bring that statue back. You bloated beanbag. They're talking to the TV. <laughs> that was dumb. You bloated beanbag. I mean, come on, Konami. You can make something better like uh, you bloated mother... No. You dirty cocksucker. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm sure that would have been good in the 90s for kids' games. And now we're playing Street Race 2 here. Uh, this one's much better than Streets 2. No, I don't think so. Hey. I think different. But this game is still... Uh, 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 bullshit. This is better. <laughs> I disagree as anyway. well. No, I'll tell you what. The music is definitely not better. But the music in this game is cool, though. I'm not knocking this game at all. This is one of my favorite Turtles games ever. It probably is my favorite Turtles game. Yeah, uh, this one and the arcade game. Yeah. This could be like the arcade game part two. I mean, it's arcade game type graphics. Yeah, this one is uh, It's more fun because it's not as hard and there's more levels. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know, uh, me and J-Man did a low-budget review of this game a while back, so check that out. Click the link Go the watch box. it. Yep. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, um, I remember when I first rented this game from a rental store. Duh, rental store. It's called Flix. I probably never heard of it. That's why I say rental store. That's and and there's beer. Ah! Okay. Um, and, you know. At my eyes can hurt people. Ooh, Lasers. good comeback. Um, all right, enough. Um, <laughs> and so when I first seen the cover box, I'm like, whoa, Ninja Turtles 4 for Super Nintendo? And, you know, being a big Turtles fan, I picked it up and rented it, but I didn't know what to expect. And, yeah, me and my friends played it in two-player mode, and, man, we had fun. This game is awesome. The game is pretty easy, though, even on hard mode. You got crushed. It does make it enjoyable, though. Yeah, it, I mean, it's not, like, too easy, easy, but... I mean, it's, it's still an easy game. Even in a hard mode, it's like, you know, just, it's not really that hard, but still challenging enough to where you can have fun with the game. Get the pizza. <laughs> Baxter Flyman. Now we fight We Guy here. <laughs> yeah, pizza. I like pizza. Yeah, get ready for my pizza. I need pizza. Uh, Tim Foley and uh... Silver Surfer. <laughs> Silver Surfer. Yeah. Super, super. I mean, Master's Quest. Air 13. Um. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> Don't oh. make me hit. <laughs> Getting pwned right I here. I like his handgun. Come on, Jimmy. Press start. Yeah. Handgun. <laughs> no way. You're on your own. Creepy ass fly, dude. <laughs> this is handgun and. Ass gun. <laughs> yeah, it's like the ass grabber gun. Ass. <laughs> I mean, the the music in this game really fits the the whole Ninja Turtle thing. And the boss battle yeah. music is pretty cool. Cowabunga! All right, Big Apple, three a.m. Clear. Alley Cat Blues. Scene two. Alley Cat Blues. Skin. Skin two. <laughs> Scheme 2. <laughs> Pyramid. <laughs> now, this, uh, yeah. this level's a whole lot like the arcade game. Yeah. Looks much more like it. This is the easiest Ninja Turtles game. Now, I'm not including Tournament Fighters or whatever, but, you know, oh. all, all four of the Ninja Turtles games, you know, like, you know, just this type of game, Ninja Turtles 1, 2, 3, and 4, this is the easiest. With me, oh, the yeah. hardest, the hardest to me, by far, the hardest to me is probably part three. Part three or part one? Oh, wait, we forgot about Hyperstone Heist. Uh, I don't know much it's about the same that. thing. <laughs> yeah, basically, but I haven't played that in so long. I don't remember about it, but uh, it's pretty awesome. Oh, we'll just call it the same. Yeah, fair enough. It's close enough. Well, I'm sure Jeff is right now saying, "Yeah, it's better on the Genesis." <laughs> I don't think Jeff watches anymore. <laughs> You know, screw you guys. You guys suck. You know what? I'm gonna go suck Charlie's cock. <laughs> oh, oh. I love you, master. <laughs> yeah. If you're watching this, Jeff, um, I love you. <laughs> Boy, you're not doing it right, mate. 
harder. <laughs> and I like the different color foot soldiers in this game. Now hurry up and finish up so I can go do the dishes. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there goes that bridge. Back to the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how you can throw the foot at the screen. Yeah, that that's pretty yes, awesome definitely. too. My my favorite move is when you smash them le left and right. Oh, I think that happens like too much. It becomes like really repetitive and stuff. It never gets old to me. <laughs> it's still real to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not old to me. Well, you do have to you have to get good at, at throwing the enemies at the screen uh, for the end of the game. No, oh, not God, the end of the game. The, um, no, not the, the end yeah, of the, 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 the yeah, the yeah, the yeah, the yeah, yeah. It was it's like shredder. the first level, ain't it? Yeah, the first battle was shredder. Right. Oh, and then you go back in time. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Blame it on the alcohol. Oh, come on, I've been drinking. I've been sauced for like a day now, and I'm still... So? All right. Fine. <laughs> and, here's, and here's the boss of scene two, Metalhead. And Bear, Metalhead. I don't know what... I, I don't want to know what your definition of sauced is. It just sounds gross. Buzz. Buzz. Yeah. I think Metalhead uh, was created... I don't want to hear that. I think Metalhead was created by Krang, and then like... In the episode, Don Teller reprogrammed to attack Krang and Shredder and, and Bebop and Rocksteady in the, in the Technodrome. Well, the and... Shredder is a metalhead. Boo. Wait, what? No, I said Krang <laughs> created Metalhead. Then Don know, Teller reprogrammed. But, but, but maybe uh, Shredder created him. Because they're both metalheads. Uh, but I'm Tish. Boo. Grimshot. There's another episode where... Uh, don't tell I think programmed Metalhead to like be their nurse because they're all sick. They're oh, nurse. Uh, something like that, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, <makes> still, <laughs> I still think metal still think metal had looked really fucking awesome. Yeah. Oh, and that's the end of part one, so stay tuned later for part two. God bless and take care. Peace out. See ya. Um, welcome to part two of Ninja Turtles in Time. This is We Got 309. My way, Dead Fan 93. We Got 309. And Guest Star Hero 21. <laughs> you said my name twice. What the heck? <laughs> this is We Got's clone here, along with We Got himself. Yeah, no, this is weird. <laughs> and no, Stage 3? We Got 103. Yeah, Whatever. So anyway, yeah, Stage 3. Sword Surfing. Sewer Suffin. Sufin. Silver, silver Surfer. Silver Surfin. <laughs> sewer Shenanigans. They got a new comic book character called uh, uh, Super Surfer. Boo. No players, actually. But <laughs> that's a terrible name. And this is basically a bonus stage, but it acts like a real stage. Which is retarded, but whatever. They need, they need a placeholder for stages. Oh! Owned. Let's for the spike bars. Oh, owned again. Oh, for the spike balls. That's what she said. Yeah. Watch out for the spikes. This stage really gives you owned. balls. All right, pizza oh. monsters. We got pizza monsters. Pizza alien. We got the pizza monster. Um, no, I'm giving wow. all your pizza. All your pizza belong to me. <laughs> I didn't know you were yellow. I love the music in the stage. It's an awesome song right next to the first stage. Yeah. That Street Race 2-esque stage. It was a setup the whole time. Uh, damn it, we're gonna get flagged because we went silent for more than five seconds. Damn it. Good job, everyone. <laughs> Can say anything. And, well, what the hell do you expect me and... to do? I'm fucking sick. <laughs> And here's the boss, Solid Snake. Wait, wait, who? Hey, wait, wait what? <laughs> Bullshit. I'll call okay. Shin the Shinigans. <laughs> Ronnie, you said his name wrong. This guy's real name is Jackass Apocalypse. Who? What? <laughs> I don't know. I just made it up just now. What Watch out, that? kids. Watch out, kids. Playing Turtles in Time will give you cancer. <laughs> And it's all the Rat King's fault. He's the one Just that like gives breathing. You breathing will also give you cancer. 
Oh, that's gay. I breathe a lot. <laughs> I know, it's like, I have to breathe. I don't know why. That's fucking gay. Ow. You got on for no reason. I get pumped by our king. Oh, come on, man. You're, you're, you're a ninja turtle. You can take missiles to the chest, no problem. But he's the rat king. That don't mean shit. <laughs> Solid, Unless he's stone cold. Unless he's stone cold, he ain't nobody. He's he saw the snake's illegitimate so brother. Crazy. Now wait a minute, he just jumped in the air right there. I mean, would he have fallen in the water right there? I mean, you know, the surfboard could have kept on going and never mind. Anyway, <clears throat> stage four, the techno drone, look how far they jumped. I wish I could do that. Did someone say techno? <laughs> oh, sorry. Let's kick shit. Gets cut off. Okay, I can't wait till you fight Slash. I want to see you get like owned horribly. Yeah, he's like the ECW turtle. Exactly. He he's probably my favorite turtle out of all of them, besides like Donatello. Yes, yeah, that's, that's the crackhead turtle. Like crackhead McGee. He has the voice of that guy from Police Academy. I don't care. He was a beast in the comic. He. Took a tank shot to the face and he was just standing there like, yo, what are you doing? Stop it. That tickles. <laughs> That'd be cool if there's a code in this game to play a slash. Uh, the game would be so easy. Slash the guitarist. You know? Yeah. Yeah, solo, go. Slash from Guns N' Roses. That's awesome. I love oh that God. move right there. Well, I love your move right there. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's what she just said. Yeah, exactly, Green. Go, Green, go! I'd love you to shut up. Well, oh, I love you, damn. so... We would all love that. I wouldn't we? <laughs> what is that, Mewji in the background? Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, I guess. Pay I attention. Dark. Pay attention to the actual gameplay. No, no, shut up, Paul. Look at those TVs. <laughs> Radiation. Okay, I'm done looking at Shredder on it. I want to actually change the channel. Shredder TV. It's not Smash TV, so I guess it's better. <laughs> Why can't it be like a Mr. Bean when you just walk by it, it goes aesthetic? Wow, so this must be the last stage already. What a short game when a Tenno drum already. <laughs> Alright, now I fight Toka and Razor Ramon. Eh, they don't seem so hard. That's what the differences are in the movie they are. Weapons. Now you know what make this fight even harder if Slash was in it. <laughs> What's with the Slash character? I don't know it's even T that much. Are you kidding me? I thought you were just joking with this earlier. What? Yeah, Slash is like this crackhead turtle on steroids or something. I mean, he's oh. crazy. I mean, the only thing I know about yeah, T is, you know, turtles and Shredder and Smash is player. That's I right. think he was uh, he was created by Shredder and Krang, I think, if I remember the cartoon correctly. I don't correct. to know anything, so... I'm going by the original I... cartoon, not by the comic book or the sorry cartoon they brought out in 2003. Yeah, I don't remember. I think he's just an older turtle. And he lost his fucking mind. That's the end of Razor. I get Toka. That's the end of Toka. That was boring. Yeah, very. Well, that was ECW and intense. <laughs> I really love the song right here. Who elevator action? Oh wait, no. <laughs> Try to rip off Bear or whoever said that in uh, Donkey Kong Country Part Eight. Game man? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. Oh. Hey, look, Streets of Rage 2 moment. Oh, yeah. Ah! Except, you know, Streets of Rage 2 didn't have these obnoxious robots. Yeah. Well, I think they did part 3, but that game sucks. I forgot you hate part 3. I hate it. It's part I don't know what's wrong more than Target Renegade? <laughs> oh, what? I got, I got killed by Mauser. Come on. Uh -huh. That was kind of sad. Karma. Well, the game's on hard, so shut up. Karma. Oh, I didn't know that. Owned. Smashed his face for no reason. 
Oh no, Street Race 3 is still better than Target Renegade. No, uh, for me it's reverse. Nah, it's go Target Renegade. Go to me. better. You guys suck. <laughs> Uh, these are the foot soldiers that get on my nerves. They always block like a bunch of sissies. Be a man and unblock. Take shots to the head. Don't block like a sissy. Just like just like Rocky. Don't block. They're pink, man. They're sissies like that. Okay, now for the boss. It took me forever to figure out because I didn't know how to throw people onto the screen. Tonight I dine on Tato Soup. Thank you, James Avery. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. And you, you gotta like you gotta you gotta shoulder attack these pink foot soldiers or whatever, and then grab them and throw them at the screen. And since this is on hard mode, it takes about nine hits to kill Shredder right here. Well, that's if you can even throw him. Yeah, I mean you gotta like you know you gotta hit him first to where they drop the guard. Then that's when you grab him. And it's kind of tricky because you got you gotta fight him. And then you gotta contend with Shredder shooting at you and trying to grab you. Try he tries to like molest you and stuff. Yeah. Wow. Hey, down in front. <laughs> yeah. I can't just jump in the portal and get out of here. Boom, pwn, there you go. That's one. Oh, wait, no, you hit a few times. I, I had to cut out some footage here because it was so long it ran over the YouTube time limit. Oh, wow. You're just, you're going into the future. Yeah. I have to tell you about the future. <laughs> what about it? Oh, I won the, oh, I beat the stage. Okay, awesome. When you go back, you get pwned. Man, this does really hard. I wouldn't know how to throw them, him, them at the at Shredder. I would fail at the stage. Well, it's just a basic grab move, but I mean, it's... Oh, no, this game. That's not what's hard about it. It's just I mean, it's what you got to contend with while doing it. Come on, we need another warp to the future. I can't just throw myself at him and then it counts as a hit. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I can't just throw my swords at him. Throw a grenade at him, fuck that. You know what, throw a massive splinter at him. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't do anything in the game. Good, get over there. <laughs> like, five hits. Three more I can hits just here. climb onto him and then start just jabbing your sword towards him. I mean, logic He'll probably here. shoot me. he shoot you. Yeah. he probably just get up there and punch him in the face, but I get off my, get off my Gundam. Get off, you idiots! Keep up, fuck steady! <laughs> After them! <laughs> then they're like, oh, we yeah. can't. <laughs> okay, boy. <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's Jeff and he's a mutant. Uh-huh. I heard from Whatever. <laughs> this is for Archangel. Oh! You know what he should do when he runs? He should be like, oh, yeah, I can see now. <laughs> Uh, you can't read because of the quality of this video, probably, but anyway. I blame you, Ron. Blame YouTube. I blame I, you. I blame, I blame the shenanigans. Okay, as Shredder banishes us in time, we are out of time. Get it? Huh? We'll see you <laughs> in part three. God bless and take care. Bye. I blame weak guy. <laughs> Welcome to part three of Turtles in Time. This is Ron Moore along with Bear13, J-Man6241, okay. and we got 309. Sweet. Okay. S sour. Puss. <laughs> e. <laughs> Alcohol. Drugs. Nike. Reebok. Nintendo. <laughs> Alright, and oh here's boy. the first level where we go back in time. Sweet. What about How come the trolls don't just stab the dinosaurs? Because it's animal cruelty. Then the game would not be released in America if that happened. Yeah, not Nintendo animals. of America would censor it or something. Yeah, Nintendo of America would. Yeah, that's what I just said. No, you said America. Nintendo of America. It's just it's in America! No. Uh -huh. ah, ah. Do, do, do. Okay. Someone needs to hurt you. Bad. Uh -huh. Why don't you um, hurt... Anyway. Fight those, fight those pink rangers. Get them. Ah, uh, here we go. The pink ranger, yeah. <laughs> okay, now we're playing Golden Axe. Golden Axe. Sure, Jeff would get a hard, uh... Hard on? <laughs> yeah. A hard on for this. It's Sega. Go Sega. Nintendo. Battle to battle. Axe Blade. Yeah. 
Oh, well, hell no. Uh oh, here's General Trag and his soldiers. Oh. Yeah, it's crazy how they're just like regular enemies in this game. Yeah, really. Okay, I'm fit Leonardo again because he's the best one to use in this game. And he failed. Oh, you should have used the other dude. No, no it's Don Tello. Yeah, the it's the other Tello. dude. Yeah, that narrows it down. <laughs> <laughs> the orange one. Oh, the other dude's great. The one that's not a dude. The one that's not white. Wait. Which one's that? That's not. Well, they're all not white. They're really I'm the best Leonardo. He's the leader anyway. No, Raphael's the leader. The leader means automatically means the best. This is. I hated him on the curtain. The because, because if they're not the best, then how can they be the leader? Because there's no one else wants to be. <laughs> Wife beater, what? Meat beater. <laughs> Wife beater leader. Pink Ranger again, grr! The lone Pink Ranger. Yeah, because you died and had to go back to the start. Well, why is the Pink Ranger again? Well, why don't you, uh, pick the Pink Ranger? Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> 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 More golden axe <laughs> action. <laughs> As we go into the dragon's vagina. Ew, oh, don't worry. Right. One hell of a dragon. <laughs> General, General Trag's lackeys here. Those are, they, they those are like stuff. things from... What, what do they look like? Uh, the things from Donkey Kong Country 3. In the caves. You know, those things you can remember, but never mind. Yeah, I think yeah, they're in the first that. Donkey Kong Country as well. The third one. Oh, alright, alright, here's J-Man now. Hi. What the hell? <laughs> I'll come to, um, help you out. <laughs> I guess. No, actually, <laughs> no, actually this is a... Fucking... This is a controller ROM glitch, where I push, I meant to push pause, and I... Instead, it brings out the second player, and now I'm controlling both the players at the same time. <laughs> Dude, that's ECW. Yeah. Well, it's helping, so... That's no, it's just that me and J-Man are very in sync with each other in teamwork here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah J-Man's the good um, one, the good turtle thing. No, you're... The, you're the turtle the, thing. You're the, you're the good. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, man. Turtle. <laughs> Power. ECW power! <laughs> I've got the power! Okay. And it's over 9,000. Mm, no. What's this not 1,000 stuff? I mean, yeah, Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Z. So, yeah, oh, Dragon Ball. I don't watch Dragon Balls. <laughs> yeah, but you yeah. sure do like sucking them. <laughs> well, so? I mean, they're good. <laughs> those, those, can those candy button jawbreakers? Yeah, those, yeah, those are good. <laughs> They're balls of steel. <laughs> those are the only balls I like. Stop talking Watch about out. balls. Watch out for dinosaurs. Y'all want to talk about dragon's balls? He was talking about dragon balls. Dinosaur balls. balls. When I first seen the title of that in the magazine, I, I really thought it was called Dragon Balls. Exactly. And I was like, what the heck is this cartoon about? Japan, they have all these crazy thinking things and brains and stuff. Thinking things. <laughs> yeah, thanks, the dude thanks, Ricky. the thing, the thing. <gasps> Tell me how sex works, Bubbles. There's <laughs> <laughs> space talk. No. Yeah. <laughs> space weed and fucking space hookers. <laughs> space lobster. Gotta re the thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, I like the uh, the Shredder Mountain over there. Yeah, that's like pretty cool. Evil hideout. It reminds me of, this game really does learn about your future in many ways, more than time travel, but you got Biff going back in time changing things, now Shredder's going back and changing stuff over here. <laughs> well, if you could go back into the future, wouldn't you change shit up? No. Oh, it's Slash. Bullshit. Oh, right, here we go, Slash. About time I get to find out what this character was. The ECW I turtle. Slime ball. This guy is no joke. Unless Speaking of joke, uh, two theory. turtles walked into a bar. No, no. <laughs> and then the bartender said, "You guys can't be in here, you turtles." So they laughed without a fuss. No, they beat up everybody in the bar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> two gorillas walked to a bar. No. <laughs> one of them was a drunken slut, and the other one was a drunken whore. <laughs> the end. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> 
Oh, I'm glad I had this two-player controller glitch here, because this makes it a lot easier. Oh, now. <laughs> uh, now he's getting mad. Oh, man. He's pulling both of us now. Oh my god. Slice just the demon sword. Freaking demon Kimbo. sword on the NES. Freaking Kimbo oh, slice with the turtles over here. Yeah, he's got the blocker roll. Yeah. <laughs> Slash came from the mean streets of Southside, New York. New Jersey. I mean, Southside sewers. Oh. <laughs> and now he's beating up turtles for street change. <laughs> yeah, in the past. He's become a YouTube sensation, and UFC assigned him to a one-year contract. Six-fight contract. <laughs> I'm the ultimate turtle. Come on, don't die! Die! Ultimate crustacean fighting. Die! <laughs> God uh, damn, hurry up. Uh, oh, you're tearing me apart, Jamie. Oh, uh, uh, that's right, I gotta continue. You're telling me apart. Now what? Now what? Uh! You're talking to a thing that like ten year olds could beat. <laughs> Mr. Thirty Year Old or something. Oh yeah, right. You forget this is on hard, and I'd like to see you do a video response beating this. Yeah, or any video response, response at all. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> Mr. Video. <laughs> I'm not ten though. <laughs> at Nintendo. Okay, and okay. the second uh back in time level. I wonder oh, if that's me buying fight Johnny Depp and Orlando Ooh. Bloom. Ah, oh, kick uh, Johnny Depp's ass. I hate that bitch. <laughs> you <whoop. laughs> can't be Orlando Broom. Or Bloom. Broom. Broom. <laughs> 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 he has a blooming personality. Orlando Mop. <laughs> Georgia Mop. Uh, How is this funny? <laughs> I don't know. It's not. It's just... <laughs> It's S2K, random speaker mind stuff. Mainly talking to Bear. He's not funny. <laughs> yeah. I'm just jacking you down that way though. Whoa! Anyway. Harder, harder baby, harder. <laughs> uh, we just can't compare with all the hilarious comments that you made on this video we got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? What? Exactly. I feel so sad. I feel so <laughs> Awesome stage music, as always. Uh, this music sucks. <laughs> I don't think there's no music in this game that's lame. No, it's like it's like Target Renegade music. No, I said the music <laughs> in this game is cool. <laughs> uh, <you> bitch. <laughs> I'm never gonna forgive you for that. <laughs> no suck a bone. Okay. It's like golden crossbones in this level. Never mind. <laughs> you too slow. All right, here comes Davy Jones. Oh, watch out! <laughs> yeah, at oh, least the bowling that. balls hit them in this game, or the cannon. Yeah, balls. that's pretty cool. <laughs> balls. At least someone's hitting them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Ronnie. Don't don't get the whip out on me. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. He's fired. <laughs> okay, Bear's been judged from the call. Um, <laughs> hey, right at the end too. Damn yeah. near the end. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I said you're judged from the call. Be quiet. Um, <laughs> you shut up. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> I can buy just yet. Bombs. Alright, we're out of time here, and as I get pwned by bombs, this game is the bomb, but we have to stop right here. We will see you guys in part quattro. God bless and take care. See ya. Pizza time. Part game. Welcome to Turtles in Time, part quattro. I gotta stop saying numbers in Spanish. This is Ron Moore, along with DeadFan93. I'm dragged here against my will. Yeah. And DeadFan is Don Tello. Um... Am I? <laughs> no, not really. Um, once again, this is the two-player glitch that's continuing from part three. Uh, this two-player glitch where you control both of them at the same time. 
Yeah, that's weird. It's just it's something with the emulator and the controller input. Well, that's actually awesome. That's almost like when you're using the ice climbers in Brawl. You're controlling both of them at the same time. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah? Yeah, this, uh, it makes the game easier, because this game is on hard. But even though this game is on hard, it's not the hardest game out there. It's more like normal hard, really. Um... Yes? I don't know. Oh, you you played this game, have you? <laughs> no, I actually haven't. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, here's the, the funniest villains in the Ninja Turtle series, Bebop and Rocksteady. Sure. And <laughs> they, they kind of kick in my butt here, but uh, they're not really that hard. I'm just not, I'm getting lazy because uh, I got like, Pseudo ECW mode here. Pseudo? <laughs> Pasuido. That's his parts of the Caribbean 16-bit uh, version. Pasuido shoes. <laughs> and now they're hitting each other as they die. They're even funny in the game. Yeah, that was, that was probably my favorite. Next to Shredder, I think Bebop and Rocksteady, or maybe next, maybe Slash is above them also. I don't know. Bebop and Rocksteady is like the they're like the Gerald Briscoe and Pat Patterson of the Ninja Turtle series. Points for reference. Yeah, okay. Points for reference, sure. I know nothing <laughs> about Ninja Turtles, but... Alright, here's a uh, stage. I lost count. Uh, Bury my shell at Wounded Knee. Now, I don't get that reference. I know these stage, these, uh, stage names have references, but I don't get that one. Uh, Bury my heart at Wounded Knee. Okay, where'd that come from? John Wayne movie or? Uh, I, I don't remember. I think it may have been a book. Oh, okay. And we're an awesome stage. Awesome. Pretty much every stage has awesome music in this game. Pretty much. Well, it says bury my shell wounded knee. Where the hell are the, all the engines? I don't know. We need the engines. We're on a train. <laughs> what was H95? This is a Back to the Future Part 3 here. Back to the Future Part 3. There's a Shinobi horse. This music makes me think of Fei Long for some reason. I'm listening to the music now and I don't know why it makes me think of Fei Long. Just the music and the stage music I guess in the way and no, no, not stupid. at all. Anyway, not at all. <laughs> um, so you got Clint Eastwood back there, trying to hide behind those uh, old, old coats, whatever they were. One of those coats that Clint Eastwood wore in uh, High Plains Drifter or whatever those Western movies are called, good, we'll, bad, and ugly. We'll just say coats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> points for reference. If there are points to give. <laughs> yeah. We're just kind of shimming it on uh, over to the other side of the screen. Yeah, you know, no, this song makes me think of, uh, I think I can, I think I can. <laughs> and I find this, the Rock Soldiers, or the Stone Warriors, whatever they're called. I call them Rock Soldiers. Uh, and had, had to do a quick cut right here for time constraints. Oh, YouTube. Yeah. I wish people quit calling me during commentary. Yeah, me too. I have like 32 new messages to read in another conversation. Yeah. Stop it with your bleeping. Ugh, God. <laughs> Ooh, what the heck? Is that a Castlevania whip? Yeah. Well, it's Konami. Die, man! Freaking orange jumpsuit. Uh, looks like I just broke out of jail looking guy. Looks like he just broke out of jail looking guy. Yeah. Best insult ever. <laughs> Pwned! And yet three more come back. As I get shell shocked. Use my third or fourth continue here and I have five up in my hard mode. That's another thing, it's like on hard mode you get more continues. Because it's harder. So, most games give you, I think, less continues in hard mode. I don't know. Anyway. I, I don't really pay attention. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I think this... Oh, well. Get ready to fight the boss here. Oh, oh. that did not touch me! Yes, it did. It did not. It did, too. Okay, now that did. Yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> that did, yeah, but that, that one was like in midair. <laughs> Alright, here comes Leatherhead. Kind of a douchebag. I don't really like Leatherhead that much. Then again, all villains are douchebags, but, you know, some are cool douchebags. This one isn't. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. If you're going to be a villain douchebag, you need to be awesome. This guy, eh, just don't do it for me. Like Shredder and Slash, yeah, there you go. Not Leatherhead. Not really that hard. And very flamboyant in those clothes, I must say. Yeah. Well, he's Cajun. Oh, where my pink hat? <laughs> I, th I think I think we're fighting Bear. Yeah, probably. Oh, shut up. His name is Elhead. First fight Metalhead, now Leatherhead. Now Metalhead's a cool douchebag. He's just throwing, was it, lobsters at us? Now knives. Knives. Watch out for the E barrels. Points of reference. Yay! Bird my show at wow wound wounded knee clear. Wow. Gunster <laughs> Gunster Hero. Wow. Uh, wounded knee. Wow. Wounded knee means he like twisted it several times in a direction it shouldn't have been twisted in. A wounded knee. Yeah. Neon Knight Rider. All right, and we go to ten years from now. Neon Knight Rider. Oh damn. Pretty cool stage. Another bonus stage. As we play F Zero now, yeah. Awesome mode seven gameplay here. Mode seven is so city. next gen. Yeah, this is like Mute City Four here. Uh, Mute City. Points of reference. Points of reference. Points of reference. <laughs> Dang it, quit freezing, emulator. That's what you get for or playing. Computer. That's what you get for using emulators, man. Yeah, well, do me a favor and buy me a capture card, will you? No. Well then, until then, emulators. Alright. <laughs> this is like Back to the Future Part 2 here. You got, instead of skateboards hovering, you got these um, lily pads or wherever they are. Why'd I hit that thing? What? Hit detection. There we go. Oh. Grr. Those are things from Ninja Turtles too. You suck. <laughs> oh, don't look. See? I got that. <laughs> So, does this mean ten years from now I can go to Mute City and ride on hovering shells? Yep, I guess so. Fuck. Then, then again, Back to the Future 2 was, took place in 2015. I don't see all that happening anytime soon. Damn it. But anyway, here's Krang, or Super Krang. Super Krang? Here's a douchebag. Yeah, here's a douchebag feeling I don't like. Because Krang always, wasn't always, good enough? No, he just... I don't think he's cool. I mean, I've always wanted Shredder to, to kill him. Shredder's supposed to be the supreme villain in this, not Krang. But Krang is the brain, so I guess Shredder needs him. Can't have can't have brawn without brain. Then you just play dumb. Hello. Okay, if we lost Death Man, um, I'm here. Oh, I was asking. You, you said can't can't have something. But I didn't hear a damn thing. <laughs> Crane's almost finished. It looks like Hulk Hogan with that, with that fake body. Oh, he just bitch slapped me a couple of times. 
points of reference. You're going to pay. Show back. Yeah, that was Meatwad. And we'll see you guys in part five. God bless and take Meatwad. care. Welcome to part cinco, I couldn't resist, of Turtles in Time. This is Ron Moore along with Bear13, Gunstar Hero 21, and J-Man 46241. Hey, who was in the second player last time? Uh, oh, you haven't been teeping up. Um, there's apparently some sort of invisible person playing two-player mode with me. It's the unknown. I knew it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what's going on, um, Rick Astley? Um, what's going on is that this is a uh, emulator controller glitch. So I'm controlling these characters at the same time. Uh, okay, I get it. What it basically means is he doesn't know how to turn off the second player controller. <laughs> so <laughs> what, this means, <laughs> what this means is, is you need to sh sh shut up. <laughs> Are you happy let's, you got it out? Alright, and now we're at the second... The last stage before the last, um, the second to the last stage. <laughs> My commentary is way off tonight, people. Um, ain't too Have much green drinking? tea or something. Yeah, wrong concern. J Man's quit drinking while I've, he's got me hooked. Um, yep. He, 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 uh, his disease was contagious. Now I'm the alcoholic. No, um, uh, it's not a disease. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, so this is Starbase, where no turtle has gone before. But uh, we get ready to beat the game. Not this stage, <laughs> but the next level we beat the game. Because we get ready to fight Crank, <laughs> whatever form he's going to be in this time. Crackhead the Crank. I hate him. He's an asshole. <laughs> I like him. He's weird. I hate him. He shoots bubbles. He's a douchebag. <laughs> Oh, Spongebob shoots bubbles. Do you hate Spongebob, too? <laughs> That's I do. <laughs> That's different. He can he can blow bubbles any time. <laughs> That's Spongebob. <laughs> Spongebob thinks he's better than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Those foot soldiers come so, out of garbage chute. Yeah, they're like uh, laundry chutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> laundry chutes and ladders. Ha! <laughs> Yeah. See, when you slammed him on that glass, it should have broke. Yeah, really. In the middle. Yeah, you know, maybe should jump in the after him and die. <laughs> no, it's like a secret to the end of the level. Yeah, it'll take you to fight another slash. <laughs> yeah, oh man, not another slash. Yeah, and Green, tell Bear that uh, slash is not easy. He thinks only 10 year olds can beat him. Wow. <laughs> slash is retarded. <laughs> yeah. He has a stupid pattern you have to follow. Bear did a very response, but he got beat and he didn't upload it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just got too lazy to edit and record and look at right. stuff and right. Right. ADD. Things. ADHD. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> it tastes like burning. Oh, look out for the boy that? balls. Oh, oh, who's oh. that? Where is that? Bright light. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. It's supposed to roll forward at me. Now it's stuck in the loop. It's another, it's another glitch. Yeah. And maybe another ROM glitch. That's what you get for using the ROM, you douchebag. I just got a yep. hate mail from, uh, I, okay, now Game of Goose just sent his, uh, fanboys at me. Oh, no, not that again. <laughs> Oh, oh, man, I get, we're getting phoned over here. Now I can do the work of two turtles, but I'm still getting whooped. I think the next, next ST2K thing we should do, it should be called <laughs> Pimp Hand Productions. It should be called Meh <laughs> Hit. <laughs> yeah, do the uh, Beavis and Butthead game for Super Nintendo. Oh, man. Oh, God, he was terrible. I actually thought of doing that. No, I'm not going to do that or Genesis version. Y'all can. <laughs> I'm not. No, thanks. No, wait, what's up? I I'll commentate with it, I'm not going to report it. Yeah, it's fake yeah, it. Don't be like, sorry, I'm avoiding crap for the moment. It's nowhere near as good as a cartoon, let's just say that. Oh, damn, damn right. That cartoon was hilarious. By the way, anybody listen to this, if you know the name of the episode where uh, Todd, <laughs> the gang leader, shoves a phone up Stuart's dad's ass and it rings while it's up his ass, <laughs> please let me know, because me and Jamie have been trying to find the episode and we don't know the name yeah. of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I God. mean, seriously. 
I want to type in Beers and in the tag so that a fan of Beers and can find this video and answer our question. <laughs> yeah, so we can quit going crazy thinking about it. Yeah, really. You know, if they're looking for Beavis and Butthead, one, I don't think they click this video, and two, I don't think they wait five minutes in just to help you. Well, it's probably it's, it's the biggest lead we got. <laughs> and you, you don't know that, Barry. You don't know that. They might hear your voice and turn it off, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people stop watching this video by now because we've gotten way off topic as we get to Krang, the boss of this level. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Kiss my ass. I think you're like you're like really breathing into your mic right about now. I, I don't care. Um, <laughs> screw it. Exactly. I mean, if Magus don't care, wash it off. <laughs> and I straight up watches in, in the background. But thank you, Bear, for actually warning me this time. Unlike we got and other people didn't warn me last time, and I played it back so I could have a freaking asthma attack. <laughs> Wait, was I there for that? Because I was yeah. totally not something on purpose. I think Def Jam was in that too. But I don't know, but. No one warned me. This said even here. How can you not hear that? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're all very bad people. <laughs> that, that is not James Avery laughing. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure they didn't want to pay him to say like two things in the game. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Bebop, Rocksteady, get them. Do it. Fuck. Beat the shit out of them. Right. Sorry, that's the best accent, <laughs> accent I can do of a uh, James Avery Shredder. I remember the old cartoon series that had substitute for James Avery. Odd, oh, not good. It did not fit Shredder really. Uh, it, it just didn't work. James Avery, no one could be better than him at doing Shredder's voice. Go, Uncle Phil. Exactly. And go away, Crane. Yeah. The holes our way home. Let's go. Bear I likes holes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she like, said. No, I like men's holes. <laughs> but they oh. followed your advice. Always and go for the hole. I especially like the nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. The final shell shot. The final shell shot. He actually wasn't that bad. Like, not complete to, like, fucking slash. What's that? Oh, okay. We still have nose fucking. And there's Shredder. <laughs> And now there's Kevin Nash. Wow, <laughs> bitch, I'm on fire. I'm on Hadoukens yeah. and everything. This could be a pretty challenging battle, but the trick, I don't, I'm trying not to use the pause trick, where you can push, st push pause and see exactly what he's going to do next. Because he, he's either going to attack you in the air or on the ground, and that green Hadouken he just shot, that will transform you to a normal turtle and you lose the life that way. Yeah, it's, it's like their big game. Yeah. I have questions. What? Why did he bother stealing the Statue of Liberty? Because he wants to... Uh, he wants to liberate freedom from freedom fighters. No, he wants, wants to, to, anyone he to, wants like, to hold it ransom. Ass. He wants to hold it ransom for one million dollars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly, and then after he gets his money, he's gonna drop it on the White House. <laughs> Be like, here you can have it, I never want it in the first place. Your fucking statue, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that statue of liberty, is that man or woman? Um, it's probably a woman. <laughs> oh, okay. You have to be told this. Well, I wasn't sure, you can't tell. Sure. <laughs> you shut up. You don't know a woman from a from your head. Oh. <laughs> it anyway, it's been a problem plaguing me all my life. I just want the torture to end. I want this battle to end. It's pretty awesome, but uh. Yeah, it's taking forever. I'm doing it. Just like oh, I'm swinging at the air. I think this. I don't know. If it's my last continue or what? We gotta be careful. Don't tell oh, me. Oh, you know you're gonna be him. You're not corner. supposed to spoil that. People are supposed <laughs> to wonder if Spoiler make it. alert! <laughs> terrible. Oh, Dontello, you oh. idiot. You're supposed oh. to be the genius of the group. The genius oh. got me for no reason. Alright, come on! He's, All right. he's, he's just trying to be like Leonardo. 
All right, one more notch. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. About time. Oh, come oh, on. Not even dead yet. Is this the same Turtle. battle as Hyperstone Heist? Yeah. Turtle, so. want to rape. Come on, do it. It's funny. Oh, would you stop <laughs> burning my toes? <laughs> Stay no, on your toes. Yeah. You don't want to step on any toes. Oh, God. Oh, Just God. kill him. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, come on. There, finally. Oh, that was like a triple KO. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, that's Just the HW finish. I missed it. <laughs> what? I looked away. He was looking at Young Boy. Hold on, hold on, let's rewind it. Not too late. <laughs> They're like, hey, look, boobies. Now, can the turtle blip already carry that heavy statue? Probably. Yeah, little meal, you banana colored slut. <laughs> yeah. Look at the massive slip. I like see that little kid jump up there. Yeah, that was bear. <laughs> um, Alright, so that I is it for part 5. Stay tuned for part 6 where we'll see the ending and do a let's discuss. So until then... And get away from Master Splendor looking like a pedo. God bless and take care. Fuck off. Hey, peace out. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Let's Discuss, Turtles and Tom. This is Ron Moore along with We Got 309, J-Man 46241, and Gunstar Hero 21. And look at Raphael. <laughs> it looks like he's about to fall off. He's such a douchebag. Yeah, he's a cool douchebag. Fuck him. <laughs> Is there any such thing as a cool douchebag? I don't think so. No. Look at Leonardo walking off at it. He's like, yeah. I'm not going to fall off. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Game oh. over. Game over. We got to play the game again. Hey, what is this blast for me? There's it's red, to... purple, and, and blue. No, they went in the yellow, but Michelangelo, he should be orange, not yellow. What the hell? They got it wrong. Die! You're colorblind. That's orange. No, it's it's yellow. I, I thought I was supposed to be blind. yellow. Well, then that's Konami's fault. Don't get mad at, at me. No. Hey, Konami. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, what the hell are we doing again? There it is. Konami. Konami. Konision. <laughs> <laughs> This game would be right. so much cooler if Slash was playable. <laughs> Y'all, man, that would be so easy to yeah. if Slash was playable. Yeah, they, they should remake this and have unlockable characters. They did. They remade it on the uh, Xbox 360 or whatever. It's the MNT Reshelled, which is pretty much like a Time Reshelled. They took him out of that. They took yeah. Slash out of that? Yup, you don't fight Slash, you fight like this mud man dude who's even cheaper than he is. Hey, that's lame. That's faking gay. Why? Is it a copyright issue or what? Fucking gay! Uh, it was, um... It was because they didn't want to put in, they wanted it to feel more like the arcade version. So they took out the Rat King, they took out Slash, and they took out someone else, I think. Shredder. Got your mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, Shredder's still that there, game. but he's, he's dirtier. Look at Splinter looking like a pedophile again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, April just looking like, well, pretty much sells for itself. <laughs> Gang man. Beating up on Leonardo for no reason. That remake loses points for losing yeah. Rat King and especially Slash. Definitely. Yeah, you want me to? I'll, I'll bootleg as hell that game. <laughs> don't, don't bootleg it. Oh, you mean, oh. Yeah, my video is here. Webcam, the old school low budget review. Mm -hmm. Pizza Monster. <laughs> Those, yeah, the pizza monsters are actually the boss in Sewer Surfing in the remake. Uh, that sounds cool. Like, after you kill them, that's it. I mean, there's no, like, boss battle at the end with the boss battle music or nothing? Just No. Oh, that's lame. Yeah, they screwed that game all up. I think I've seen yeah, K-Wing but... review it, but I barely remember. I gotta go back and watch it again. And... Like, come on yeah, now. Yeah, because they don't even have the original music, as far as I've seen. Yeah, like, that yeah. game don't sound like a remake then. Well, I mean, remake is like supposed to be pretty much like similar. I mean, some elements different, but same time, you know, similar. Mainly enhance the gameplay and the graphics, of course, and the music. It, Except it's also supposed to be like of the now generation that's being remade in. Yeah, they sure took out Leatherhead. Take out that douchebag. Now nah, Leatherhead stayed in. I oh. think. Damn it! Yeah, we really need to like bash that game. Yeah, we need Leatherface. <laughs> Leatherface. I think Leatherface. they took these two guys out too. Oh, come on. What are they doing, man? I don't remember they... though, that maybe. I know yeah, Slash. Slash is there. EC Dub. EC Dub. Slash, Pretty... the guitarist. Woo. 
Oh, oh they're still there. Did they oh, take good. them two out too? I was about to say, man, they took those two out. That's it. That's it. <laughs> it's like we're ending this commentary now. Yeah, take this douche bag out. I'm gonna get you, Roboto Rulo. Uh, I'm gonna get you. He's still in it. Crank's still in it. Yeah, Crank's still in it. He's actually a bit harder. Hmm. And right. the Super Shredder is just as cheap, except he actually gets life back. Oh man. Kind of challenge, he's kind of challenging enough on here on hard mode. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Look at their faces. Kevin Ash as Super Shredder. <laughs> it's, like, oh, it's like an old school cartoon. <laughs> ah, bug eyed. Congratulations, my students. You have completed your training and. and are now true ninjas. Sorry, I ran out of breath to my students. <laughs> <laughs> they take out the Cowabunga part. Yeah. Actually, I don't even think that part. I don't remember. I don't it took out the ending. <laughs> Wait, then what the I. That must have been a dream because I remember beating that game. <laughs> Alright, record time 33 minutes. Two assisted. No. Now, isn't that like the original <laughs> Turtles? Like that drawing right there? I think there was, so. There was like a comic book before the cartoon, but yeah. Yeah, pretty much. That comic was the shit. Slash punched the tank. He took a missile to the face. It was hilarious. That's ECW. Um, yeah, look at the cover box right here. Man, that looks awesome. Yeah, it's very. Look how pissed off Michelangelo looks. Yeah, Michelangelo's supposed to be all happy. These these are comic book turtles on the cover right here. <laughs> they, well, badass they man. No, the awesome. no the comic book turtles. They all had, they all had red, right? I think so. Yeah, I think so. And they had like skinny necks. <laughs> <laughs> he just, uh. If you've seen like the box cover of Ninja Turtles one for the NES, one of their feet is messed up on the artwork. Wow, that would happen. <laughs> but uh, anyway, Turtles in Time, one of the most fun Turtles games ever created. It's, I think it's my personal favorite Turtles game. Um, I mean, real similar to the arcade game, uh, the gameplay, and I mean, the music in this game is just real awesome. Every stage pretty much has awesome music. Um, there's some games that where they have most stages have awesome music, but then there's some that are kind of lame. I really can't think of any bad uh, music uh, in this entire soundtrack. Yeah, um, so we guys should upload a soundtrack of this, but I think I'm sure there's been other people's done it. Already. I'm pre yeah, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's been uploaded already. And uh, but yeah, I mean this game, the controls and the fun factor, especially with two players. Um, even on hard mode, the game isn't real hard, but still uh, fairly challenging. Um, if you're a Turtles fan, you haven't played this yet, you've been missing out all these years. You've got to check this out. And so, then you uh, have to kick yourself in the ass for not playing this. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this game. And I'm going to have to give it a 9 out of 10. J-Man? Um, yeah, I absolutely agree. Uh, there's really not too much wrong with this game. Um, I remember back in the day when they had the arcade game and they ported it to the Nintendo... And I was kind of upset by the way that it looked. Um, this game not only made up for that, but uh, it kicked the arcade game's ass. Um, I enjoyed this game a lot. Me and my friends, uh, we would switch on and off playing through the playing through the whole game. Lots of fun. Um, definitely my favorite Turtles game, and one of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo altogether. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10. Great game. Yeah. Green? Yeah, okay. Oh. No, me for me. Next, me next. <laughs> Green me guy. Next, me next. Well, I was waiting for someone to say something. If not, I was going to pick somebody. Just like the teacher in okay. class. Okay, I'm okay, going to pick somebody. Okay, okay, if that's I, what I said, all right. Okay, I'll go. Okay, like with this game, like I love this game because me and my uncle used to play the hell out of this game. It was like, um, I think I was disappointed with it was that they took out the Pizza Power song from the arcade game, which I expected them to keep in. And, um, and it pretty much hit besides, like, you know, Slash being an asshole. But, like, in terms of everything else, it's solid, it's superb, and it gets a 9.5 from me, also. Woo! Okay, J Man? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? J Man number two? Fair? Um, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. so, shut up. Okay. Uh, Thanks, Bear. <laughs> yeah, well, I've actually played this game, so yay. I could actually give a score to this, to games that you guys, but oh, wait, besides yeah, that content. On, like, the last, like, seven games. 
don't like Contra and Super C. I, I play those, so I gave those scores. But, um, yeah, this game is uh, really a fun and great uh, beat-em-up, especially on the uh, Super Nintendo. The gameplay and uh, controls are pretty, yeah, superb and classic and fun. Music, of course, awesome. Like you said, Ron, I like how every song is that good. It, it really is. Go to the people that compose this soundtrack. Yeah. Yeah, good graphics, too. Pretty pretty nice and colorful and pretty on the Super Nintendo. And so, overall, this score for me... I mean, this this score for me is a 9 out of game. No, wait, wait what? No. <laughs> 9 game, out of game. This game, this, game for me, this game for me has a score of 9 out of 10. 9 out of game. game. Yes, um, and before that's a game of nine out of ten. <laughs> no, it's yeah, yes. Do you and guys before think... I forget, the remake gets a four because it sucks. Activision should have paid Konami for everything. Yeah, really. But I think Konami lost the rights to Turtles. Is that right? No, they still have them. But why did they make the freaking game? Activision didn't so they can make money. Well, anyway, do you guys think this is better than Hyperstone Heist? I've never played that. One. Never played that. Yeah, I never played that. <laughs> I have. It's been a long time. Game. What are you talking about? No, nah, well, I mean, no, there's a lot of different stages, different environments, different music. I mean, it's not exactly the same. Well, it still had to do with the damn Statue of Liberty, except he shrunk the damn city. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, okay, that is it. Um, stay tuned for Let's Discuss Part 2, where Star Soldier and Jason Realization were throwing their two cents about this game. Yeah. So, so uh, let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, end this right here and pass it on to... Uh, Star Soldier. We say Star Soldier and Jake. Hey guys, this is Jason, a special guest, uh, Santino Morella. Hello, I am Santina Malella. Santina? Yeah. Or Santino Malella. That's right. Yeah. Mr. WrestleMania. Or, uh, <laughs> or I am uh, the former Intercontinental Champion. Best in the world. Even better than the Honky Donkey Man. Yes. Oh no, I just Star Soldier one here. Yeah. Not Santino Morella. So, hey, yeah, hey, Ron Moore, and hey, J-Man, and hey, we guy, and hey, everybody else, we're here doing a special, you all talk about, yeah, special review, or wrap-up, or wrap-up of whatever, of Turtles, for Turtles in Time, for the Super Nintendo, yeah, still one of our favorite Super Nintendo games of all time, probably in my top 20, at least, because it's so, yeah, it's pretty good, I like it, what do you say, Jay? Um, you know, you make, it's funny how you mentioned time because it does take time to uh, message people, and you know where I'm going with this. Uh, I did not get any notice <laughs> from Lauren Moore himself about doing yeah. uh, our Turtles in Time yeah. uh, video or review or whatever you want to call it. He contacted him, and then he had to tell me, like, mm -hmm. it was your idea, man, you should contact us both of us, but anyway, I'll let it slide this time, but don't do it again. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. uh, Turtles and in he, Time, great game. Yeah, he wanted to do a whole bunch of horrible things in Ron Moore after he heard that. Oh, I can't believe he didn't forgive me. Why did he forget me? Why? Why? Oh, come on, Ron Moore. I'm a part of the group. Why? <laughs> then he started bawling, like, why did he forget me? <laughs> why? Why did you... Why did you include okay. Star Soldier but not me? <laughs> well, anyways, yeah, we should talk about Turtle 4 here. Okay. Yeah, come on. Get serious. Hey, we, game. Yeah. Yeah, and this is a great game for a Super Nintendo. First ever Turtles game for the Super Nintendo. That was very close to the arcade game. Um, unfortunately, you can only play like two players in it, but hey, we don't care. Yeah. You know, hooking up a four player adapter and having those controllers on for who gives a crap? Turtle hey, Hazard. Yeah, because you got all four characters in there, all of them play differently. You got a new run move. You got tons of different variety in the gameplay. Cold mode screen. That's yeah, cool. cold mode time effects. Yeah, Konami was able to actually maximize the Super Nintendo even that early on. All their games had like cold mode time effects. The games ran pretty fast. <laughs> like except for Gradius 3, which you know ran really slowly when the screen filled up. But anyways, my point is, Turtles 4 maximizes what the Super Nintendo can do even when it came out in 1992. It was excellent arcade action and if you wanted the arcade game at home this was the best you could do. Yeah there was even one for the Sega Genesis but that one had like glass levels and so it this felt, version was more superior? I'd say yeah this version was the best one around. It's still 
Yo, it looks like the cartoon. You can even add the modes. Say the game is like too easy for you. Bump up in difficulty, decrease your lives, all that good stuff. And there's a lot. If you get so good at the game, you can actually do that. Because there is a way to beat it all in one life if you're smart with the pizza and all that. You can play the game strategic, strategic. Oh. Strategically? Yeah, pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, strategically. Okay, strategic. <laughs> I can't oh, say yeah. that. Yep. Shut up, you face. Talk to the hand because the face don't want to hear it. Okay, so okay. Yeah. So what do you say, Jay? Oh, this game is really, really well done. Um, like you said, arcade almost perfect, and uh, I enjoy playing it. Yep. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Thanks, Ramora. I'm glad you totally agree with me on every point that I made. <laughs> we want to make sure that we're actually right there, even though we're not. We want to be part of the group. I'm surprised that I'm a part of the group. Oh, come on. <laughs> Drop it, man. You're part of the group because he has both of us in that email. He didn't ask me. No. Yes, he did. You were part of the email. He said, hey, Star Soldier, you're, you're good, but you're not good without yeah. Jay, so get Jay over here. Oh, yeah. That's what you got. 1,000 subs, by the way. Congratulations. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, anyways, Battle the Turtles 4. That's right. Yeah. If you love the arcade game, you love the classic NES games, but you wanted more, boom, you got it on the Super Nintendo. Awesome game. Great. You know, new two-player beat-em-up mode. You can play the single game. You can play the main game in co-op. Ah, everything about it was awesome, and that's why it's in high demand, and that's why you can't find hardly find the card anywhere no more. Yep. Yeah. No. So, what would your score be on this game? Yeah, I give it a 86 out of 100. 86? Yeah, a bit too easy at points, and the four turtles really don't differ much from one another. Than, the weapon uh, size. The you know, weapon size and speed of the character, but other than that, they all look the same. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the whole point since the brothers and all that. But anyways, yeah. Mm. Still a great game. Like it. Yeah, play if you want. <laughs> I'll give it's it an good. 85 out of 100. 85. Still good score. Oh, always lower than me. Man, we're trying to do a <laughs> review for this guy yep. who didn't actually invite me. Um, okay. <laughs> what? He wasn't feeling here enough. It don't yeah. take it so seriously. Oh, it's serious. <laughs> Anyways, recommended game. Definitely check it out. All right. Thanks again for inviting us. Haha, <laughs> just me. <laughs> yeah. Not Jay. <laughs> All right, over and out. All right, thanks, Star Soldier and Jay, for uh, your two cents in this game. And Jay, don't be so butthurt. I include you in the PM. Um, all right, so I think that is it. We are out of here. I'm Ron Moore. And this is the J-Man. We got 309. And the Gunstar Hero. God bless and take care. Peace out. And bye bye. What you say about my murder, J Man? Well, anyways, yeah. Welcome to Let's Play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Hyperstone Heist for the Sega Genesis. This is Ron Moore yeah. along with We Guy, I mean, ah, dang it, Bear 13, <laughs> J Man 46241, and to Toby. Toby Brock, I think. Brocky, Brocky, with the to e. Toby, Toby Brocky, Brocky. No, um, Brian. Toby Bryant. <laughs> Toby Bryant. Yep. He's here for the first time with us. We got a, finally a new voice on here. Said the same usual douchebag is usually on here. Um, J man. <laughs> <laughs> we got who wussed out, and fell asleep. <clears throat> no. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Hyperstone Heist for the Sega Genesis. So, uh, as I mentioned already, duh. And just in case you guys don't know, this is Hyperstone Heist for the Sega Genesis. No, uh, that that name dumb. sounds like a I don't know, like a Pink Panther movie. <laughs> Ooh, it's April. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So this game, real similar to Turtles and Tom, but also different in some ways. And instead of Krang kidnapping the Statue of Liberty, it disappears. And, and so does our strength. Probably back. done because of some. Yeah, that. Probably Whoa. couldn't handle it. Shredder's ripped. Man, come on. No, nobody, wow. no, human has many, no human has that many abs and ribs. He's like the ultimate warrior. Check out that 12-pack. <laughs> hey, Shredder, what's going on? We won't let you get away with that. We'll find you with a high-energy high detect. Oh, come on, man. Can, can I make, think of more creative things in that scene right there? Never I mean, Turtles and Tommy got, you bloated beanbag, and now... <laughs> It probably on, should have tough. just written in there, like, we're gonna kick your butt. Yeah, something. 
there. Man. I do think that it's kind of cool how it starts out in the sewer, you know, because they're like <laughs> coming right outside of where they're at, and it's like, yeah. let's go. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Makes more sense. Yeah, it does. Is it just me, or does the sewer look somehow a little bit clean? <laughs> well, Master Splinter makes the turtles clean the sewers. Yeah, like, you lick it! Part of the he'll rip them apart with his ripped abs. <laughs> the ripped motherfucker. Splinter has ripped abs? Or well, they attach off. some, Shut some, <laughs> some tissues to the swords. Then they just wiggle around and clean it all. Whatever. Well, you know, if you touch his abs, then you're, you're gonna lose, like, a finger. Yeah. Ooh, now, um, uh, so far, I do not like the, the sounds, like the... I don't know, just like the, the, the sounds of when the turtle hits the enemies and whatnot. It just sounds kind of... not good. That, yeah, one thing I hate... can't throw the foot at the screen. Yeah, I was gonna say that. You can't throw the foot at the screen, because Genesis didn't have, uh... Mode 7. Mode 7, yeah. Yeah. You can't yeah. do that with blast processing. You can't do this on a Genesis, SNES does! <laughs> Shut up, Jeff. <laughs> you know, you know what? what? Sorry, Jeff, you're listening. You know what? I'm sorry. Uh, you... This would be better on the SNES. Oh, he done fell asleep anyways. <laughs> it is better on the SNES. I do agree. Yeah. Uh, so far, I, I like the way that it started out, but just the sounds and... Yeah. I like the music. Yeah, and this it's is the same right. music as the uh, Stage 1 music in Turtles and Tom. I, I mean, guess, Super Nintendo... I guess this, uh, this music kind of looks a little bit more close to the arcade one, doesn't it? Music can look uh, like something. <laughs> uh, uh, sounds like something. <laughs> <laughs> the SNES, the SNES had that Sony sound chip, so I think that's why the music and audio sounded better on um, a Turtles in Time. And if you uh, go back to the beginning of the, you know, title screen on this game, and you push start, the turtles go, "Let's kick out!" It sounded so staticky on this version. Terrible. Yeah. It's like bad line whatsoever. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I do like the. I'm, glad, like the, I'm the, glad they have uh, at least some voice samples in there. Yeah, but man, the Genesis did not have good uh, audio, really. I mean, as far as far as like certain yeah, it's voice pro, acting in certain it games, didn't have an as a uh, a sound effect uh, kind of channel that was just made for for yeah. uh, high quality voice. They should have put in a special chip for that, actually. This game is still fun, though. Oh yeah, I, mean, I, I really enjoyed this game back in the day, but Turtles in Time is still more fun. Um, at least you can do that move right there that I just did where you bash him, lift him, or, or grab him, I mean, throw him left and beat, right. You can beat up shit. What is not fun about that? <laughs> yeah, but you can, you know, there, you know, you can do that on the Super Nintendo. Um, however, I do like the, the color textures on the Genesis version. Yeah. The, the colors are a, a little more richer. That car looks like shit, but... <laughs> Well, I still think Turtles in Time has better colors, and Super Nintendo had like 32,000 different colors you can use in that system. Yeah, uh, Turtles in Time on the Super Nintendo, I don't know why, but it looked like me like Candy Wonderland a little bit. Yeah, well, there was actually an option in Turtles in Time, I forgot to mention in the LP, where you can go in the option mode and pick the comic color mode or the other color mode. Oh, oh yeah, that was cool. That was like a cool thing. Oh, that was How cool. did you miss that car? I know. <laughs> that was uh, like, I was like, wow. wow. Get the pizza oh. or not. Nah, you don't need it. I don't need it. I need that. Or well, not really, but I could use it. Bomb. Sorry, Link. Come back when you're a little bit... Mm, I need your mom, your... Rodney. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> well, way off topic. Uh, That's where Master Hand <laughs> needs to come in and say, Alright, anyway, uh, back to actual gameplay, you dumb douchebag. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. You probably have to go down. Yes. But not yet. Go, go back in the sewer again. Go back to where you came from. The gutter. Back into the underground. You can't burn it. it. Toby Brocky Balboa. <laughs> no, uh, get to the chopper. Sorry, I've been watching Rocky movies lately and I'm addicted to them. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and have to take away uh, the thing that I said at the beginning, because it started out in the sewers. Why are we back in the sewers? If it started in the sewers, why did, they, why did they need to go above the sewers? I have a shortcut, I guess. Maybe there's a dead end in that sewer, and 
he had to go on top to get the other side. I guess, no, but game logic, just, you know, game logic. I don't know. You don't have to be 100% realistic. <laughs> the other, the other sewer just leads to very unpleasant toilets. <laughs> How can I show feces in the sewers? I mean, that'd be realistic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, water shouldn't be. Uh, I, I, I don't want to hear that. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Push start, J man. I gotta He's wait for you. Pillow. And know that there will not be Ambler glitch two player style in this one. Okay. I'm gonna try to you beat know, this one you know what by myself. Would it be interesting if there was actual blood in this game. Actual what? Blood. Blood? Oh, blood. Oh. You gotta put in a code for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like a Mortal Kombat <laughs> or something. Yeah. A B A C A B B. Hot coffee. What? Hot coffee. Hot coffee. That coffee was uh, something in uh, Grand Theft Auto. No, in, in the uh, Trader Park Boys game for the PS3, the yeah. blood code it would be uh, Crown Royal. Yep. The fuck Leahy code. You put in I am the liquor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> put Randy to be a big gut mode. Like Golden Eye, you got the big head mode. You put in uh, <laughs> Space Talk. <laughs> yeah, Bubbles. <laughs> and Randy doesn't have pants on. So we can fight better. <laughs> yeah, oh. Bear, Bear wants to play the no pants mode. Speaking <laughs> of, none of the turtles have pants on. What the hell? Well, <laughs> the turtles, they have all their junk up in the shells. <laughs> and here's the boss of stage one, this douchebag. Why they, they should have took him out. They should have put, like, the Rat King or something. Well, it, I, I think it is better fitting that he's in this level instead of the train level. Is yeah. it true that all the bosses kind of are... The same? In terms of gameplay? I heard that. No, not on here. They all fight differently. What is he throwing at me? Knobs or shrimp? Or lobster? This boss fight actually looks yeah, they're not better than the, than the first boss fight in... Um, in Did uh, I just get pwned? Yes. Did I just get pwned by Leatherhead? Yes. Oh, well, that's very common for you. Oh. I still haven't seen you beat. I still haven't seen you beat Slash. Yeah, because any ten-year-old could beat that right there. I love <laughs> when they actually just explode instead of just whatever run away. Cowabunga! As we end part one, we'll see you guys in part two. God bless and take care. See ya. Bye. See ya. Welcome to part two of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Slow Rock Theft. This is Ron Moore along with Wee Guy 309. Sup. And yeah, stage two. Yeah, this a is ghost, awesome. a, a, a hidden ghost ship, or whatever the stage is called. I don't know anything about this game because I never played it. I cut out the beginning part where it said what stage we were on because um, the freaking emulator words on the bottom and I didn't want that to be in the video. Oh, you perfectionist. Yeah. Oh, ouch. Watch out for the E-barrels. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I just got punched in the back of the head. <laughs> you got donkey punched. Yeah. yeah I oh, like this uh, version of the uh, sewer surfing in the Super Nintendo version. This is a great, uh, you know, Genesis-like uh, transition. Yeah, I think the music on here is actually better than the music on, uh, like, for the stage. I it's think... better than the one the SNES. I think it's a great, of course, has an overall great Genesis soundtrack, and it's a great um, how they converted from the Super Nintendo. But I like the Super Nintendo version a little more. Like, like the beginning of the song, it sounded much more elegant than in, in the beginning of the SNES oh. version. Yeah. Oh man, okay. what's that? I wanted the great Kool Aid scene. Damn it. <laughs> okay, and now we're in Davy Jones' locker. That's underwater. I mean, it Davy is? Jones is. Oh, yeah. Don't you know? You know yeah. I've seen all three movies. Some, his locker is something about you know, a dream sequence or something, and he's got you captive. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen Sounds like Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> well, Johnny Depp, whatever, Jack Sparrow was in his locker, and he was like hallucinating, eating peanuts or something. I forgot. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay, yeah, anyway, you're fighting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're fighting foot soldiers. Oh! Ah, sucker shot. With the same music as in the uh, 
the ship level and Turtles in Time, but that version sounded better. Yeah, of course. Let's get so unrealistic. Those dudes would be slicing up from the from the cut of Leonardo's sword. But of course, if they if they were allowed allow that, they, the game wouldn't be released because it's too graphic. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that picture of Shredder falling, that guy, that I fell for that before. You fell for that because it fell. <laughs> yeah. It fell on me. That's it fell said. for me. That's what she uh, said. Who? That it fell on. Never mind. <laughs> Who's she? <laughs> uh, bear? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up. Speaking of, when, will there ever be a chance to have a female commentator? <gasps> I was wondering that the other day. Any female fans of this 2K? Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, please uh, PM us. Maybe we can talk. PMS us. And if you're single, we can talk longer. <laughs> oh! Yeah. <laughs> I'm e-begging for a girlfriend right now. No, no. Um, Oh, shut up. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, there's hardcore Ninja Turkeys, but there needs to be one that's, like, super hardcore. I mean, like, dude, blood and, like, completely, like, sad and, like, Angus. It's, like, no happiness everywhere, no cheeriness. They need to make a completely hardcore Ninja Turtles game. Yeah, the comic book version. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's kind of how it is. Well, sort of, I forgot. I haven't read the, much of the comics. The ECW Turtles. Woo! Slash is ECW Turtle. I think Green said he got shot in the face by a tank and just stood there and laughed or something. Woo! Awesome. Now, that's ECW. That is. I like my burger with a side of ECW. <laughs> Booger? Burger. No. <laughs> Barrels. Whoa. And watch out, you gotta. Well, not those, but um. Watch out for the, e the boards, it, you know, the where it has a little X on the boards down there. If you step on them, you'll the board will come up, hit you in the face. You can barely even see the X's. Yeah, because the quality of this video. Oh, the quality of your quality. <laughs> Yeah, there we go, yeah! Kill the Stone Warriors! Oh, what? Man! Dang, one! And what was that? Yeah, yeah, power! Much better than the Super Nintendo version. Oh, and look at this, when you stump your toe or whatever, you can't move around while you're holding your toe on this version. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know what I'm talking about where, you know, my toe might used to move up and down, left and right while doing that, but on here you you stay in that same spot. You can't move out the way until your toe stops hurting. Oh, come on, what's that? That's so realistic. I mean, unrealistic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, we are back in the Golden Axe-esque stage. Nice reference Or Alter Beast-esque stage. Same thing. <laughs> well, this game's much better than Alter Beast, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> But you don't like Altered Beast? No, did you see our low budget review? Yes, but I forgot. <laughs> well, remember, it sucks. What do you say, Jay? I agree. Oh, we agree! <laughs> oh my god. Well, the game is still, you know, alright, but still, it's, yeah. Pretty sure for the time it was good, but now, yeah. But it's still considered a Genesis classic. Or it hasn't aged well, like WrestleMania for the NES. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. ECW. Good thing you found your cart, huh? <laughs> Yeah. You did. Oh yeah, really? No, I'm talking about WrestleMania for the NES, not the not pro wrestling for the oh, Master yeah, System. Master System. <laughs> My bad. Anyway, yeah, that game hasn't aged well either. Oh man, but fun times though. Nostalgia purposes. Nostalgia's good. Yep. Oh, ow! You got oh. Oh man. Now here's a blocking foot soldier, except they're gray on here, but at least they're not pink sissies. <laughs> You're a sissy. Ugh, <laughs> oh, man. Oh yeah, what, what? That cost me energy, but that's okay. You got plenty. Whoa! Oh my god, look! Oh, did you see that? 309! 309! Like, whatever uh, you had up there. We got 309 points. <laughs> Woo! We got 309 points. It's like, we got 309 points, and I'm doing it because I explain the joke and then make it not funny. <laughs> 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 Anyway, back to uh, fighting the Stone Warriors or the Rock Soldiers again, or the Rock Monster, or whatever Star you want to call them. Star Soldier. <laughs> we say, Jay. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you were totally- Oh! Ow, Chinese star to the face. Ninja star. Chinese, whatever. Chinese star, same thing. <laughs> but no, you were right in the uh, Let's Dust Discuss Human t Drills in Time on uh, Part 2. Because Jay, you were right how he talks about it. He's like, Hey, you know musician? I was like, what? <laughs> right how he talks fast. Whoa. Alright, here's Rocksteady now. Not that hard. Well, he's made of rock, so he is pretty hard, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but not hard to beat. Is he hard to eat? But yeah, he's made of stone and rock. <laughs> yeah, see, it's not like Jay crying after playing a game he don't like. Not like, uh... I don't know, what game doesn't he like? Uh, and no game? Oh, I love it. No. <laughs> no pain, no game, Jay! No pain, uh, no game! I don't know. Remember, when I see you next time, I'll beat you! There's gonna be a next time, because you just got blown up! <laughs> <laughs> Blew up, holy crap. And with that said, this is it for part two. We'll see you in part three. God bless and take care. See ya! Welcome to part three of Turtles in Time. This is Ron Moore along with Bear13, J-Man6241, okay. and we got 309. Sweet. Okay. S sour. Puss. <laughs> e. <laughs> Alcohol. Drugs. Nike. Reebok. Nintendo. <laughs> Alright, and oh here's boy. the first level where we go back in time. Sweet. Welcome back. Some the trolls don't just stab the dinosaurs. Because it's animal cruelty, then the game would not be released in America if that happened. Yeah, not Nintendo animals. of America would censor it or something. Yeah, Nintendo of America would. Yeah, that's what I just said. No, you said America. Nintendo of America. It's it's just in America! No. Uh -huh. ah, ah. Do, do, do. Okay. Someone needs to hurt you. Bad. <laughs> Why don't you uh -huh. hurt Anyway. Fight those, fight those pink rangers. Get them. Ah, uh, here we go. The pink ranger, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, now we're playing Golden Axe. Golden Axe. Sure, Jeff would get a hard, uh... Hard on. <laughs> yeah. A hard on for this. It's Sega. Go Sega. Nintendo. Battle to battle. X Blade. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. uh oh, here's General Trag and his soldiers. Oh. Yeah, it's Back crazy how they're just like regular enemies in this game. Yeah, really. Okay, I'm pit Leonardo again, because he's the best one to use in this game. And he failed. Oh, you should have used the other dude. No, no it's Don Tello. Yeah, yeah it's the Don other Tello. dude, yeah, that narrows it down. <laughs> <laughs> the orange one. Oh, the other dude's great. The have one that's not a dude. The, other dude? the one that's not white, wait. Which one's that? That's mine. Well, they're all not right. They're good. I'm the best Leonardo. He's the leader anyway. No, Raphael's the leader. The leader means automatically means the best. <laughs> I hated him on the first. The because, because if they're not the best, then how can they be the leader? Because there's no one else wants to be. <laughs> Wife beater. What? <laughs> Meat beater. <laughs> <laughs> Wife beater leader. Pink Ranger again, grr! The lone Pink Ranger. Yeah, because you died and had to go back to the start. Well, why don't you Pink Ranger again? Well, why don't you uh pick the Pink Ranger? Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> 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 More golden axe action. <laughs> As we go to the dragon's vagina. Ew! Oh don't boy. Worry. One hell of a dragon. <laughs> General, General Trag's lackeys here. Those are, they look, those look like stuff. things from. What, what do they look like? Uh, the things from Donkey Kong Country 3. In the caves. You know, those things you can remember, but never mind. Yeah, I think yeah, they're in the first that. Donkey Kong Country as well. The no, third one. Oh, alright, alright, here's J Man now. Hi. What the hell? <laughs> I'll come to um, help you out. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. No, actually, <laughs> no, actually this is a fucking... this is a controller ROM glitch where I push, meant to push pause, and I 
Instead, it brings out the second player, and now I'm controlling both the players at the same time. <laughs> Dude, that's ECW. Yeah. Well, it's helping, so... That's no, it's just that me and J-Man are very in sync with each other in teamwork here. Yeah, <laughs> J-Man's <laughs> Yeah, J-Man's the good, um, one. The good turtle thing. No, you're... you're the turtle, turtle, turtle thing. thing. You're, the, you're the good. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, man. Turtle. <laughs> power! ECW power! <laughs> I've got the power! Okay. And it's over 9,000. No. What's this 9,000 stuff? I mean, yeah, Dragon, Ball yeah, oh, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, I don't watch Dragon Balls. Yeah, yeah but you yeah. sure do yeah. like sucking them. <laughs> well, so? I mean, they're good. <laughs> those, those, can those candy button jawbreakers? Yeah, those, yeah, those are good. <laughs> <laughs> they're balls of steel. <laughs> those are the only balls I like. Stop talking about balls! Jump on dinosaurs. Y'all wanna talk about dragon's balls? He was talking about dragon balls. Dinosaur yeah. balls. When I first seen the title of that in the magazine, I already thought it was called Dragon Balls. Exactly. And I was like, what the heck is this cartoon about? It's Japan, they have all these crazy thinking things and brains and stuff. Thinking things. <laughs> yeah, thanks, the dude has the thing, the thing. <gasps> Tell me how sex works, Bubbles. <laughs> There's space talk! No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, space weed and fucking space hookers. <laughs> space lobster. Gotta re the thing. Yeah. And the thing. Oh, I like the, uh, the Shredder mountain over there. Yeah, that's it's like pretty cool. Evil hideout. It reminds me of, this game really does learn about your future in many ways. More than time travel, but you got Biff going back in time changing things. Now Shredder's going back and changing stuff over here. <laughs> well, if you could go back into the future, wouldn't you change shit up? No. Oh, it's Slash. Bullshit. Oh, here we go, Slash. About time I get to find out what this character was. The ECW I turtle. I slime ball. This guy is no joke. And Speaking like, of joke, uh, two turtles walked into a bar. No, no. <laughs> and then the bartender said, You guys can't be in here, you turtles, so they laughed without a fuss. No, they beat up everybody in the bar. Yeah, exactly. Two gorillas walk to a bar. No. One of them was a drunken slut and the other one was a drunken whore. <laughs> the end. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> oh, I'm glad I had this two-player controller glitch here, because this makes it a lot easier. Oh, now. <laughs> the whore is the oh, okay. Now he's getting mad. Oh, man. He's pulling both of us now. Oh my god, Slash has the demon sword. Freaking demon Kimbo. sword on the NES. Freaking Kimbo oh, slices the turtles over here. Yeah, he's got the blocker roll. Yeah. <laughs> Slash came from the mean streets of Southside New York. New Jersey. Maybe. Southside sewers. Oh. <laughs> and now he's beating up turtles for street change. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, in the past. <laughs> He's become a YouTube sensation, and UFC assigned him to a one-year contract. Six-fight contract. <laughs> I'm the ultimate turtle. Come on, don't die! Die! Ultimate crustacean fighting. Die! <laughs> God damn, uh, hurry up. Uh, Oh, you're tearing me apart, J-Man. Oh. 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 That's right, I got another continue. You're tearing me apart. Now what? Now what? Uh. You're talking to a thing that like 10 year olds can beat. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. 30 year old or something. Oh yeah, right. You forget this is on hard, and I'd like to see you do a video <laughs> response beating this. Yeah, or any video response, response at all. Yeah, I'd look, but I'm not. Mr. Video. <laughs> I'm not ten though. <laughs> Nintendo. Golden crossbow. Okay, and okay. Yeah. the second uh, back in time level. I wonder oh, if that's Bebop. Like Johnny Depp and Orlando Ooh. Bloom. Oh, I kicked uh. Johnny Depp's ass. I hate that bitch. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> you can't be Orlando Bloom. Or Bloom. 
room. He <laughs> 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 has a blooming personality. Orlando Mop. <laughs> Georgia Mop. Uh. How is this funny? <laughs> I don't know. It's not. It's just. It's S2K. Random. Mainly talking to Bear. He's not funny. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm just jacking you down that way though. Whoa. Anyway. Harder, harder baby, harder. <laughs> uh, we just can't compare with all the hilarious comments that you've made on this video, we got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? what? Exactly. I feel so sad. <laughs> awesome stage music, as always. Uh, this music sucks. <laughs> I don't think there's no music in this game that's lame. No, it's like it's like Target Renegade music. No, I said the music in this game is cool. <laughs> uh, you bitch. <laughs> I'm never gonna forgive you for that. <laughs> no suck a bone. Okay. Got suck a bone and crossbones in this level. Never mind. <laughs> You're too slow. Right, here comes Davy Jones. Oh, watch out. <laughs> Yeah, at oh, least the bowling balls hit them in this game, or the cannon Yeah, that's pretty cool. That <laughs> balls. At least someone's hitting them. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ronnie. Don't don't get the whip out on me. Yeah, you know what? He's fired. <laughs> okay, Bear's been judge from the call. Um. <laughs> hey, right at the end too. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I said you're a judge from the call. Be quiet. Um, <laughs> you shut up. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> I can buy just yet. Bombs. All right, we're out of time here, and as I get pwned by bombs, this game is the bomb, but we have to stop right here. We will see you guys yeah. in part quattro. God bless and take care. See ya. Pizza time. <laughs> Bear. Bear, we're recording. Bye. Welcome to part four of Hyperstar Heist. <laughs> this is Ron Moore along with Bear13 and DeepFan93. <laughs> what the hell are you on, DeepFan? Well, that's what it says on Skype, DeepFan93. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah. Ronnie's done nothing but uh, LSD. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I think you're. Um, I think you're the one on LSD here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, uh, <laughs> why you laugh like that for? You're not talking to Billy Mitchell. Oh, bitch. <laughs> anyway, this is stage four, <laughs> the gauntlet. Where you fight all the bosses again, except these guys aren't the bosses. Um. But, well. Anyway, here's the first that boss. Down, <laughs> Where the bosses are recolored for some reason. That's yeah. retarded. <laughs> I've never, I've it. never seen a pink alligator in my life. Yeah, that's that's weird. That's gay. But let let the heads a douchebag anyway. Oh, he's kind of cool. What with being a cool ass alligator. Ah, he's not cool. He's just a douche. Yeah, well, you're not cool. I'm cooler than you are. My mom says I'm cool, so shut up. <laughs> That's <laughs> terrible. My mom says if I don't stop touching down there, it'll fall off. <laughs> okay. So instead, I'm gonna be touching you down there, wee guy. We guys aren't as <laughs> tall. I know. Why isn't he? Is Where is Wee Wee? Um, <laughs> um, is that his sisters? Um, you don't have his headset on, so we can't record. Little Wee 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 Man. I just find Rocksteady here, who always has a terrible case of hemorrhoids when he enters the screen or something. And oh, he's always holding his ass. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but uh, you can see this game is fairly easy. I'm playing on normal difficulty here. I guess maybe it's too much gay butt sex. I guess. I was talking about you. <laughs> well, so. 
What's wrong with that? If that's a problem, you can leave this call. I didn't say it was a problem. <laughs> Cockbag. There's the one that mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying ass all the way. <laughs> there you go, that ought to get us about 10 more views. <laughs> After we lose another 50. <laughs> Alright, here's Tetsu with Soul! Whoever you say his name. Who the hell is this person? He's Shredder's right-hand man in Ninja Turtles 1 and 2, the movie. I thought uh, he was just in the second one. That explains a lot. No, he's in, uh, he's in part one. He was, he was ready in control of the Foot Clan. Shredder was just like the master, you know, the villain. But T Tetsu, whatever, is like the guy that... Anybody that else make that noise when they're getting the balls beat out of them? A few uh, times. It's just That's a sound effect to... to no, it's a sound effect to uh, help you make sure you are hitting the opponent. I know, but does Isn't anybody balls. make that noise? Just wondering. Bear. Yeah, a few okay. times depends that, on how hard. That all. That I will believe. It's best not to ask any more questions about that. <laughs> Twenty hours of ball reconstruction. Surgery <laughs> later. Uh huh. Hey, that's what happened to them too. They blew up. <laughs> um. Okay. Now here's a douche. Hey man, I'll just what's up for you? I to fight the same. In this game. <laughs> I to fight the same battle with uh Baxter from the arcade game. It seems like. Okay. And I have to say this music is good, but this fight looks lame as hell. Yeah, really. I mean, as you fight, the character from, uh, Journey to Celia is here. We guys gonna get pissed off at you, dude. <laughs> yeah. No, Tim Follin! Tim Follin! Tim Follin! Looks more like an aerobic, aerobics class. Up and right, up and right. <laughs> I like the battle in Term... I mean, uh, Turtles and Tom Better was talking when he was a fly. And he had that cool-ass handgun. Oh dear, my officers have, have been beaten, Master! Easy, Jeff. <laughs> Alright, now we can finally enter the final stage, a short game. I mean, man, Turtles and Time had ten stages, this has five. Yeah. I guess Genesis ain't not do what Nintendo does. I feel, yeah. Didn't not do what? No. At what? No. Fools! Feel the wrath of the Hyperstone! They even sound like Shredder at all. Who it cares? Is. He looks cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about, well, I'm talking about me. I didn't do a good impersonation. Yeah. Scene Sinkle! The final shell shock. Oh, Ooh. God. No, notice in Turtles and Tom, at the beginning of each stage, there's a voice that says the name of the stage, like, Bury my shell at Wounded Knee. On here, you know, here are the voices that begin the stage because I think they realize that Genesis that sound sucks. Genesis's sound chip sucks. Yeah. One did me. <laughs> One did me. <laughs> Very much sure that wound did Kani. <laughs> Wounded did Kani. Wound did Kanoli. Falling the Technodrome. Fight the Mousers again. Imagine commentating huh. with somebody the whole time sound like that. Welcome to part four, Hyperstone Heist. What do you say, Jay? You already did, and his name was Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> we all did. <laughs> you know what, Bear? At least I, uh... <laughs> fall asleep. <No. laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you, like, fell asleep and then woke up and he had like a word processor open and it was filled with nothing but Z's. <laughs> well, you know what though? He's accomplished one thing on his channel that we haven't. He's got over 6,000 views in his LP. Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I want exactly fuck a well, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Easy there, Crispin. <laughs> I gotta fight these guys that block all the time. Who blocks in a fight? Be a man and take punches. Um, <laughs> that's why we've never beaten Street Fighter. 
I mean, come on, Rocky Balboa don't block. You know how many tiles he's won? Come oh. on. Well, Rocky Balboa is an idiot at the same time. Too. Plus, <laughs> he's lost his title. So, yeah. He never lost. He retired. I thought he lost it to the black guy in the yeah, last. Yeah, he lost it. To, he lost it to Mr. T. And then he won it back from Mr. T. So he and lost. He lost. It. And he went on to be a machine, a robot, Russian in part four. He's not a machine. He's a man. Anyway, speaking of machines, we're fighting these robots here, robot foot soldiers. It's a good segue right there. Not really, sure. but um. <laughs> You just keep saying that to yourself, Pookie. <laughs> oh, call me Pookie. Poochie. The <laughs> Simpsons. It's your scratching your Poochie. Oh, God. <laughs> you say, Jay? You guys suck. Yes, we do. Yes, At least we have fun while doing... Whoa, whoa, never mind. I didn't sound... Um, what, what? <laughs> nothing. Moving on to the Techno Drone. And you see his body is making weird noises he's not accustomed to. It's called growing up, Ronnie. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, it's called puberty. It's That's called Let's young Play. Age of 30. <laughs> Sir, Let's Play balls dropping. <laughs> yeah. Don't you know everybody's balls drop whenever they first pick up a video game and yell, FUCK! <laughs> it's the way things it's go. A scientific fact. <laughs> I thought the ball drops. I thought the ball drops on New Year's. The balls do drop on New Year's, but it's not quite as momentous. Oh, man! I hate those things. I was frozen today. Oh, come on. That's cold blooded. Ah. Oh. That's just cold. Well, when you're cold, your blood is cold too. Man, so freaking stupid today. Um, <laughs> what those dumb off no, topic it's commentary. Stupid. It's just that we don't have anything to talk about because we're we just watching. We're just watching you spam the same moves over and over again. Well, fine then. Go uh, do commentary over uh, fire and ice or pong and see how what materials you can come up with there. <laughs> I could Look just as easily go Look over at that and do some commentary ball. on Brawl. <laughs> I don't have the technology to record that on my computer. I'm sure we can like pick up a drunk chick and get her to talk about hours upon hours upon hours of ball. About balls. <laughs> Sticky balls. Pong hey, ball. Hey fan, you should upload your first LP on here. Brawl. Brawl. I might do that. All right, we are running out of time here. The most colorful commentary ever. We'll see you in part five, guys. God bless and take care. Um, first yeah. commentary ever. See ya. Welcome to part cinco of Hyperstone Heist. This is Ron Moore along with JMan46241 and... Oh, well, okay, that's it. Uh, usually three people, not this time. Oh, I guess I'm by myself, okay? Uh... All right. So him and I'm hit, here. Hit, hit a hit a hit a drone. What do you say, Jamin? God power. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, you There's know what? There's what I say. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> I couldn't resist. No, actually, it was an accident. And I said, you know what? I'm going with it because I had to stop the safe state because I ran out of time to record, and then uh. When you push pause again, you know, automatically activates the second player. Like, oh, oh well. It's well, it's, it's getting that time in the game where you kind of need two players. Yeah. You know, because it's, it's time for Krang. I'll show you the power, Super Krang. There should have been a voiceover. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now this controller glitch sucks because the controls. The, imp the configuration is different on player two, so when I hit the attack uh, button, Leonardo, the other player jumps. You know what so I mean? It, it, well, I mean, it kind of makes it really, really look like two pair people are playing. Yeah. Well, actually, not really, because, like, one player always looks like they're retarded. 
Yeah, it's like, it's like, uh, like Sicko Fan would say, the reason why I'm hopping around like a jackass like this because this is the only way you can win. Yeah. <laughs> now, wasn't this the, the Krang that was in the bonus stage on uh, Turtles in Time? Uh, yes, and then, yeah, that's right, it was. Yeah, but because in the, uh, not the Tetanus <laughs> Awesome! Not the Tetanus Drum, but the spaceship uh, Star Trek level they were on, you fought Krang in a little pod or something. Right, yeah, on the iPod. Uh, but in the F Zero world, you fought Krang in this form, yeah. I'm chrono chronologically confused now. C chrono triggerly confused. Yes. Uh, Alright, this is a lot easier. On this well, one. I'm playing this game on normal. Ah, uh, okay. You, you can still get an ending on this version with normal, but it's not the best ending. I'm invincible! Hurry up, Donatello. <laughs> Alright, and. Oh, now what? No! <laughs> Donatello's supposed to get that! You it idiot, looked like on. he got it, but he didn't. I was yeah, like, come on. I that's all right. Donatello, I guess, has more. Well, I never used any continues yet either, but Leonardo, so never mind. But I mean, come on. Just because you're the leader, I mean, you get everything. Thanks. Uh, thanks for taking the pizza, Ronnie. I mean, come on. I know. I know. I work at Pizza Hut, but you know, sometimes I need pizza too. <laughs> I should leave a tip. Before yeah. I get another note at my door. Yep. No stiffs this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Now fight the Mexicans. Oh, uh, that's racist. Cinco, Cinco. <laughs> yeah, and, and this music right here is pretty awesome, but I think I like the SNES version better. What do you say, Jay? Man? Um, this music sucks. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wait, dude. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's pretty good on here. It's, you know. What do you say, gay? For real. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. Sh oh, oh shut up. Okay, oh, the next up. next video, Jay's in. Like, uh, you know, it's funny how you mentioned gay because Ronnie said gay instead of Jay. You know, and I get a message from him. He contacted him. You need to contact, contact, contact me. Destination. Uh, He's going to be like, Ronnie, why you say gay all the time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's why he's not going to do this portion of this discuss because he's still mad that I didn't. Message him in private. We say Jay. Yeah, that's right. You suck. But actually, this time I did message him and Star Soldier in private, but he opted out because he uh don't he never he played this version that much, so he's gonna leave the Star Soldier. We say Star. Star Soldier always has enough to say, even if nobody else is with him. Yeah. No, I thought he was those uh, foot soldiers that blocked. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It's <laughs> not like you. Grr, you get mad. Grr, grr, trains. <laughs> hey, I'm not the train guy anymore. It's fine. cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now they got, uh, they, they took Michelangelo's weapon. Yeah, really, that's what I was thinking. Oh! Whoa, right. what the? That was, uh, different. It's cool, though. Ah, oh, <laughs> no. Oh, and here they are. Yeah. See, that's confusing, because they're, they're the same color as the other guys. Yeah. You never know. Yeah, really, you kind of tell a little bit, but with the weapons they got in their hands, that's the clinging noise. I don't know what the heck. Got magnets or what? It's, um... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Good, good explanation yeah. there, Jay. Oh, uh, well, I was trying to say something clever, and, you know, it didn't work. You failed. Damn it. <laughs> fail, fail. Pwn, pwn, pwn. Pwn, pwn. The pwn shot. Pwn. <laughs> All right, here we go. The We're final good. battle. What is that three-eyed thing in the background? I don't know. The Shinobi 3 boss, no. <laughs> yeah, that's like the background of that one stage of Shinobi 3. If you know what I'm talking about, we fought the giant Godzilla robot, but anyway. Yes, anyway. And, and of course, this battle is much easier because it's on normal. My toe! My toe! 
That sucks that you can't move around. It yeah, sucks. sucks that you can't move around when you stump your toe on this version. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <coughs> that sound does sound pretty close to the Turtles in Time sound. Yeah. You know, Genesis is very limited in the sound chip, but I mean, I guess Konami pu pushed it the best they could. Okay, so does he have the, the same attack that can turn you into the little turtle thing? Yeah, that one right there, yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, the, the green fire. Yeah. Oh, come on, hit him. That's all up to me. Oh, wait, you're yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> I can all up to me of, again. You know, I could do the let, me, work let me show you how it's done. You know, I could do the work of two turtles. Um, fail. <laughs> Everyone, I guess my advice, don't suck. Did <laughs> <laughs> you shut your effing mouth? No. It's time to keep your effing mouth shut. Whoa, Master Hand. <laughs> oh, now he had, he had like a uh, boomerang. Yeah. A boomerang attack. <laughs> hey, mate. <laughs> <laughs> boomerang kid for the Quattro Adventure game. What? You ever heard of that game? No. Line of Spacehead and then Quattro Adventure and just four games in one. It's like a, Action almost 52. like Action 52, but it's, <laughs> it's actually it was much better than Action 52, quite frankly. That's that's not saying a whole lot though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's the end of Shredder. That's the end of this game. We will see you Already? guys in part six. Yep, that's the last stage. So we will see you guys in part six for the uh, ending and let's discuss. So until then, God bless and take care. Peace out. Welcome to the ending and let's discuss of Hyperstone Heist. This is Ron Moore along with Bear13, Jman46241, and we got 309. Woo. Sweet. Sour. Uh, chicken. And there you yep. saw Shredder falling off the building and the Hyperstone landing on the sidewalk or whatever. And Peace is restored in New York City again. Again. That was Manhattan, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. Really matter. <laughs> who cares? Yeah, who? Play a um, who cares, Bear? Get it? No. Um, and... If you say that again, I'm going <laughs> to kill you. Bear okay. cares. Okay. Uh, Alright, so, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, discuss our thoughts on this game. Um, Hyperstone Heist is a pretty fun Ninja Turtles game. Um, real similar in a lot of ways to Turtles in Time. Um, of course, the sound don't uh, sound as good as the SNES. The sound don't sound as good as the SNES version. Um, but you know, the game is still pretty awesome, especially with two players. And not it's not exactly the same as Turtles in Time. I mean, there's some stages that are different, but this game is a lot shorter. Um, the Genesis, I don't think Genesis had Mode Seven like the SNES did, so you no. didn't get to see some of the cool stages. Uh, like that's like, why you, that's why you can't throw the foot at the screen. Yeah, you can't uh, do appear in a, that stage, that F Zero type stage in Turtles in Time. Um, but this game still has some good elements, a good soundtrack. A lot of it's similar to SNES soundtrack, but the different songs in the game were pretty awesome. Um, so Turtles in Time, uh, yeah, Hyperstone Heist, <laughs> pretty good game. Not that bad, not that bad at all. I forgot the score I gave Turtles in Time. Was a 90, not a, nah, dang it. I, I get, Don't be Star, Star Soldier. Soldier. Star Soldier's right now. Um, I think I gave it a 9 out of 10. I have to give probably Hyperstone Heist an 8 or 8.5 out of 10. I do recommend it, especially if you're an old school Ninja Turtles fan. Not a bad game. So, yeah, go ahead and check it out. Um, J Man? Um, yeah, I've never played this game, uh, but watching through the playthroughs of this, um, I just at every point, damn near every point, I couldn't help but just think of Turtles in Time um, and just how it's superior um, but this game does seem pretty decent on its own even though it's really really short That's other than that said. yeah the, the music was okay not as good as Turtles in Time it was a, it was an okay game you know for someone that, that wants to just play some turtle games go ahead and get this one get a ROM whatever pick up the game and go ahead and play it because it's another Turtles experience. But altogether, I'm going to give it 
a 7 out of 10. We say we got. Uh, this game's awesome. Oh, what, what, Jay? No, wait, we guy, I'm we guy. No, I'm not Jay. <laughs> Jay guy. Jay guy. Yeah, there we go, Jay guy. Jay oh guy. Wait, no. That's a, that's a bear joke. Bear joke we made. <laughs> wait, no. Oh, boy. Don't make me kill you. <laughs> you already did. Yes. Yeah, yeah, TMNT Hyper So Nice is a pretty good game, you know, for what I can see. I played it, but pretty much, you know, similar to Turtles in Time, but... Whereas I have to play it to, you know, give it a score. I mean, I haven't, but, you know. The game looks pretty, you know, pretty good. Good visuals and graphics for the Genesis. Uh, sound is, you know, a soundtrack is pretty good. Of course, not as great to the uh, Turtles in Time Super Nintendo version, but st still a great Genesis soundtrack. And, uh, yeah, the game looks pretty fun. So, yeah, if you like Genesis and stuff, check out this game, too. But since I haven't played it, I have an NA rating for this game. But I do rec recommend it, though, from what I've seen. Pretty good game. Bayer? Bayer. What? 4 out of 10. Yep. <laughs> I give the 4 out of 10? Well, okay, thank poor. you, Jay. I mean, Bear. Um, Jay Bear. Bear. <laughs> That's it. That's all you have to say about the game. That's it. Come on. Yep. Come on. This isn't is an NFL podcast. Say more than two words. <laughs> the, well, I got two words for you. No. F um, you. <laughs> say more. Goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, well, there you go. I guess goodbye. Then. All right, so that's the end. This let's discuss. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hang on, hang on. Fine. This game's four out of ten. It's pretty cool, but it doesn't compare to Turtles in Time. Better, because the better sounds, and the Mode Seven, and other stuff. <laughs> all right, there you go. Um, happy. <laughs> no. Yes. No, we should have just kept it the way that it was. <laughs> yeah. Kept it the way that it is, that it is. Ah, uh, dang it, fail. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, all right, so now we go ahead and pass on to Star Soldier. Star Soldier, what do you got to say? Woo! All right, thanks again for letting me join in on this whole commentary on the Nera special Ninja Turtles game. Yeah, I love this one too, just like in Turtles in Time. Yeah, I got the real card right here, baby. I don't know if you can see that because it's dark in here, but yeah, this is the real Hyperstone Heist. Ninja Turtles, first ever Konami game for Sega Genesis. Woo! It's awesome. Just like Turtles in Time, it's kind of a stripped down version of it, but still, a good Turtles game is a good Turtles game. And <laughs> if you compare it to the original NES games and then you jump up to the Sega Genesis, oh man, this version is awesome. I don't know, some of the voices don't sound quite as good, some of the soundtracks, hell not as crisp, but the action is still fast and fierce, still awesome two player action, five levels of intense foot soldier, rock beating up in, uh, boss fighting, all that cool stuff, woo, needs to fight in action, woo, okay, I'm not good with that, well anyways, it's a good fighting game, yeah, just fast action, arcade style gameplay, the way a Turtles game should be. And not like that Air Turtles game on Sega Genesis. I think it was Tournament Fighters. Yeah, the one on Sega Genesis, not too good. <laughs> yeah, this game is much, much better. Yeah, I remember playing that one 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 fighting game, hard to control, characters were unbalanced. Oh, it was a mess. This game, pretty much close to perfect. I... <laughs> I think it was a bit too short at times, but at least you can bump up your difficulty, see if you can try one of the different endings, all that good stuff. And, yeah, if you love Turtles in Time, this one's slightly different, so it's not the same game. <laughs> but, again, I kind of miss the fact that in, in Turtles in Time, you're actually going through time. You're in the Wild West, or you're in the F-Zero level. <laughs> You don't get that in the Sega Genesis version. You are just got five levels. You don't got that time travel and stuff. It's kind of a shame, but it's still a good game on its own. And, yeah, if you play Super Nintendo and you wanted more, get a Sega Genesis, play that one, you got it. You got more. Yeah. You got more bang for the buck. So, that's why it's good to not be a fanboy, because you can play both games on different systems. <laughs> yeah, that's what I always say to my friends. Hey, instead of being uh, like a Sega fanboy or a Nintendo fanboy, just get all the systems. 
Yeah. Just have hundreds of thousands of dollars saved out in reserves and buy all the games you can possibly want. <laughs> oh well. Anyways, still a fun action game. I love it. I give it an 83 out of 100. That's how good it is. Cow Bungo, dudes. This is like Tur April O'Neil's breast. It's awesome. <laughs> Whoa. Don't tell us a nerd, right? Oh well, anyways. <laughs> Thanks again, Ron Moore, J Man, Bear, Wee Guy for letting me in on this commentary. I'm sorry sausage gonna or Nosage gonna be here. I don't think he's gonna watch anyway, so anyways I'll pretend this is him. Uh, I don't like as much as you, Star Soldier. Uh yeah, I didn't like it, uh, music as much. Uh it's too much like the Super Nintendo game show, but more different. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> why did you email me first? Uh, well, I never played the game, so I can't review it, so I'm not being part of this review. Besides, you didn't pay me enough money. <laughs> well, alright, beat it. <laughs> alright. <laughs> well, he wanted to do it, but yeah, honestly, he never played the game. Please don't be too mad at me. <laughs> He's still a lot bigger than me. Well, anyways, yeah. Okay, this is Star Soldier and uh, Jason Relaxation in Spirit or whatever. <laughs> Give, recommend that you play some Ninja Turtles Hyperstone Heist. Still an awesome game if you can find it. Alright, over and out. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Alright, I'm getting greasy now. All right, thanks, Star Soldier, for your input. Um, <laughs> sorry that Jay could oh, – actually, Jay was there. <laughs> Thank you, Jay, for your input. Um, <laughs> all right, then, so uh, that is it. We're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. And this is the J-Man. We got 309. Hi. <laughs> God bless and take care. See ya. Peace out. Pizza time.